friends, I'm Yo Schiller, and today I am playing a game known as Desert Bus, which is widely considered to be the most boring video game of all time. Now, some of you might be wondering, Yo Schiller, why are you playing Desert Bus? What have you gotten yourself into? And there's a few reasons why I'm playing Desert Bus today. Reason number one, I feel that it is important to play bad games and boring games so that you can better appreciate the good and fun games. All right, is that fair? I'm trying to expand my video game playing knowledge. You gotta play the best, you gotta play the worst. All right, reason number two. I have a reputation to maintain. You know, I do a lot of different videos. This video is going to be part of my Whatever Wednesday series, which is an excuse to upload whatever type of video I want. And I want to create this kind of vibe where people will go, man, this is a crazy video idea. Hmm, you know who would do something like that? Yo Schiller. Yo Schiller's crazy enough to sit down and play Desert Bus for eight hours. And, and you know, reason number three, I want to see if I can do it. And to play a game as boring as this for as long as this, I feel as though this is something I can probably only do in the younger years of my life before I become too impatient and too incapable of doing such ridiculous things. So why not go ahead and do these ridiculous things while I'm young and full of energy, right? So for those that don't know, Desert Bus is a t technically unreleased game, at least not released in an official capacity. I guess at some point someone got their hands on it and then distributed copies of it, so that, that's how I have it now. But it's part of a game that was licensed by the famous magicians known as Penn and Teller, who are amazing performers. I've seen them in person perform at the Rio. They're fantastic. And they had this idea to release a game that was full of these, like, not games, these fake games, and the most famous or infamous of the bunch is Desert Bus, which is a game where you sit down and drive a bus for eight hours straight, and you can't pause, and you can't play music or anything, you just have to sit down and drive the bus. It's a game that's often been used for charity events, and it's a game that's often been used for... I don't know, like bragging rights, and you guys know me, I love my bragging rights, and I want to see if I can beat this game, or you know, beat a part of this game, because technically beating this game means you, you do this drive like a hundred different times. I'm not doing that, I'm just doing the drive once. And along the way, I'll go ahead and sit in a Discord call, and my friends will be able to decide whether or not they want to join me for this ride or not. I'll just sit in the Discord call, and my friends will be able to join and leave at their own leisure, and otherwise... This is going to be an eight-hour video where I drive a bus. It's basically the closest that my channel will ever have to a podcast. So if you just want some sort of video to have on in the background while you do your homework, or I don't, I don't know, if you're an adult, you, you do your taxes, or if you're more like me, you do your laundry, and you just need some sort of background noise for eight hours, that is what this video is going to be. This is probably going to be the closest thing to a podcast that I have on my channel, because it's not like there's a whole lot of gameplay going on. So I'm basically just going to be rambling, which is basically what I'm doing right now. So why don't I go ahead and get started? All right, my name. So we can go ahead and try to make that into Yoshi, because I am Yoshiller, right? How do I, how do I go to the next letter? There we go. There we go. I am not Yakko. That is reserved for a famous cartoon character. But I will be... No, no, no. I will be... There we go. Okay, not Yoko. Okay, there we go. Yoshi. That's how you guys know it's actually me playing and not just talking over someone else who dared to drive through this eight-hour stretch. Oh, I can keep going. I can be Yo- can I go all the way to Yo Shiller? Some games won't let me do that. If I can enter the whole thing... Oh, we're gonna have a golden time. No! I can only- I oh, one letter has to be omitted! Well, it looks like it's gonna be the E. Sorry. Yo Shiller. Oh, frick, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's- that's correct. Alright. We're gonna be Yo Shiller. Okay, boom. Alright. Boom, alright. Guess I better get started. I got a long drive ahead of me. Oh boy. Okay, the Mom moment of truth, all right? So the way we're gonna get things done is first I have to start up this machine. 
All right, so you can see me turning the wheel there. The light's going on, that's automatic. All right, and then I guess I just hold down this button. And that's supposed to replicate the gas. All right, so folks, lo and behold, you have now more or less seen the entire game. So the bus slowly veers to the right. Every once in a while I have to hit left. And I just gotta do this for eight hours. And so I don't completely lose my mind because some of my friends want to basically watch me lose my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and try to simultaneously join a Discord call while driving. Folks, don't do this at home. And when I say that, I mean don't play Desert Bus at home. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't play this anywhere. It's, it's, there are better things to do with your time. All right. All right. I think I did it. I think I got it. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Let's try driving. And at any point, I'm just sitting in this Discord call. So at any point, and I imagine it's going to be real soon, but at any point, folks are welcome to join said call. There you go. Now we're moving. I can tell I'm moving because my little, my little charm underneath my rear view mirror is spinning. All right, well, folks, this is the type of video you put on when you're doing your homework or you're doing some late night work. Maybe you're doing your taxes or, you know, more recently for me, like maybe when I'm doing my laundry, I, I put on a video. This is that type of video. This is the closest thing I'll probably have to a podcast on my own channel. And that, that's assuming other people join. I don't know. Maybe I'm boring people with the idea of wanting to join. So we're going to try and get this to work. And we're going to hope that things go for the best. So what I'm assuming is going to happen is other people are going to join the conversation. And they're going to kind of derail the conversation quite a bit. Otherwise, I'm basically just... Hello! 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 hello. To the Las Vegas? Yeah, can you see it? Yes. Oh man, is this what it looks oh, like? Oh man, I had so <laughs> much time trying to keep up with this bus that's just constantly moving. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if this was gonna work. I was. It's been it's been quite a trip to get this working. Uh, but if it, if you can see it and if you can hear me, hello, 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 hello. Oh my God! How how many people got on the bus? Hello, 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 hello. Uh, yeah. Does this bus all, stop at any world? To the bus. This bus does not stop anywhere. You, you know, Darn. I'm saying if we're in the VR mode, we can be more interactive with you. Oh wait, time out, freak! All right, all right, guys, let's. Go. At the same time he's doing this, let's all jump, jump in the VR one. No. And race him. No. And race him to Vegas. Off to the right lane. <laughs> yeah, that's that happens when I don't press anything, Charles. <laughs> this whole game makes the bus slowly veer to the right. So that you have I to thought it was rare. You have to occasionally Wait, press why? left. Why are you in the left lane? Because I'm in the passing lane. Are you sure that's the passing lane? It's not Actually, it. you're, 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 you're driving. It's, well, it's, uh... You're, you're, you seem to be driving like you're British. I feel like you're driving the oncoming traffic. <laughs> because if I drive too far to the right, I'm going to derail and the, the game's going to be over. And we don't want I that. Mean, the now, game's not, I mean, the game's not really okay, over. But, uh, the game will be over. over when you, uh... When you hit a car, too. There won't no, be any. I, no. Let me assure you, I would freaking love it if a car came crashing toward this bus, okay? I would love <laughs> nothing more than for something other than this bland, the sweet, sweet embrace of a death? desert road to have some sort of action going on. Alright? <laughs> I would love it if a car was flooring it at 80 miles per hour and does came the, head first to this bus. Does the radio network on this one? No. All I can do is oh. this. Oh, <laughs> I, I know, I know. In the VR one, you can you can play uh, one of Penn and Teller's things on loop for like eight hours. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Uh, it's just one. It's it's, nice. it's just one four minute thing though. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> can you do the thing again, Yoshara? I wasn't listening. Oh, that's here. Check this out. There you go. Is it making noise? Yeah. I can't oh. hear. Oh, I can't well, hear. It. It's okay. It just honks the horn. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, that's what it does. Like, yeah, I'm like, I can hear it. Is, it. is it supposed to do something? Sorry, I think I have it set to screen share, but not to window share, because window sharing, like, is going to break my computer. That's fine. That's okay. You know, All I... you're missing is the silent hum of the engine. There is literally nothing else. That's called white noise. <laughs> <laughs> well. I mean, I, I've been on, you know, on bus trips that are this long, and that, that sound of the engine is kind of cathartic. That's true. I've taken the Megabus to and from San Francisco before. 
Also, who's, think... who's all here? Let's do a roll call. So we've got Charles. That's a me. Hi, Charles. We're driving to Vegas, baby. Yeah, baby. I've done this drive. Gotta go pick up Emma. Yes, you have. Uh, Not too long ago, actually. I did, I did this like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, depending on when the video goes out. But yeah. Uh, all right. Hey, should I call you Emma's friendo, or should I call you Addis? What should I call you? Uh, 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 <laughs> We're gonna be in this bus those. for a long time. How would you like for me to refer to you? you? You could just call me Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Why not Addis? But yeah, why not Addis? Because your name's Madison, but I, I figure calling you Maddie or calling you Addison would be weird, so I split it down the middle and called you Addis. But listen, listen, I'm listen. Okay, if you keep this up, I'm going to change it to well, son. Okay, well, whatever you want me to call you is fine. This is very okay. weird, because everyone, everyone's name in here is like, Emma's friend, though. Emma's friend, Emma's <laughs> Tomodachi. And everyone's like, who the heck are these people? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm Charles Seabrook. <laughs> yeah, Charles, hi, I'm Charles. Emma's friend. I, 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 thought your name was, I thought your name was Charles Bean Burrito. <laughs> That's me, Churro Bean Burrito. <laughs> I, I'm Nara. Hi, Nara. I know you. Hey, Nara. You're in my Zelda Four Swords videos. And we played Mario Kart a couple of times. Wow. Yeah. For I mean, real. I know it's very sporadic in Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, you were. Well, it's closer to the end, but yeah. Oh, man, is this all this video is? It's like, I ran, I don't have any other video series on my channel where I get to do a nonchalant activity in the background for six hours while I ramble about whatever I want, so I had to boot up Desert Bus so I could fill the void. <laughs> but I finished Animal Crossing. your soul. <laughs> really Animal nothing Crossing. on this road? There's no. Well, you don't no, have to you know worry what? about traffic? You know what, Addis? Apparently four hours in, a fly will splat on this windshield. <laughs> yeah. You know what? What? That's that's fine. So I hope you that will happen eventually when that happens. Dude, on the drive, like on long drives, yeah. uh, cuz I drove cross country before. Yeah. Uh, the windows get so dirty. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> so many oh, yeah. dead bugs. <laughs> right. I've seen I've seen it happen. Hey, is Nico here? Yes. Yeah, hey. First of all, hi Nico. Hi. Second of all, you live in Norway, right? Yes. Third. What's a Norwegian doing on my bus? This is Nico's cousin Gamma. You have a problem. Nico got a problem with me. I got a problem with both of you. So get the heck out of here. Okay, turn this bus around then. Turn it around. Don't actually leave. I need the social interaction. I need to pee. You have to pee. Well, you should have gone before we left, Nico. <laughs> this you know, bus does not you know, come with a toilet. What's up? You told you know, me it's this funny bus... he says that. It's funny he said that because I actually had to go to the bathroom before this even started. Well, you can, like... go, you can do whatever you want. You guys don't have to check this out with me. This is this is my prison. I, I'm the one playing. I have to... <laughs> You're in hell. No, I, I, went, I went to the bathroom already. I went to the bathroom already, but Charles made a joke of like, what did the bus, like, what did the bus leave? And I just said, I'll just run after it. <laughs> I mean, we're go the at fastest human running speed is about five to six miles per hour. Even this bus goes at least twenty. Ah, well, I mean, this says I'm going fifty, but it don't feel like it. Yeah, it really doesn't feel. Like it. <laughs> I mean, but maybe the the yellow stripes on on the line are really, really long yellow stripes. Oh man, I mean, this you know this thing could say I'm going one hundred twenty, and I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I wouldn't hey, know until so the police tries. Police officer tries to flag me. To, to, to be fair, Usain Bolt can run at 40 miles an hour. He can? Yes. 4D with a zero. According to Google. That can't be right. He's almost as fast as a cheetah. That's in, in absurd. Because the human walking speed is on average 3 miles per hour. And I'm faster than that because I've got long legs. But I figure if I run, you maybe move at twice the speed. So I, I reckon like 6 miles an hour at the fastest. 37.58 miles per hour. I mean, you're not Usain Bolt either. I'm not. No, you're right. You're right. I'm not. I don't yeah, have, there is running techniques. I don't have yeah. any Olympic medals. I don't have any medals. Uh, no, that's not true. I have a couple. But otherwise, I don't have any Olympic medals, though. So. Anyway. Well, I mean, guys, we're going to be here for the next seven hours and, like, 50 minutes. Does anyone have any good conversational pieces? So, odds are I can go to bed for work and wake up and still be driving. How long do you sleep? <laughs> I'll probably be up in about six or seven hours. You might catch me at the very end. 
<laughs> I, will be, I will be the smart one to sleep for this whole trip. Yeah, just sleep on the bus. That's what you people do. I've slept on a bus. Same here. You can do it. Uh, Same. I've tr I, when I was in the Greyhound once, I tried sleeping on it, but uh, that was a nightmare. This might this be... Feel that. This might be the unhealthiest game I've ever played. Because I just gotta sit here for eight hours. <laughs> I mean, we, we, can, we can try American Truck Simulator later. I would rat. Well, I mean, is that the same thing? Well, Desert Bus VR is the same thing. Well, that's virtual reality. I can at least in Desert Bus VR, I can turn around while I yell at you guys. <laughs> Higher stakes too. Yeah. Because if you turn around, you can go off. You can veer off course. Right. You're right. All right. Well, I got. We'll I get gross about you. I got. Yes. I, I got a conversational piece. All right. I got something. Mm. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go one at a time. We're gonna do this podcast style. All right. Oh God. What? what what's oh, wrong? No. You got something that podcasts? Don't worry, I kind of do as well. <laughs> but we're gonna do this podcast style. All right. All right, folks. What is your favorite letter of the alphabet? Starting with you, Charles. Uh, I like. I like L M N P. Uh, pick one, sir. One letter. I like. I like elemental P. Elemental, elemental P. P. Elemental P. <laughs> elemental no, P. If, if, if I'm being serious, it'd probably have to be C. C? Why? Because, no, that's, no. because <laughs> that's what my name starts with a C. Okay. And, I have and a your C middle in name. My middle name. Oh, you don't have one in your last <laughs> wow. name, Mr. Bernardo. Yeah, you're right. Unless that's why it's like CCB. Bernardo or Bernarco, but you could be like Bernardo Ber like the company. Or Kernardo. You could be Kernardo. Or I could be Burke Carco. Oh. You could be Burke, yeah. Burke, Burke NATO. I don't know. All right, sorry. I'm done making fun of your name. All right. It's okay. All right, Madison, what's your favorite letter? Great question. Come on, you get one in 26 I love chance. It. One in 26 chance of getting it right, and you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, all right, Nico. Probably, probably O. Uh, if I'm being genuine, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, going to be uh, very uh, round. Okay, O. Yeah, it's going to uh. be A. Uh. You like A? Uh. You, yeah, right. you, you don't call it A. You call it A uh, because you're Norwegian. No, yeah, you know, it's it's the you know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special Ooh. Norwegian character. Okay. Yeah, it's the twenty seventh letter. Twenty seventh letter. Oh. Is oh, not the if you're playing letter. it that way, then I could have said Enya is my favorite because <laughs> you know. Uh. You and your Jeez. accent marks. Which is just the end with the curvy line on top. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Emma's Tomodachi. Gamma. Favorite letter. Oh, you said my answer, Gamma. Gamma? That is a great Doesn't... letter. Valid answer. And Nara, what is your favorite letter? N, because he's also my favorite character in Pokemon. Good answer. Good answer. So far, Nara has given the best answer, but I would say... That my favorite letter is Y. For Why? You, for you, for you see, Why? my name of Bradley ends with a Y, and mm -hmm. my username of Yoshiller starts with a Y. And I. Oh, your last name doesn't have a Y. No, my last name does not have a Y. I did buy Pokemon Y. I. Uh, yeah, that's close enough. Bayleaf has a Y in it, and that's my favorite Pokemon. Bayleaf is also, you know, a spice. It is a, but, you know a spice. Seasoning. You want to know something, Yoshiller? I always want to know something, Yoshiller. Cyndaquil has a C and a Y. What, what are, you, are you trying to say that if you and I were to fuse, we'd be a Cyndaquil? Sure. Yes. That's a good answer. I'll, 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 be, I'll be the part where it forms its size. Great. Great. Well, now that we've done favorites, we gotta do least favorites. So, Charles, what is your least favorite letter? Uh, Z. Yeah, why Z? Because there's like no words with Z that sound good. <laughs> oh wait, and also, and also, British people pronounce it Z. Z, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's definitely more cool. Z. Well, you guys, I'm just gonna go in the back of the bus. I really need to pee. Bye. You can, you can go pee. I gotta warn you. There's no, no just open a window. Just open a window. Yeah, go over the edge. <laughs> just make sure there's not so a. So this is it. This isn't like a mega bus where they actually do have toilets on there. Yeah, so this is not a mega. This is before mega bus, I think. <laughs> actually, I don't know when mega bus was invented. This game came out in the night, or was supposed to come out in the nineties. Uh, I would imagine that mega bus probably existed before that. I think mega bus has been around a long time. Don't worry, I'll check it up on my portable PDA. Uh, Greyhound. 
Disney they were, no, they were founded in 06. Oh, man, really? Really? Messed up. What, really? Yep. Hmm. Oh, I wait. mean, they could have been named something else prior to Mega Bus, but. I mean, it could be the Greyhound. I don't know. Uh, Greyhound. Greyhound. Been around forever. Uh, when did Greyhound get formed? That's what I meant. Man, everything here. No. He can't look on his phone, he's driving. He's yeah. gonna get pulled over by a yeah, cop. Yeah, I'll get arrested. Meanwhile, Nico can pee out the side of the window and we'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's, no, he's Norwegian. He's Norwegian. American laws don't affect him. That's right. That's, Back actually, not, that's actually not right, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> if you're in another country, you obey those countries' rules. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you my least favorite letter. While you guys look up when Greyhound was invented. <laughs> uh, Gotta find the Wikipedia page. My least favorite letter is probably Q because it always brings a plus one with it. So, like I, I want to invite. Not Q always. I, I want objection. Invite, I, I want objection. Invite, what, what's your objection? Not not Kai. Listen to me. I'm not done. With, <laughs> I'm not done with my reasoning about why I hate Q. All right. What I was gonna say was when I invite Q to my word party, to my mm -hmm. word play. All right. Sometimes it has to bring you, sometimes it doesn't. But there's no word that has the word, that has the letter Q in it, that can't just as easily be spelled with a K or a KW. Okay, so my follow-up is, what do you have against one of the best James Bond characters in? And who's that? Q. Is, is that just his name, is Q? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I haven't, I'm not... You're... He was one of the best letters. It's funny. Uh, Q it's that shape. You can, you can it's brown, it has a tail. Spell, you it's know a furry O. Okay. It's a furry. I mean, yeah, have you ever played for Stone Q? Have you ever played for Yeah, have you ever seen Persona Q? You know what, you sure I'm going back to your point. Yeah, uh, Q's an awful letter. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of Q being the furriest letter, but, you know, when you put it that way, I really hate Q. <laughs> no, 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 that's me. Sorry, I've been really mean in my commentary. I've been making fun of Norwegians. I was making fun of Charles' name. I've been making fun of the letter Q. I better not it's do that. It's gonna drive this bus, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man, you're gonna, man, yeah, man, you're gonna be. You're getting really you're getting into the character of being this bus driver. He's getting road rage already. A lot of Norwegians and a lot of and a lot of uh, Qs. A lot of Qs. I mean, also, you're you're kind of in, you're kind of like channeling your inner bus driver. A little bit. I'm pretty yeah, sure all 30 like Scandinavians are going to be very upset when they watch your video. Uh, all 30 of them. <laughs> that's still 30 viewers. That's a whole, that's a whole classroom. Well, Nico, why don't you tell me your least favorite letter then, so we can offend someone else. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, there's Z. only 26. Z as well. Hey, see? Told ya. Dead. Yeah. Why does everyone hate Z? Yeah, what did Z do to you guys? Yeah, it's a bad letter. That's what it did. Uh huh. Damn. Well, well, well. Z. I don't know any Z, but I know Zed's. A, I know Zed's a real asshole. And he's gonna play three. <laughs> All right. All right. Nara, you because they have. Me, you want to tell me your huh? least favorite letter? Well, I've Zed. Never this one. <laughs> Is it okay? Zed. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I thought this would be a much more entertaining conversation, but if everyone's just gonna say friggin' Z, then maybe I'm I not. mean. Yeah, I mean, you're talking to favorite. Want to know my favorite letter? I want to know your least, least favorite. Least favorite letter? Yeah. You. No. What did I do to you? We're not talking about I. We're talking about you. Yeah, what did I do to you? Exactly. <laughs> this conversation was enough. Uh. <laughs> All right, Gamma, what's your least favorite letter? Or is it going to be like Omega, the Greek Z? <laughs> You know, you, you had to put that idea in my mind. What was it before I gave you such a dumb idea? Uh, oh, 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 well, Beta, of course. Beta? Yeah. yeah. Don't blame me. Hey, that's B. That's fair. That's fine. That's essentially B, isn't it? No, that's, that's Greek B. It's different. <laughs> Greek B. It's B, it's, B on a, it's B on a curve. It's fancy B. Yeah. Or be on a slant, rather. You guys know what I mean. So I couldn't say Omega goes E E one two three Omega. Is still one of my favorite Sonic characters. So he's pretty great. Oh, do you do you like Gamma more than Omega though? That's yeah. That, 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 that's my namesake. So yes. Uh, oh, is that is that really? Yes. Ah, bias. Yeah. So I can tell a quick story as to why my name is Gamma. You may as well. Uh, so when I was in high school, when I was a sophomore, I needed a cool YouTube name. Yeah. And I was gonna call myself Gamer Lad. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, that was an uh, that was a totally original idea that would not have come to bite me in the ass, you know, fifteen years later. Uh, and Gamer Lab was already taken. Oh yeah. So I had just finished playing Sonic uh, Sonic Adventure again, and I just said, "Well, Gamma sounds close enough," and that's where Gamma Lad came from. And so then I just Gamma Lad. I, yes, and then I just dropped the Lad because I just like Gamma is just cool on its own. Yeah, he has yeah. a cool theme in Sonic Adventure. Oh, I love it. That was, for like the first like yeah. three years of my YouTube channel, that was the theme music I used. <laughs> High School Me was weird. That's okay. High School Me was weird, too. In fact, not too long ago, I posted a video of myself dressing up backwards and pretending to pick a fight with someone. It's <laughs> great. Well, alright, 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 alright. So that conversation, that went nowhere. So I'm going to try another one, alright? Because I, I was thinking about this on my way home before I decided I wanted to drive a bus for eight hours, okay? <laughs> now, mm -hmm. there are billboards and advertising spaces in Los Angeles that's, that are now saying, like, your ad can go here, your name here, and I'm curious if someone... Oh, are you going to put up an ad? Me. Well, I've, here's what I, I have two questions for this. One, does anyone know how much it costs to rent out one of those billboard spaces? And two, is it, is it like, mean-spirited... To try and do a fundraiser on a crowdfunding campaign just to spend the money on an advertising slot on a billboard just so I can put my name on there. What state is this? What, what website is this? State. Oh, state, California. Billboard advertising. I'm going to say 500 bucks a day. 500 bucks yeah. a day? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, because, because, okay. So the second. Uh, ooh. Hoo, 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 no. Um, what do you, what do you say? The average billboard cost in the U.S. is 850 for a four-week campaign. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Oh, four week. That's yeah. better yeah, than per day. You're saying per day. Yeah. Okay. okay. If it's four weeks for 850, that's not as bad as 500 a day. Okay. So the the second question. All right. So when people are are doing live streams. Usually when they try to raise money, it's for a charity event, right? Like, they're like, oh, you know, my, my pet is in the hospital or I had surgery and I have to, have to pay it off or something like that, right? Is it, is it bad light if I say I want to do a money-raising campaign just to immediately spend it on an advertisement that won't accomplish anything other than bragging rights? Maybe. I wouldn't say it's mean spirited, but it would. It well, mean spirited, but I don't, I don't think it'd be received. I mean, if no one's paying for the advertisement right now, it, it would be hard to get people to donate. Essentially. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's so good. what if? What it would if, have to be really funny. Okay. So what if I bought an advertisement slot, and all it says is, "Dear Nintendo, please make a new F Zero or Wario Land game." <laughs> you are there. You have a winner. Now you have a winning strategy here. Now you have a plan. If I can legally do that, like, would that be sure would that be in bad that. light? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. If like if I did it for the for the pure sake of pursuing a viral marketing campaign for something that doesn't exist. Yeah, that'd be funny. Okay. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, a after this, I guess. Let me, <laughs> let, me, let, me let me drive us to Vegas first. Oh, sorry, fellow passengers. Dan says hi. Hello, Dan. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> well, all right. I just I well, was thinking about it is all because I I don't like streaming. I don't want to stream. I like joining <laughs> the streams of others, and I acknowledge like this could have this may as well have been. Streams. It would have been. It, it could have been a stream, yeah. Yeah, but I was wondering, like, if there's anything to prompt me to ever want to stream, it's the idea of doing so just to raise money for something really unnecessary and stupid. So, suggestion. Yes. Uh, in the future, just stream the VR version of this for, for charity, or well, not charity. Yeah, this we is, want this the. Is a, sorry, you want the charity. Event. This is much you know, more he, selfish and entitled. <laughs> The war of the charity, okay. so. I mean, one of the first things that made this big was a charity. Charity, yeah. Stream, so. Oh, yeah, Desert Bus is famous for doing charity. But, like, so, it, would, it wouldn't be this, like, it would be a regular stream. Like, uh, the thing that always pops into my head is, like, streaming Pokemon, and people who donate $5 get to choose a Pokemon I catch, and those who donate another amount, like, get to choose its nickname or something like that. Hmm. 
That's, oh, that's what I'm thinking. Team. Until we get the target of however much it costs to rent out this billboard, eight hundred fifty dollars. Eight hundred fifty is the average billboard cost in the U.S. Uh, I'm looking yeah, maybe, further. Maybe we ought to go up. Maybe, maybe common and generally the most expensive street billboards are usually cheaper. Okay, well let's do the most expensive one in Los Angeles. Wouldn't you want to do it in like, I don't know, uh, Redmonton? No, I want to do it in a place where people are going to see it. But okay. I, I know why you say Redmond because that's where Nintendo's headquarters are. But mm-hmm. it's, it's like. I these advertise these billboards don't have advertisements on them in Los Angeles, and that's why I want to do it. At least a couple Are of they, them. Don't. Mm, these could get pretty expensive. How how expensive are we talking? Uh, fifteen hundred to two thousand in small mid small to mid sized cities, and yeah. fourteen thousand and up in larger markets. Fourteen thousand or fourteen hundred? Fourteen thousand. Hmm. That's not the price to buy one. I mean, if I gotta raise fourteen thousand dollars, you know, you guys, I'm already crazy enough to play this game. Like, what's what's raising fourteen thousand dollars for a billboard, right? Fourteen thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Uh... <laughs> fourteen thousand dollars. If I gotta stream for a year, I'll do it. I mean, I, I just found a you know twenty five thousand dollar billboard in uh in, in Illinois. Yeah, but that's Illinois. Yeah. Found a ten thousand dollar one in Newcastle. People are actually advertising there. Oh wait, no, that's a permit to build one. Hold on, no, it's not no, a bad. No, I don't want to build one. I I just want to like use one of these ones that says your name could go here, and then ask Nintendo to make F Zero a Wario Land with it. I think we need to go big or go home. <laughs> Do a full on advertisement campaign across the United States. How much? Okay, are you can we talk about can we talk about Wario again though? What about Wario? You know, you know what about Wario. I'm, I'm going. Yeah, I, I know what about Wario, but the audience watching this video doesn't. All right, I'm, put, I'm putting my I'm putting my uh, my AirPods in. All right. <laughs> Wario is <laughs> peak man. Kill two other passengers on the bus. Wario is peak man. That's is that it? Wario doesn't have any nipples. No, Wario doesn't. Wario have doesn't have any nipples. <laughs> 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 Someone had to say it. I guess. I guess it has to be me. Uh, that means he's not a mammal. He's not, yeah, he's not a mammal. And actually, Madison actually did tell me the whole truth about the whole truth about echidnas. The they don't. Yeah, they, they got don't no have three. Yeah, and they, yeah, they don't have three. And I've just been advised by my supervisor that I'm not allowed to complete that sentence. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, nipples. Are what mammals Only most are mammals t- have nipples? Uh, okay, but guys, what's up? If you think about it, is this why Tyson Hess called it nipples the echidna? Nipples the echidna. No, <laughs> okay. You know, maybe Tyson. You guys, 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 guys. <laughs> you guys got to understand that when we have these conversations, we have to clue the audience in to what we're talking about. You know, yeah, I, you're right, you're I'm, right. I'm starting to realize why these bus tickets are dirt cheap. Yeah. Yeah, they're dirt cheap. Because this is what the conversation is. Yes. Got it. So, folks, the reason we brought up Wario is because just before I started recording this Desert Bus video, Charles was trying to draw a picture of Wario for, like, a video or something. A and picture of Wario. He, he was looking up reference images and reference sheets of Wario and found out that Wario does not have nipples. Even though other Mario characters do. And so, Such as Mario, Mario Luigi, Luigi, and, and Waluigi. Waluigi does, but not Wario. So does that mean that Wario is not a mammal? Because mammals are named after the mammary gland, which is usually uh, usually contains a nipple. So, I don't think it's a rated R conversation to have. I'm just I'm just asking. Is Wario? Well, yeah, not everyone a has it. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you don't use them, you lose them, right? <laughs> oh no! I mean, I can't remember the last time I used mine, and they're still there. So don't worry. I think I think they're gonna be there a little while. This conversation took a turn. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I think. Just like this bus. Yeah. Look, watch me do a turn. Ready? Oh, uh, yeah. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> All right. Well, what, do you, what else do you guys want to talk about? Because I gotta I gotta pick something. That, for eight hours. Yeah, <laughs> all right, all right. And also, you know, maybe not nipples, because I have some family 
viewers watching and they're gonna say that's inappropriate i'm like it's not though it's not <laughs> i'm enlightening really people about uh, basic biology but all right i can change the conversation sh sh should we call uh, it uh, so it doesn't sound as offensive no that actually sounds more <laughs> offensive do you think it with an accent so i don't want to alarm everyone okay. about the bus yeah, but uh your engine's overheating and you're out of gas I'm not out of gas. That's on E for and fueled with fuel. Okay, <laughs> and the for extra gas. gas. <laughs> and the engine overheating? Uh, that's not the engine overheating. That's just the inside temperature of the vehicle. It's on H for hmm. That's cozy. <laughs> Dude, it's hot as balls in here. Well, I can put it to C for. Come on, man. Why don't you warm up the car a little more? I don't like. Come on, man. Warm up the car in this nice toasty desert. Yeah, man, I can, like, you, you think it's cold in here? I'll kick you out, and then we'll see how cold you truly are. About it's a cold desert. Sun is shining. 1,322 miles. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know I, I, I forgot, where does this bus depart from? It departs from sing a song. somewhere yeah. in California. Probably like San Diego or something. You know, I can make this trip an American truck simulator. I'm going to do that. Are you going to see but, who wins? It's going to be stupid. <laughs> Great, but we can't see your perspective. No, that's unfortunate. Uh, and also, because American Truck Simulator is a 1 to 10 scale, this is a 1 to 1 scale. This is 1 to 1. That's true. That's true. Well, <sighs> alright. So we gotta buy a billboard. The worst letter is Z. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay, okay. This conversational piece is a classic. Alright? I, uh -huh. I got one. I got one for you guys. All right. Is it the fact that stew is synonymous with casserole? It is. Hold on. R run, that by, run that by me again. <laughs> you heard me. Stew is synonymous with casserole. I, I, I have made many a stew and many a casserole. I don't see it. They're synonymous, according to the dictionary. Well, the dictionary is wrong. That's your to be opinion. fair, some casseroles uh, can be completely dry and some stews can have a lot of liquid. I've never had a dry stew before. <laughs> Yeah, but you can have a dry casserole. We can also have a wet casserole, which is synonymous with the stew. I, 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 when I think of a wet casserole, I think of like a tuna casserole, and that does not I make me think of a stew. Killer. Nope, we're good. Everything's I, fine. I thought he just he just verged off to the left on his own by this conversation. I'm just listening. <laughs> I, just, I don't have anything to weigh in. I don't eat stew or casseroles. Yeah, I, 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 okay, but, you, but you know the general concept of them, right? I know what a stew is, yeah. And yeah, he's the guy from Rugrats. Yeah, he's They're the synonymous. best character from Rugrats. He's the best character from Rugrats. I don't remember anything about Rugrats. <laughs> well, all you need to remember, and he, and he all you need to remember is that Stew is the best character from it. He's the best character from Rugrats. Wait, not what soup. Do, Damn. So, what is stewed pickles, then? Stew pickles? If we stew the pickles. Stew pickles is the best character from Rugrats, I just told you. He's the best character from Rugrats. <laughs> I am. I am opting not to swear. A, he had a brother named Drew Pickles, who was not the best character. <laughs> regrets. Because he would draw, he would he would draw pickles instead of stewing them. Yes. But then there was also his wife. Uh, what was it, Jolene Pickles? Charlotte. 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 Charlotte who was not the best character <clears throat> in Regrets. No, she was a very uh, a very neglectful mother. Yeah, she was. She was the workaholic mom. Man. And then Stu married Dee Dee, who is not the best character in Rugrats. But you know who is the best character in Rugrats is Stu. I, I, actually, I think uh, Grandpa Lou is. Grandpa yeah, Lou yeah, Grandpa. is pretty awesome. Alright, he's probably like second best. All, like, or, like, or, Mantle's there for Pearl Harbor. I'll, I'll also accept, what's the name of the, the Jewish Grandpa, Dee Dee's dad? Oh. <laughs> is it Boris? <laughs> I swear it's Boris. Yeah, it's I think it's yeah, I think it's Boris. Okay, that guy. Yeah, his, 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 isn't his last name like extremely Jewish? It's like Kavorkian or something. Uh -huh. yeah. or something. <laughs> he, that those characters were so Jewish, it was ridiculous. They were like every other every other sentence they had to throw in the word kafilta fish. It was it was like almost offensive if the creators of that show weren't Jewish. I digress though. That character's name, who I think is Boris. Is also probably it is. Sec second best or third best character on the show. 
That guy was great. But Drew, the uh, Stew Pickles. I almost said Drew Pickles there. That would have been inaccurate. Stew Pickles. Best character on the show. Best Stew Pickles. Best, best character. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, the conversation I actually wanted to have before we talked about Stew. Oh, yeah, the room. classic. Sorry. No, you're okay. I, I wanted to say, uh, what's a game, like, I, I'm, I'm basically playing this game for bragging rights, and also because I feel it's important for people to play games of all types, good or bad, and people really should, people should play more bad games, I, re I really believe that. I will be right back. Well, okay, I was going to ask you a question, but that's okay, I'll wait till he gets back. Tell me the question. What's a game <laughs> that you like that no one else likes? Sonic Adventure 2. That's not, what the, that, that, that's not a bad answer in the slightest. What? I mean, everyone loves what? Sonic Adventure 2. It yeah, is a bad what, game, though. What are you talking about? What are you talking? Only like, like a third fun of that functionally, game it's 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 not uh. Functionally, it's not for functionally. Not exactly. Not for the um, there. No, Charles, I'm gonna be right back. It's fine. Give me. Let me think. I'll answer when I come back. All right, Sonic Adventure 2 better not be your answer though. The thing is, though, it's a bad game, but everyone loves it. No, and that's, that's fair. only a third of it's bad. It's just the functionally, like levels. playing wise. I I wholeheartedly it's, it's it's kind of buggy. I think that's just a little bit. Sonic, all Sonic games have bugs in them, but I think that's when Sonic gameplay was like at its most optimized <laughs> until they did the boost formula. Because then, like, after Sonic Adventure 2, we got Sonic Heroes, and Sonic feels like he's friggin' slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2, like, he, he, his control scheme feels tight, and that's why I like it. But alright, what, what are your guys' answers? Is your, like, what's a game that you like that no one else likes? What Dwarf what is it? Uh... Space Station 13. <laughs> Barrow Trauma. I don't even know if I've heard of that. Games of Cud. I don't, haven't heard any of these. <laughs> uh, RuneScape proper. Okay. I'm trying to think. Nico, can you use a game that I'm actually heard of? Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Resident Evil Six or something? I don't know. Oh yeah, 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 that one too. That yeah, one too. too. Okay. That's not my answer, by the way. I'm just like throwing out an idea. I don't think there's a single game I've played that's like. Hated. Horrifically bad, and I'm the only one that likes it. Okay. Is there any game you like that's like kind of bad, but you have a soft spot for? Starcraft. Wait, is that is All that right. what the question was? <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying, just trying to get an answer out of her. Beloved game, Starcraft. I mean, like, I don't like Shadow the Hedgehog, but I'll, <laughs> I'll play it because I. You take that back right now. Okay, my actual answer is Mega Man X6. People don't like I that game, but I love that game. have any of the Mega Man games. Mega Man X6 is... People always say, well, it doesn't need to exist. I'm like, okay, but it does exist. A lot of things don't and need to quite, exist. And it's quite good, yeah. You, you commenter didn't need to exist on that subject. Yeah. But yet you still gave me your opinion. Yeah. You know, like, it's, a lot of video. things don't need to exist, but the fact of the matter is they do, so what do we think of them? It's like when people talk about Toy Story 4. They're like, well, it doesn't need to exist. And I'm like, okay, well, it does exist. So what's your actual opinion of the movie? In my opinion, it's okay. <laughs> if I was, told, if to I was told I had to make a sequel to Toy Story 3, what they churned out I thought was pretty good. Of course it doesn't need to exist. Of course Toy Story 3 had a perfect ending. But, like, Toy Story 4, like what it is, it's pretty good. That's the thing, though. I feel like if it has, like, a perfectly nice wrapped-up ending, it really doesn't need a sequel. Actually, you know what? what? I have a new answer. What's I've remembered answer? something. What you got for Golden me? Golden Sun Dark Dawn is an awful fucking game. <laughs> is it now? Language. I apologize. It's okay. No, I have a little warning. The video I have a fun. lot of passion well, we about... Can, we can say fuck? Sure. <laughs> Sweet. I'm not gonna sit it's through this eight-hour video just to censor out, like, two F-bombs. <laughs> That's oh, wait, oh, hold on, hold on. That's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to swear less. Well, hold on a second. We can go over under on swears, then, if, you, if, I, if, I'm, if I have free reign. I mean, I've, I, don't limit yourself, but don't, I don't know. Don't go overboard. I got don't family don't watching it. this video, you know? What if there's, like, a three-year-old that really wants to see me drive this bus? You know what? <laughs> that's I, was about, I, was, I was about to be really, really sarcastic, but I'm not going to say what I was going to say. No, it's okay. I'm just saying, like, if it, sli <laughs> if it slips out... 
I, also, the, the, the idea with this video is that okay. I want it to sound like an everyday conversation we have, but no one's saying anything. So I'm like, all right, I'll start. Here's a conversation. What's a game you <laughs> like that no one else likes? All right, Madison, what was your answer? I, I was here with Golden the purpose Dark to annoy Dawn. you. Nico, you can do that. Go ahead. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Nico. So oh, the thing is, yeah, with what, the, the first two mean? Golden Suns, which were meant to be one Golden Sun, but they couldn't fit on one GBA cartridge. Right. They're fantastic. I mean, the... the Localization's a little like botched. chunky and dated. It's not like that. What do you say, botched? Yeah, kind of, kind of botched from what I saw. You know what? That's fair. I've I've read all of the I, NPC dialogue. I'm that person. I'm sorry. And this is coming from someone who hasn't played a Golden Sun game. You should play the first two. They're very good. They're very fun. Dark Dawn. Fun, quote unquote. Probably, it's just uh, it, it feels more like a puppet corpse of the first games, and I, I it makes me sad. You know what? Your puppet corpse was the first games. Thanks. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you actually like Dark Dawn though? N no, uh, I was just oh, okay. I was just adding it to the adding to the conversation. Okay, okay. okay. Wait, so Gamma, you said your answer was was RuneScape proper. Yes, I do not like old school. I love RS3. Uh, it's a shitty game, but I'll still play it for the rest of my life. Alright. Uh, Wait, sorry. I'm teaching all of these hypothetical three-year-olds watching Desert Bus streams. Yeah, what, what's a, a bad game that you like, Nico? Like, an like a bad point. game? No, I, I thought we were talking about public opinion. Like, everyone hates it. Oh, well, then, yeah. Like, what's... Okay, yes. What's a game that most people don't like that you like? Yes, that, that, the conversation kind of turned into what's a... What's a bad? Well, game? That's, in that case, I, I take it back. RuneScape Three is a great game, and you guys need to just grow up. And, and your childhood was never great. All right. You know what's a Rune, bad game, game? Everyone hates. What's that? Not even one that I have a soft spot for. Just a bad game. What's that? EverQuest yes? Two. They made a sequel to played, EverQuest. I haven't played either either of them. Would you like to? How do you make a sequel answer? to a never-ending? MMORPG. How do you, how do you make a sequel to that? Well, it's simple. No. They made RuneScape Three. Yeah, oh, I don't understand. Did they make Final Fantasy fourteen after like another online Final Fantasy game? Yeah. Yes. Isn't that a sequel? Tornado oh, granted, granted, the original, like the original FF fourteen, was actually so bad that they retconned it, and then just made a new world just entirely based around it. Yeah, they brought in Yoshi P and had him fix it up, right? Yeah, and he is the sa he's the savior of fourteen. Okay. Spe speaking of MMOs, do you know Adventure Quest still exists? Yes. That's the, that's the, what? Yeah. Yeah, I played it like last year. <laughs> speaking of things that still exist, Line Rider is actually mm. still very popular. I, oh, oh my god. god. Okay, so I have a whiteboard beside my desk where I write down ideas for videos that I, I might want to do or games I might want to play. Line Rider was on there for the longest time. You've never played Line Rider? No, I have played it, but I've never done a video on it. Oh, you should do a I video used, on I, it. When I was in middle school and we had access to a computer, we used to play that You should draw time. Yoshi. Yeah, well, yeah, so the, the idea is to draw a track where the rider stays on the sleigh and then use the little green tool or whatever to turn it into artwork, right? I, I've wanted to do a Line Rider video for so long. I have not done it. You just reminded me. Have you seen me. the Gravity Well technology? It's insane. No. no. Man, I wish I could show you videos now. Well, there is a Line Rider DS game, I think, like an official one. Really? I think so. Really? Whack. I think so. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it was like a browser Line. game that I just I I didn't play for the longest time. I play, I played that. We're talking like literally 15 years ago, 2008 is when I was playing Line Rider. Yeah. Uh, someone took over the existence of Line Rider and maintaining it, like, over a year ago. And it's 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 accessible. It's back. You can okay. Fuck yeah. In due time, I will do a video on Line Rider. It's real. Line Rider was my jam back in those days. That's when we looked for games on Newgrounds because Newgrounds was not blocked by my school, at least not at yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I remember those days. And so it was it was Line Rider. It was Super Smash Flash, and it was well, Ultimate Advanced Sonic. What about Mighty Guy? Oh, dude. I don't remember Mighty Guy. My, you don't remember playing oh, Mighty Guy? I don't think so. I'm gonna leave the uh, Line Rider Rush E video in general for you later. Yeah, I can't watch it. Should I? Should I tag you? You can tag me. 
Okay, so that I way you can I have my alerts turned here. off so I can hear when someone leaves or joins the call. So I'll, if you tag me, I'll get the little alert. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't watch a YouTube video and drive. Yeah, yeah, obviously, you gotta keep your eyes on the road. Yeah, I'm gotta, sorry. You know, it's, 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 it's safe. Cowards. It's safe. Cowards. Cool. Well, also, I would, I would, uh... <laughs> you wouldn't! kind of, like, crash the video anyway, because I've got, like, 50,000 things running so I can record this. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what else. Uh, what if we all sat in awkward silence? We could do that. <laughs> well, I didn't last long now. Did not last long at all. That's gonna be like the last hour of this video when all you guys go to bed. I'm like, good night, and then I'll sit here and be like, why did I do this? Why did I decide this was a good idea? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you sure? If I, if I go to bed right now, I can wake up towards the end and join you for yeah, that. That's, that's what I was thinking. If I go to bed now, I'm gonna wake up at the halfway point. <laughs> <laughs> good night, guys. I'll be here. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm tired of that whole see. I see, a girl in black myself needs about like six hours of sleep. Yo, so how many hours left of this try of this drive? Eight. Well, it's at like seven at this point, or like seven and a half. All right, so I'd be. Are you driving back? No, I'm not. I'm not driving back. Are you nuts? <laughs> yes, Coward. actually, I, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna get this bus to its destination, and then I'm gonna make it someone else's problem. No. <laughs> While I sit in the back. But the point! You want the point! Yeah, do you know what happens when I'm done driving the eight hours? You get you a take a nap. Point. I get a point. <laughs> you get a one single point. point. I get one point. <laughs> oh, I just saw my screen Have you actually minute. earned 100 points yet? I, uh, you know, it, it's probably happened. Like, those people that play this game for charity, they've probably done it by now. But otherwise, I think the highest that, was apparently 99. I mean, you could macro this game pretty easily. <laughs> It, it takes, I mean, it, there's, there's 100 possible points, so it takes 800 hours. That's a long time, but that's not unfeasible, you know? Like, I've got 1,000 hours in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, wow. I have I have 9,000 in RuneScape. Yeah, so, like, you, if, have... like, if you come home from work and you play this every night, like, you could do it. I'd have to question, what's your life like if this is what you come home to every night, though? That, yeah, that'd be rough, right? Because even... even... When I was coming home from working for, like, completionists and stuff, I was still playing games for, like, an hour or two, and then I'd take a shower and go to sleep. Not playing Desert Bus for eight hours. Yeah! Let's go! Desert Bus! Um, Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! See, if this was a hours, real I life... Have... Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, 1,463.5 hours in Terraria. Nice! How many in Terraria? 1,460... Was it 63? Oh, shit. I if you said 14,000, I'd be very concerned. I mean, it could be 14,000. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if the game's been out that long. Yeah, the game's been out that long. Well, I can't do math. Yeah, but, but, but then again, who am I to talk if I, since I have 9,000 in Earnscape, so... Well, because uh, there's about... Oh, yeah, that would be like 1.6 years. Oh, there's okay. about 8, uh, Yeah, the game's year, been right? out that long. Yeah. So if you, the if thing you is, play I would have game to play it for every hour of every, or you know, every minute of every day for like a year or two. Yeah, you could, you could hit fourteen thousand hours. Yeah, but like, I would be bored. That would, yeah. <laughs> I would hope that after fourteen thousand hours, you've accomplished. See, I've enough. accumulated this time over like the entire lifespan of Terraria. There's uh, never without mods. Most of that was vanilla. About so three hundred hours of that is modded. Oh, okay. I just keep going back to vanilla. It's it's just good, you know. You know vanilla is a is a great flavor, for sure. My favorite flavor of ice cream. It is mine as well. It is the base flavor of many other flavors. Yes, it is. Have any of you had super? Have any of you had Superman ice cream? No, what's Superman ice cream? No, uh, I've never heard of that. Wait, I thought you lived in the Midwest. Me? Do you or do you not? I forgot. I am not in the Midwest. Mario Sunshine! Midwest. Good uh, answer, Charles. Welcome back. Whoa, uh, Welcome I back. I don't know if you played that game, but I enjoyed it. 
We are on an entirely actually, different conversation. Oh no. I'm Char so sorry. Actually, What's yeah. happening now, I remember people did not like Sunshine. That was considered, as they say, the black sheep of the series. All right, people did not really? like it. And now... I never disliked it. I always okay. thought it was fine. But my point is, now, everyone's acting like it was never bad. They're like, oh no, I love Sunshine. I'm like, BS! BS, why not go <laughs> back? Go back! So, like, when, when Mario Galaxy first came out, everyone was like, oh yeah, of these... Sunshine, sunshine. I hate sunshine. For the record, uh, Superman ice cream. I just posted it in general. I can't see Superman it. ice cream. I don't know what it is. Superman I ice cream. Like, oh, you want to know Why what this is? You want to know what this is? Tie dye. What flavor is this? Yeah, oh, you gotta yeah, explain okay. with your words. I can't. I, see I got it. you. Yeah, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I myself had. Oh, sorry. My objective is to distract and make Yoshiller mad. No, that's why I did this, all Yoshiller. You're doing, all you're doing is making this video <laughs> uncomfortable for people that want to watch it, because now you've you've let go a perfectly good conversation, and nobody's going to understand I, what you're talking about. And but I was it. about to describe it. I was just putting it in the chat Go for ahead. those who are here to, to to look at it. Go ahead. What is Superman ice cream? Superman ice cream is a yellow, blue, and red ice cream flavor that is, I believe, they use as um cherry, cherry, uh, blue moon. blueberry. It's so sometimes you see blueberry. Like blue moon something. It's blue moon, yeah. Um and I I forgot, I forgot what the yellow one was. I want. I think it, it was banana. Vanilla. vanilla or banana. The if big it's depends. Banana. Why is it bright, bright yellow? So, not, so you like, don't confuse it with New lemon. That's New York license plate color. So you don't confuse it with lemon. That's so that would make it more confusable with lemon. Yeah. Here, it's called. It's 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 vanilla cherry and blue moon, yeah. Okay. I I specifically remember because they would have, uh, Superman ice cream, uh, also sometimes referred as tie dye ice cream, mm -hmm. uh, just because of the colors. <laughs> they would say the flavors would be cherry, vanilla, and sometimes like blue berry or raspberry. Yeah, or I whatever. think it depends who makes it. Like Hershey and uses blue moon, strawberry, and banana. Yeah, so Emma would always call out the ones that use um, blueberry or something as fake. Mm -hmm. It needs to have blue moon. And this is from her coming from Michigan. <laughs> uh, she always said, like, uh, Superman ice cream was always all the rage. And uh, anything that says, oh, we're Superman ice cream, but they re replaced the, the flavor of blue moon with blue raspberry or something it's not legitimate and it's fake hmm. see for in my in my opinion since i have no idea what the heck a blue moon is uh as long as the ice cream is blue it's all that matters to me it's like a it's like a it's kind of like a cousin of vanilla um because well, I, I did try it they did have some here in vegas I mean, uh, we're driving to Vegas. Maybe you can try it when you get here. Uh, I mean, get there. Vegas, it's fine. <laughs> By the way, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, are we there yet? Be another seven hours. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, four hours. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We are not, I'm afraid. Okay, guys, here we go. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 oh, bottles no. of beer. Yeah. Take one down, <laughs> pass it around. <laughs> it around. 99 bottles, bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> it's about the Erie Canal. Oh, I think the other one was cotton candy, where people would use cotton candy instead. Oh, oh. cotton candy. But, but like, uh, it, it's, it's, it's fake if it uses cotton candy. It needs to use Blue Moon. I don't agree with oh, that sentiment. News. I feel like news, cotton. Line yeah. Rider supports tablets. Woo! Is this just a <laughs> Line Rider sponsored video? Line oh, Line Rider? For some reason, I I heard Lime Wire. And the other word. is what got me through middle school. Now, which one is which? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've killed the rider. Wink, wink. Rip rider. <laughs> so, yeah. God. Either way, there were two kinds of people that used Lenmire. 
people who didn't get viruses and people like me who used LimeWire to download LimeWire Pro. <laughs> <laughs> You see, kids, back in the day, you couldn't find every song ever created as a YouTube video. So what did or, people have yeah. to do? Oh, well, I can't answer that for you. Sorry. I guess uh, you just have to leave it to your imagination then. Due, due to the DMCA. Yeah. <laughs> due to a lawsuit that caused a guy to pay an absurd amount of money that he'll never be able to pay. I cannot tell you what people did when pe they couldn't find the songs they wanted. Are we really not allowed to talk about that? I don't know. <laughs> it's I guess it's a thing in, it's a thing that happened in history, right? I just don't want to get in trouble cuz then it's like, well, how do you know what this is? Like, well, of course I know what it is. I used the internet back in 2008. All right, well, topic of suggestion. What's that? Um, th did everyone here see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer? No. No. Well, shut. Sorry, Charles. <laughs> Man, me and Charles are the only one that's seen it. <laughs> It's from the creative mind of Seth Rogen. Permanently teenager. Oh, Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen? Mr. Weed? The neighbor? Seth Rogen, the neighbor. <laughs> well, the parent to the neighbor. The, the yes. parent in the neighbors? No, well, yes. I mean, he he lives next to the fraternity. Next to the frat house. Yes. <laughs> Did you know in Europe it was called Bad Neighbor? I did not. Did you know that in Spain, the movie Greece is called Vaselina? It got literally translated. <laughs> that's, a, that's just like a fun trivia fact. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I got a topic. What's a oh, game yeah? that you hate that everyone else likes? Dead by Daylight. All okay. of them. All of them? You don't even like... <laughs> you don't even like, uh... Uh... Frick... Kirby's... Kirby in the Forgotten Land? I haven't played Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Actually. How do you know you don't like I've been like interested. It. <laughs> I've been interested, actually. Alright. I just thought it would be funny to be, a you know... Game. But also, a lot of, like, new games I just have no interest in. It's just, you know... No, that's fair. It just doesn't seem like they're, you know... That's fine. Worth getting. That's fine. No, be mean. Say they're bad. <laughs> say it, Madison. <laughs> say they're bad. I wasn't even able to get... I'm not going to say they're bad. I wasn't even able to get my answer for the last one. No, okay. Alright. They're not necessarily bad, just like... <clears throat> I, I have an answer. I I cannot get into Dragon Quest. And I bought Dragon Quest Eleven, and I haven't played it yet. It's been sitting on my shelf. And you shelf. played Dragon Quest Builders. Builders actually, is really good. I played Dragon Quest Builders too, and you know what? That game that game is fine. Let me let me. Okay, you want to know why I have an issue with Dragon Quest? It's not the JRPG elements of it because I've become more tolerable of that as of late. It's, uh, uh, you even played Persona 5 a little bit. I, I did. I played Persona 5. I love Earthbound. All right, let me let me tell you why I don't have the same passion for Dragon Quest as everyone else does. I never beat Earthbound. You never beat Earthbound? No, the, the ending, first the boss is... absolutely murdered me in like two hits and I quit. Wait, are you talking about Mother or are you talking about Mother 2? I think... Because the, the NES I don't remember. One, the NES one, Mother, is like absurdly difficult. I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Did you pull? Okay. Good. Well, but I was gonna say the reason I don't like Dragon Quest is literally because of the music. I nice. Do I do not care <laughs> oh, no. for Dragon Quest music, and I know it's this cherished, celebrated thing in Japan, and the composer's like really famous, and they do. Well, and jerks. an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say he's kind of a jerk. Well, didn't he? Didn't he pass away? No. He didn't, he he's still playing music. Alive. I thought something happened to him when they were looking for a replacement. Okay, so it was Earthbound, specifically. Yes. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, thought, I guess he I, did, I though. thought they were wondering, like, who's doing the music for Dragon Quest XII. I thought that was the whole thing. And I thought there yeah. were talks of, like, well, they could use one of the other popular Square Enix composers, like, uh, uh, who's the person that did Final Fantasy? Nobuo Uematsu. No, Nobuo uh, Uematsu, Yoko yeah. Yokoshima Shimomura or something. And I was like... If that if that happened, 
I would probably play Dragon Quest, but it's it's probably not gonna. Ha anyway, I, like it's it's celebrated as this thing, and don't get me wrong, the music is is beautiful, beautifully orchestrated. But the thing that drove me crazy while I was playing Dragon Quest Builders 2 is like the same song playing throughout 75% of the overworld. And I don't know, I need like that arcadey, upbeat, vibin' music, not this like uh, orchestral song that's meant to sound fitting for the environment. And it's like, no, I'm so bored. I, I need something more action packed. And that yeah, is actually bus. why I've stopped. Yeah, I need Desert Bus, see? <laughs> that's why, that's why I uh, I could never get into Dragon Quest. I tried, but I'll probably try again in the future. But for now, I can't I can't do it. So, sorry. It's yeah, okay. You know what, apparently, um, apparently the next Dragon Quest is supposed to be more action orientated, I'm and it. also mature. I'm, I'm wow. Mature. Indifferent on that. I like I like childish things as much as I like mature. Well, things. well. Like uh, darker tones or darker themes. Sorry. That's okay. So they may not have to deal with death or something. I'm not entirely sure. Now, Nico, you bring up a good point. All right, because if this really was me driving to Vegas, I I, I totally would have music on, and I'd probably yeah. stop. I'd probably stop at like a McDonald's or something halfway through. But alas, I can't do that. But the good news is I don't, do I don't have to stop for gas because, as you can see, I'm still on E for. Oh my god, there's so much fuel in the car. So. E for extra gas. That's right. Hey, can you, can you open the bus door? No, I cannot. Oh. Oh, I mean, there's... There's no railroads, huh? There was a... Probably couldn't be can, you use the, can you use the wipers? No. <laughs> Sorry. You're asking too much out of this game, guys. All, I, all I'm supposed to do is drive, desert. You, drive you guys to Vegas. What if a uh, buck hits it? That's gonna happen in like three hours. Don't don't you worry. But then we don't want to smear it now, do we? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, we've been playing for less than an hour, and I'm already getting uncomfortable in my seat. And need a stretch. <laughs> oh, I mean, you you <laughs> can't go stretch really this, quick. This, <laughs> this stream is brought to you by Secret Labs Gaming Chairs. Are you are you playing American American truck? But uh. But, <laughs> Simulator 3. Yeah. The first one. Then he a Secret Labs gaming chair. I mean, I guess I, I could stand up, but... Yeah. That's right, stand up for what you believe driver. in. That's what I'm saying. Just like, be this quick. Is, this is the most unhealthy game I could be playing. Because even, even when I play uh, Pokemon, like if I'm doing a competitive battle, sometimes I'll stand up because I'm waiting for my opponent to make a turn. So are we, are we under or over on how long he'll last? You don't think I can make it? If I'm playing it at the, at the, at the like, 45-minute mark, I don't know, man. Gamma, do you know who I am? Do you know why I'm playing this? Uh, I need, to I answer, the, the, I need to answer those questions, rights. yes and no. I need the bragging rights, Gamma. I need you guys to believe that I'll do something crazy and stupid, but I'll also, like, commit to what I do. I mean, I don't get it. me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know you'll do it. I just never yeah. sat for how many attempts. Yeah, because yeah, uh, if you go into the the site too much, you get towed back in real time, don't you? Yeah, right. yeah, you do. Yes, and then you can contemplate your life. Yeah, at least at that point, I can stand up. <laughs> so if it gets really dire, yeah, just veer over and just start over. Yeah, you know, the, I'm I'm already ready for the the watch time of this video to make like a nice parabola shape, where people will watch the first five minutes. And the last one. And start minutes. skipping. And nothing so, in between. So we can start saying outlandish stuff now? You may as well. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, I got one. What you got, Charles? Outlandish stuff. Okay. I got something no way. outlandish. Outrageous. Right. Yeah. I think I've said this in another video before, but I'll say it here so that way I can know for certain that it's on, on camera, okay? Folks, I am trying to shave my chest hair into the shape of a heart. So I can look like a palafin. Good to know. Yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, I have a deal. I, I I had a deal with a shaving company called Manscaped. They sent me an electric razor. And, oh my god. And so. Yeah, 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 sure. I feel like I've 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 gotten to know you a lot more in these last thirty seconds than I've had our entire friendship. You gotta understand, Gamma. I will answer whatever the heck you want. <laughs> All right. 
Now, I, I got a deal with, with this company, and I, I use their electric razor when I shave my face, and it's great. And I also shave the pits, and I also shave the chest. And other areas. And then when I shave the chest, <laughs> I go ahead nice. and I try to make it shaped like a heart. Fair enough. Yeah. So you're a mega evolution is what I'm hearing. Not a mega evolution, just a cool evolution. Oh. If I, I guess I can evolution, cool evolution. if I was a mega evolution, I would revert back to normal after the battle. You know what's interesting? What's that? Fair point. Alphin kind of is like a mega if you think about it. Yeah, you have to set, yeah, because it changes into another form and it reverts back at the end of the battle. And when at it changes, the end of the battle, battle, yeah. all of its stats go up. Yeah. All of its stats change. It's so yeah. interesting thinking about it. It would really hone in the point if its type changed too. But not all megas change their types. Yeah. In fact, like I, I think it's I think it's like fifty fifty whether or not they change their types. I am drawing in Line Rider, guys. It's happening. Are you actually playing Line Rider? You should. I've made a very simple line. I don't know how to do the gravity well thing, so I've made a very simple line, and I'm just drawing a dragon around it. You should save it for when I do a video. <laughs> oh, you wanna you wanna see my mediocre dragon? Here, I'll put I'm, a Yoshi in it. I can't. The dragon see it. will I'm be feeding the Yoshi. I can't see it. I'm He's driving a bus. bus. I'm not showing it to anybody. Well, then why would you cheat yeah, yeah, yeah. you that Yoshi's in it? <laughs> Darn it! Oh, well, uh, and Yoshi's not in it. I said I was going to put a Yoshi in it for you. Oh, well, thank you. As a promise. Alright, I appreciate that. Guys, it's working. Keep telling him to watch videos. <laughs> yeah, show her. Watch yeah. videos that don't exist. Let's play... Let's play... You can, you can play this game one-handed, right? Uh, kinda. I mean, I... Why? <laughs> we should play a... another game? Let's play poker! Game. Poker! Oh. <laughs> poker? Did we play poker? I hardly know. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, my God, stop. <laughs> He's grinning. He's... <laughs> oh. Anyway, what were we talking about? Line Rider. And there's no quality Line. of life in this program. Oh, man. As, uh, as, an, as an artist, speaking as an artist... Does anyone remember the microphone, uh, Microsoft smartphone, the Windows phone? Yes, I, actually. I don't. I don't. Don't they still make those? My mom used to have one of those. They do not. Um, Wait, what? It ran Windows XP of some kind. <laughs> That's terrifying. I remember the Zune. That's the a failed Zune. iPod. Rip. I mean, I personally like the idea of having a designated portable music device that's not part of my phone, but too bad Microsoft just, like, couldn't keep up. Oh. Couldn't get with the times? Guess not. All right, so the new Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi was just announced. Yeah, I was about to say, well, folks, you caught me. I wanted the commentary for this video to sound like one of our everyday conversations. And when we all went quiet there for a second, I was like, yep. That's yeah, this is definitely it. Real. Okay, but Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. First. Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Budokai Tenkaichi. So I have, uh, I have Budokai on the GameCube. What about it makes it so Tenkaichi? Okay, so there were three Budokai games, and then after the third one came out, yeah. uh, they made a new series called Budokai Tenkaichi, which transitions the game from a 2D fighter, sorry, 2D arena fighter in the same vein as Tech and Soul Calibur, into a 3D arena fighter, uh, like Naruto Ultimate, Ultimate Ninja Storm, or My Hero Academia One's Justice. Okay. Uh, or all those, or kill a kill if. Yeah, yeah, kill kill a kill if. I remember that one. Um, that was made by Arctus. Uh, yeah, these three D arena fighters. Uh, I'm not a fan of the three D arena fighters. I kind of prefer the two D fighting on a three D plane, like Tekken or Soul Calibur. Uh, Soul Calibur. So I wasn't as hyped for this because it's. That, that's the difference between Tenkaichi and regular Budokai. <clears throat> okay. The Tenkaichi is just an arena fighter. Um, which is strange, because Xenoverse is also an arena fighter. So I don't... 
I don't understand all the hype behind it. Well, you can't play as Hercule other than the in Xenoverse, right? You know? Can you play as Hercule huh? in Xenoverse? Uh, you can play as like every character. You can even play as Gohan. But, but can you play as Hercule specifically? I believe so. Is he in Xenoverse? Because that's going to determine the difference between these games. Is whether or not Hercule okay. is playable. Let me Same. let me let me look. I'm pretty sure. Oh, excuse me. There would there would be no reason to not play as Hercule. Okay. Yes, you can play as Hercule. Because he's not in Fighters. He's not in Dragon Ball Fighters. Well, yeah, because that's an actual fighting game. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say? Arena Fighters aren't fighting games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Besides, even if he was. Like, even if he was in fight, Fighters, he'd be the damn Hibiki. I'm fine, right. dude, I'm fine with that. Especially since you get a team of three in this. That would be your Schiller's main. That would be my main. I would so but, play as Hercule. But to be fair, they already do have the Dan Hibiki as Krillin. Oh, really? Yeah, Krillin is kind of the joke character in uh, Fighters. Uh, like, he, he uh, his hitbox is smaller. His hurt box is... Smaller too, because he's short. Right. It, wait, what? Which which one's hurt box? So his hurt, his hurt damage, box is right? how you get hurt, and hit box is okay. how far you hit. Okay, so yeah, his hit box is so small. Okay. Like it, it's like the length of his arm, and he's already a tiny guy. Right. Yeah, you uh, have to get in like way close. He's super tiny compared to all the other characters, so um, he's he's the joke character, and he has like. Moves that make him like panic in a sense. Okay. Even throw that uh, Zenzu beans. Yeah, he even throws those Zenzu beans. But. Uh, in, in a way, I thought Ginyu was supposed to be the joke character because his gimmick was that you, you trade characters. And I thought he even had an attack where you do trade, but like he stabs himself in the chest right before you trade. So you get stuck with a character that has low health or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, he wouldn't be considered a joke character. It's just a different type of play style. Oh. Yeah. Um, joke characters are usually on the low tier end, and that's where Krillin places. Well, I don't know, Charles. Jigglypuff was supposed to be the joke character of Smash 64 in Melee, and while she's not good in 64, in Melee, she broke the friggin' game. <laughs> it's like one of the best characters in the game now. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's only because of one person. Well, it's a couple people. It's just one person's really pioneered it. And he if that was... pioneered guy wasn't there, I don't think. I think people would still think Jigglypuff has a joke. Okay. And and just because they're a joke character doesn't mean they can't have broken moves. But you said low tier, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. There's usually the thing that makes Jigglypuff typically weaker than other characters is she can go flying at a low percentage yes. um and, and it's, it's reasons like that which is what makes them joke characters like oh this character is small their their hitbox is tiny um their hip Hello? their hurt box is who's huge here? Oh, who's, us? who's here oh, you picked up david on the road Hello? to cotton on the road to Vegas. cotton hi Cotton, hey, you're on air. Hi, Cotton. You're on air, Cotton. We're driving to Vegas. You're on air with Yo Schiller. Boom, 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 boom. Wee, wee, wee. You're listening to Yo Schiller play Desert Bus on da, 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 FM. Guys, the driver's yes. losing it. Rock, rock, rock. Wombat, wombat, wombat. You say it's your granny station. Yeah. Even remotely long enough for him to already be going, like, be going no, nuts. Make, I'm, just, I'm just parodying a radio station that you would probably hear on your drive to Las Vegas. Oh god. Is there something yeah, surreal really about Vegas. hearing those radio stations <laughs> on the road trip? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. When you get really close to the middle of nowhere, only about three radio stations work and two of them won't even be in English. <laughs> I know because Jeez. that's what it was like when I went to Vegas recently. And Charles called me, and I was, I was like, wait, Charles, stay on the line. <laughs> I, I, I'm out of music, and I don't know if they're speaking Spanish, but it sure as heck ain't English. 
I think that was the best advertisement you could have gotten for XM Radio. Dang. No, I'm not doing it. I, I was usually listening to music through my phone via the Bluetooth, but, you know, no cell service either. I love XM Radio because um, I just love some of the, the, like, the dedicated stations, like the theater dramas. Uh, wow. Yeah, they have a radio station that's dedicated to nothing but radio plays from the uh, 30s to 60s. You're a smart man. I, I, I can't... I can't do, like, an audiobook or an, a radio drama or something while I'm driving. I gotta do music. I, mean, I, will, I will admit that those... Yeah, I agree, because, like, I have been, like, really caught up in the story. and Like, wait, I'm driving. <laughs> did, did we ever hear David say anything? Cotton, hi! Hello. Cotton, oh, okay. hey, David, <laughs> my man, you're on air. What can I do for you? I'm just all wrong for the ride. Yeah? You know how but long I'm... this ride is, Cotton? He literally drove it two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> Cotton, we got seven hours left. <laughs> I hope you went to the bathroom before you hopped in here. I'll just jump out. Right <laughs> <laughs> or just go over the side. You know what's the funny implication about this game? What's that? That the tow truck is just always following us. <laughs> is, is it immediate? Like when yeah. you get? It's not. Yeah. It never takes like a minute, but yeah, it's it's pretty. It's pretty quick. Like it, it, it's like a, a mile behind us. Yeah. Like if you had a rear view mirror, you would see the tow truck. Yes. We have oh, a rear view mirror, but it's showing the seats. Yeah, there's no one else on there unless there's some guy sleeping. It darkens into the abyss. I mean, you can play this game. There's a nighttime level, and the, the lights are on <laughs> in, the, in the seats. Uh, honestly, I, I would prefer to play this at night. I would. It doesn't make for better footage. Playing at night. Means better right. Driving at night sucks. Dude, I did the drive at night, and while you can see the stars because the sky is so clear, there's also a matter of, dude, if something happened to me, no one would know. <laughs> But isn't, that also, isn't that also on the way there in the daytime? I mean, in the daytime, though, like, at you, least, you like, can I see could other cars. Yeah, I could, I could, people. like, shoot a flare. At night, I feel like even though, even though, like, it would be bright at the sky, it, like, no one would see it. At least, I feel like people would see the smoke trail in the daytime. Does that make sense? I, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I get it. There are people who like driving better at night. Um, like in the daytime, I, if I had to walk for ten miles, even though it'd be, you know, hotter, I feel like I could do it. Because at night it's like pitch black. I mm -hmm. like the vibe of driving at night. I like that when I'm on the freeway closer to the city, and it feels like a synthwave music video. Well, yeah, that's also true. Uh, to to be fair, I dislike driving at night mainly because. All cars, modern time cars, have LED lights. That's true. And They're they so blind bright. you. Yes. It's essentially high beams. They, they do like, come eyes. on. Yeah, that's no, that's valid. I don't like, I don't like that either. Especially, and this this happened when I was driving to Vegas. That there would be a car right behind me who I could swear had its brights on and was potentially doing that in hopes that I would pull over into the right lane. And I was like, nope, I'm just going to, like, duck my head. Because the, the, the rear view mirror is then shining that car's lights directly into my eyes. Yep. And it's basically yep. blinding me. Yep. Like, I basically can't use my trucks. rear view. Yes. That's one of the main reasons why I dislike driving at night. Well, tr cause... trucks move over to the right. Sheesh. But whatever. No, not like big trucks, like the, um... Are you, you're talking about, you know like, what like, the, like, the... Like the vanity oh. extra large... Yes. I do love on the driving test here, they truck. give you a question about that scenario. Yeah, and what, do you, what is the I, answer to it? Um, I think you're, you're supposed to look towards the curb. Yeah, I mean, my, my thing is, like, I kind of duck underneath the rearview mirror so the light isn't directly hitting me in the eyes, and then I, I just kind of try to pay attention going forward and hope for the best. At that point, I would just, like, angle the mirror up, like, oh, I, I'm not going to be able to use it any, either way. Yeah, it's, it's just distracting where the light is shining, that's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're it, right. Uh, for the car that I drive, it even shines through on like the light's so bright, it even shines through the side view mirror too. So yeah, I've had. That I'm just happen. like I I okay. I guess I'll drive blind now. I I wish I had a light that I could shine backwards that aren't just like the hazard lights. I wish I could be like knock that off, but I can't. 
But sometimes you can't help it because it's just built into their cars because it's LED lights. Right. So, you know, you can't really do anything about it. That is true. I can tell you a driving story I had where I, I would have been in real big trouble if the police officer caught me. You guys ready to tell me? Ready for me to tell you it? No, no, we're going to tell you the story. Okay. How about, how about I tell you the story? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, tell me what happened, guys. All right, so it was, a, it was a stormy night. Yeah, you're already wrong, but okay. Um, <laughs> you there forgot to a, turn on his headlights. That's still incorrect. <laughs> a UFO appeared out of nowhere. Now you're talking. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, so when I was I was 16, I was learning how to drive. I didn't get my license immediately, but I was, you know, I was in that age range. I was learning how to drive. I had my permit. And when you have your permit... You need to have someone who is capable of driving in the passenger seat at all times, okay? So, I remember this Yeah, with me, you preface the story with this. Okay, yeah. so this was my senior year of high school. Uh, I was an honors AP student. Took pretty intensive classes to the point where, like, I, I really couldn't miss a day of school, even if I was sick, that type of thing, you know? And the very hmm. first class I took was honors pre-calculus with one of the toughest teachers in the school. Very good teacher, very tough teacher, though. One of those teachers, right? Mm -hmm. Uh... Anyway, uh, I, I was I was a uh, good boy student, and I, I wake up at my usual time. I get up at like 6.45 or whatever, and you know, I get dressed, make myself some cereal, and then I'm like, huh, normally my mom would be blow-drying her hair right about now, and then she would take me over to school. And I knock on the door. I was like, hey, Mom, hey, Mamas, are you okay? And she's like, I think you're going to be late to school. And I was like, yeah, Why? And she goes, I threw my back out. And I was like, oh! And I immediately, like, go into the room. And she's passed out on the floor. And I'm like, oh, my God, are you okay? She's like, I'm okay, I'm okay. I, actually, she's... I don't think I was in hysterics, but I, I was, like, shocked. I was like, oh, my God, are you okay? And she's like, I'm fine, but you're, you're probably going to be late to school. And I said, I don't care about that. I, I, I care that you're okay. And she's like, yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to be here, but I threw my back out, and this is just kind of what happens. I said, okay, well, you know, just... Let me know if there's anything Rough. I can do for you. I said I can't. I can't drive myself though. And this this is before we kind of like had Uber in, as commonplace. And so I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'd call this family member, but this family member is already off to work. Uh, I'd call this family friend, but this family friend is already off to work, right? So it's just kind of like we'll, we'll just wait for my mom. And eventually, she's able to kind of like pick herself up, and I can kind of half carry her to the car. And so I was like, well, I have my permit. Uh, I can control the car, but you, you've got to be in the passenger seat. Although technically, because you are incapable of driving, this is still illegal. But, you know, given the circumstances, like I'm just trying to get to school, I think a police officer would understand, you know. Uh, and I said, what we'll do is I'll drive to school and then maybe you can drive yourself over to my grandparents' house, which isn't, which isn't that far beyond the school. Uh, so we'll, we'll give that a try. And so we get her set up in the passenger seat, and I sit down in the driver's seat, and I go, okay, I just need to adjust the rear view mirror for my height. And I try adjusting it, and it's like stuck. And I'm like, come on now. And I accidentally pop the whole rear view mirror off the top of the car. So nice. Awesome. And I look at my mom, and I'm like, wow, if I get pulled over now, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> You would be more in trouble for that than than, than the other thing. Right, and I, I mean, there's also the fact that I'm I'm still tardy for school, but uh, yeah. So we get all the way to the school, and I'm ready to change seats. Now I was like, actually, hey mom, I think you need to go in with me, as verification that like it's okay that I'm tardy. So we walk her in. She's able to tell him like, hey, he's just trying to get to class. Like, all right, all right, all right. My mom's able to drive herself over to her grandparents' house. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, I tried to put the rear view mirror back at the top of the car. And it didn't stick very well, so it was just kind of dangling and, like, smacking all over the place. So eventually, oh, we, did, no. eventually we did just rip the whole thing off and said, forget it. We'll fix it when we get to the <laughs> grandparents' house. Uh, yeah, and then I got to school, and I got there just in time for my first period class to end. And my teacher was a little upset that I was late, let alone miss the class. Like, she kind of wasn't even looking up at me. And I said, I'm sorry, my mom threw her back out, da 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 And she's like, wait, your mom threw her back out? I said, yeah. And I wanted to wait for her to be okay before we were able to drive myself over to school. And my teacher goes, 
All right then. Here's tonight's homework assignment. Oh. <laughs> the old, like I don't want to make her out to be like this emotionless monster of a of a character. Like she had a sense of humor, but you know she she was uh she was not happy that day, but then showed some remorse. So that was nice. They were generous. Yeah. That's that story. The time I drove my mom's car because she threw her back out. That's it. That's all that story is, really. Anyone else get any funny stories to, t to, to share? Uh, there Sorry. was this one time when I was driving at night. Yeah. Uh, and then I forgot to turn on my headlights. Uh, so, so pitch black. <laughs> so I was driving through pitch black. I was like, why is it so dark? Because, uh... This is at a plaza where it was well lit and everything. Yeah. And then I was driving back home, which wasn't that far away. Yeah. Uh, but there's this long, winding road that you have to take. Uh, and I guess the street lights were out <laughs> at, uh, for some reason. So I was just driving it. I was with my sister. Mm. And then we were both confused. Like, why is it really dark? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot to turn on the headlights. <laughs> Uh, I almost ended up doing that uh, on my way home from my old job. <laughs> and, and then I uh, someone it flashed on. their lights at me to be like, hey, your lights are off. Turn them on. And I was like, oh no, thanks, dude. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I've done it's that. Scary. But I've also been that guy that just drove around with his brights on, not realizing the brights were on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Cool. yeah. Oh, first. It's okay, it's normal now, because everyone has LED lights. Yeah, we can't even tell anymore. <laughs> yeah, can't even tell anymore. It's horrible, right? It, it, I can't see Desert anything. Desert Boss was a simpler time. Remember when we thought that video games light? were violent? I know, oh, right? Wait. I mean, this game can't <laughs> make you violent. Yeah, Penn and, Teller, Penn and Teller had this game made uh, to fight against video game violence. and said, okay, well, this is what you want video games to be like, right? And then they made this. Unironically, yes, the now American Truck Simulator is a game. Yeah. Or Euro Truck. Euro Truck? Is it just the same thing as exist. this, but like, I'm not bringing the ball when I do this? Uh, c correct. <laughs> okay, I got it. Alright. You guys want any more Eric? funny stories? I got a Actually, you know what? There is violence in this game. What's the violence? The fly? The bug. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. We had to, we had to kill a bug in order to make this game. We got like another three hours before that, right? They had to squash at least. at least a few bugs. I think the bug hitting the screen is the halfway point. <laughs> get it, get it. I get it, Ooh. Madison. As a mat, if if you could believe me, as a matter of fact, I do get it. Nice. Damn, did you know to buy all of the DLC for Euro Truck Sim? It's almost three hundred dollars. Jeez, it's not as bad as the Sims, but that's still pretty bad. Now go look at the train simulator prices. Oh, well, yeah, I that. let's I not. That. That's that's a given. That's that's nothing special anymore. I have some more funny stories. Unless anyone else has a funny story to share. Uh, I want to hear your funny stories. Yeah, I got a bunch. Uh, I can tell you the time I almost got nominated for prom king. Yay! Yeah. Do it. Okay. Does anyone else object? Go right ahead. All right. Thank you, Cotton. No, I can count on you. All right. Always. So, here's the scoop. All right. In high school, I was a pretty popular kid. Got pretty good grades, had very good teachers. It's pretty outgoing. It's kind of a nonconformist. It's pretty great. I I loved my high school years. The only thing I didn't like about it was the homework. I had like two hours of homework to do every night. It sucked. Oh, and mood. So, I somehow I I made videos class. through all that. <laughs> Making videos was like my beacon of hope. But uh, anyway, so I uh. Every year of high school, you're required to take an English class. You only you only need to take like three years of math, or you know, two years worth of art classes, or whatever. But you have to take four years of English. And so, what that means is, when our school had like an announcement to present, it was usually presented in your English class because everyone had to take one. And. I was pretty popular in my English class. Now, I wasn't the smartest student in my English class, but I I was pretty well liked in that class because, as I said, I was the outgoing kid. For example, kind of a mini story within this story. Uh, we once 
Ooh, actually, don't want to tell the story. Okay, slight spoilers for The Great Gatsby. Actually, major spoilers for The Great Gatsby. So if you plan on reading The Great Gatsby, maybe, maybe skip ahead like an hour <laughs> into this video. I assure you it will look very similar. Anyway, uh, for Halloween, if we dressed up as a character from literature, we got like slight extra credits points. And we had, to, we had to look the part and act the part, okay? So, you, you could go as a character from, like, a children's book. You know, I think some people dressed up as the Grinch, right? And I should have done that in hindsight. That would have been really funny. Uh, some, people, <laughs> some people went as, like, Harry With your Potter. Aunt, like, some personality. people went as, Yeah, like, as long as you go as a character that debuted in a work of literature, you were good to go, right? Uh, so, at this point, we had the Great Gatsby film coming out the one with leonardo dicaprio and toby Maguire and whatever and in that movie leonardo dicaprio plays gatsby and he, he, he basically just looks like a, a handsome wealthy man right so i i did i looked a similar part i put on a dress shirt put on a tie styled my hair to the side and and tried to tried to look like a handsome wealthy man so to speak and so halloween rolls around english class rolls around and different characters are reciting different parts from different stories and whatever, and they're getting their extra credit, and then the teacher goes, all right, Bradley, who are you? And I'm like, I'm, I'm Gatsby from The Great Gatsby. And she says, all right, well, now you need to act the part, probably expecting me to quote a paragraph from the, from the book. And so what I did was I lied down on the ground and pretended to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> And then Excellent. she, I think, was, like, trying not to laugh and was like, all right, you can sit down, Bradley. Like, with a, with a very disappointed but still, like, smiling face. Uh, anyway, so I was, I, was, uh, I was pretty well liked in my English class, okay? Because I, I did stuff like that. <laughs> I, I did, like, presentations, and I was always the one that people looked forward to and all that. So uh, when, when time came around toward the end of the year, they were accepting nominations for prom king and prom queen. They're like, you know, write down a person that you know, first and last name, if you can, and we'll tally the votes, and we'll, we'll pick the top candidates, and we'll announce them at a later date. And so all the people in my English class were saying, you know what would be funny? As if uh, we nominated Bradley for prom king. And I was like, no, prom is just like a... I'm, I'm not even going to prom. You should give it to someone who actually deserves it. And besides, I... This is just a popularity contest. Like, prom king should go to the person who best, like, fits the role. Not just to the person you, you, you think would be silly. Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with all that. I don't want to, like, try to look like a prom king. I don't want to deal with that. A couple days later, I go to my first period class, which, again, is honors breakout. And once again, serious, tough teacher. And I'm sitting there. Uh, she started each of her classes with, like, there'd be a question on the whiteboard and we'd have to answer it, right? So we're all sitting down doing that. Person comes in, hands the teacher a note. She's reading it, and then she goes, oh! And then I look up a moment later, and she's writing on the whiteboard, congratulations to Bradley for his nomination for prom king. And I jumped out of my seat and said, no! And everyone in the classroom is just, like, staring at me. And I had to remember that I'm not, like, in a sitcom. <laughs> and, I, and even, like, the teacher staring at me, like, whoa, I've never seen, like, Bradley jolt out of his seat before. <laughs> and, I, and I had to be like, it's just, like, a joke from my English class. They wanted me to be prom king because they thought it'd be funny. And I told them prom is kind of a waste of time. And then my math teacher was like, well, I thought I think it'd be a high honor to be nominated for prom king. I think you should be proud of yourself. And I was like, it's just a popularity contest. Like, I, I don't think that I want to deal with this prom stuff because I'm not even going to prom. And she's like, all right, well, here's the note they gave me. So you can do what you want with it. And the note said, like, if you want to become prom king, show up at this classroom at lunch to learn to know the next steps type of thing. And so then I get to my English class that, later that day, and I'm like, look what you did! Look what you, you guys did this. You guys are the reason that now I got to go to this friggin' prom king meeting because you guys thought, oh, tee hee ha ha, Bradley should be nominated for prom king. And they're like, oh, yeah, we did 
yeah, and they're like celebrating. I'm like, no, no, you need to do jack squat. I'm not, whatever. And then I, I go to the prom king meeting, and there's probably 60 guys, 60 girls, all right? And they say, all right, well, hey, thank you all for coming. All of you are here because you've received enough votes to qualify for prom king. Uh, the next qualification is that your GPA needs to be 3.0 or above. So that eliminates like 75% of the people in the class. <laughs> and so then we're, we're left with about like 10 to 15 boys and 10 to 15 girls. And then from there, they, they say, all right, well, the next step is to schedule an interview for your prom king candidacy. And then I'm thinking, well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually try to win this prom king thing to prove that nerds can win, to prove that anybody can be prom king, just to show them how, <laughs> how like ridiculous this all is. And so I went to the interview, and kind of answered it that way, and I, I, in the grand scheme of things, it was probably a little disrespectful, and for that reason, I was not one of the finalists for prom king because the finalists they they limited it down to three, like three or four guys, three or four girls. But the fact that I was in, like, the final ten, I'll take that. <laughs> the fact that I had to do an interview, I'll take that. But I, I was not prom king. But I was almost prom king, and I even had, in a previous year, a little blurb in the yearbook. Because I was a popular student. Wow. Recruiter. So that's that story. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Tell it again. Tell it again. All right, so... Cool story. All of us are required to take four years of English in my high school. No. Two hours of Dale. And then I pretended to be Great Gatsby. <laughs> right. Another hour of Dale. We're good. <laughs> Let's see. Can, sure can we move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Good. Running out of time cards. We got like six hours <laughs> left. More than that some amount of hours left. This this thing started, like, the little clock in the corner started at 7.30, right? So we're only an hour and a half in. Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, you, yeah, all of you are welcome to leave at any time, though. Like, I appreciate your company, but don't feel like you have to stick around if you don't want oh, to. Uh, it, you know, honestly, if I didn't have work in the morning, I probably would stay the whole ride. I appreciate that. I'm definitely going to go to bed at some point during this. No just, just, just go to the back of the bus. There's a long uh, seat chair back there to sleep on. Does anyone know how to draw a Yoshi? Please. No. Actually, I do, but I can't help you right now. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I mean, can... I'm an artist, I but I have drawn a Yoshi. If I have a Yoshi facing to the right, I always start by drawing a backward C for the nose. If you're having him face to the left, you start by drawing just a regular C. Oh, okay, C, okay, and then you do okay. like two little apostrophes for the nostrils and then at the bottom of the C you kind of curve that into a backward C and that starts to become his cheek and then at the top of the C you start curving that into like an M like a mm. McDonald's arch and that starts C. to become his eyes how's that? pretty good pretty good Okay. and you wouldn't know where I can get fried chicken at this hour at this hour what time is it for you? you're two hours ahead? about midnight I mean Fried chicken? No, probably not anymore. I thought they stopped serving it at midnight. Most places. They probably go to a gas station, but uh. As I say, like McDonald's used to do, you know, twenty-four hour everything, but I think they specifically stopped doing chicken products after midnight. Why? I think it just comes down to like, it's a lot easier and safer to cook red meat than it is to cook mm -hmm. chicken. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. having only like three people work the graveyard shift. And then they serve you uncooked chicken is very dangerous. You ever been to a McDonald's at like three o'clock in the morning? Yeah, that happened when I would work for the completionist because the the closest thing that was open when we do late nights was a McDonald's, and I was usually the one that had to do the food runs. And I remember feeling so embarrassed that I'd have to <laughs> pick up like eighty chicken nuggets from McDonald's because we all wanted a twenty piece nugget. <laughs> And I'd be like, I can't just go through the drive through and ask for 80 nuggets. And they're like, why not? I'm like, because there's only going to be like two people working there, and I'm going to make them hate their lives if I do that. They already hate their lives. Maybe. Yeah. They already hate their lives. Why else would they be working there? Because they're trying, to, they're trying to better their lives. I don't want to be the guy money. that, like, makes them more miserable. See, I, what happened to me was I was on a road trip, and I got to a McDonald's uh, at, like, 4 or 5 a.m. Yeah. 
and I wanted breakfast. I was just about to ask, when do they start serving breakfast? They did. They were not serving breakfast. Oh, big sad. And I was like, you're going to make me wait an hour? Big sad. Did they start at six? Oh, uh, yeah, it was like six. I think six or five. Oh, uh, I love McDonald's breakfast. I was like, you're going to be waiting an hour for breakfast? And like, yes, we have all this other food that has to go somewhere. Well, you know, I... Okay, all right, hang on. I used to get a grilled chicken sandwich from McDonald's. They had a, they had a pretty good grilled chicken sandwich, all things considered. Still pretty all right. But they don't have grilled chicken anymore. They don't? You can only get the crispy chicken sandwich. Yeah. The only two fast food places I know that have a grilled chicken sandwich are Chick-fil-A and Jack in the Box. Wendy's, Carl's Jr. Does do they both? Wendy's. Yeah, okay. Wendy's has one. Wendy's grilled chicken is actually really good. Okay, maybe I gotta reconsider Wendy's. But like, you know, I I'm I'm, I'm kind of tired of going to Chick Fil A and Jack in the Box. They their their grilled chicken sandwich is good, but the last two times I went to Jack in the Box, it was like, it was it was like a process. I don't know how how more specific I can say. I want a plain chicken sandwich. And I'm trying not to be like a rude customer. Like I'm trying to be nice because I know it's kind of miserable working at those places at late hours. But it's just like, man, I, I, I'm, I'm making my order easier for you. Just the chicken and the bread. And it, they still can't get it right. It, it bums me out. But, and this isn't to disrespect Jack in the Box, though. Like, I'll probably go again at some point. It's just like getting the grilled chicken sandwich is not the most convenient thing to get from there, apparently. I don't want to slander the name. They got some good food. But all this to say, uh, I used to go to McDonald's and get a grilled chicken sandwich and a large orange high C. And then at first, they took away the high C. And then during the pandemic... It took away the grilled chicken sandwich because they, they like shortened their menu and they brought back the orange high C and I'm great. I'm forever grateful for that, but they did not yet bring back the grilled chicken sandwich. And as a result, I have not like, I will go to McDonald's and just get an orange high C, but I've not had regular McDonald's food. I probably have it like once a year now. And it's, it's I think like nuggets. See, my go-to breakfast used to be a sausage biscuit with a, with the orange high C every morning. Yeah. I mean, I, I would, I would get my pancakes. But I, I just, like, I haven't felt incentivized to go there just because they haven't had a grilled chicken sandwich. And the only reason I've had nuggets is just because, like, I'll be vacationing somewhere. And I just I just need, like, a quick meal and there's nothing else around except a McDonald's. So I'll go to McDonald's. And the only thing they have that I, I'm willing to eat is, is just, like, a 20-piece nugget. And the, mm. oh, and the fries. I mean, their fries are always good. Have you tried oh, chicken? Have I, like, their fried chicken? No, 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 no chicken. Oh, the, like, the, that, that'd be, like, their fried chicken sandwich. And, yeah, I don't it's... I don't like it. It's like their okay. budget one. They have like a the fruity fruity chi- one. So they have the yeah. they have one that's like one dollar, and then they have their crispy chicken sandwich, which is like four dollars, right? Yeah. I've had yeah. both, and I don't I don't like either of them. I'm afraid to say. Hmm. Sorry. Man. Listen, the, the, the budget meal was getting two McChickens and a side of a uh, buffalo sauce. Yes. Yeah, I just I just wish more places had a grilled chicken sandwich. More fast food places oh, yeah. had a grilled chicken sandwich. I think the habit has it too, doesn't it? I love the habit, but I'm, I consider that its own tier. That I, I just had the habit for dinner like two nights ago. I love the habit. You're making it a habit. That's what they say. <laughs> but oh uh, no, is that actually? Oh no. But the but the habit, uh, like at least most habits don't have a drive-through. Yeah, I don't think I've actually seen one with a drive-through. I don't think I've ever even heard of one until just now. So uh, yeah, it's just it's a it's a burger joint, but they have an awesome chicken sandwich. Cool. Fax me one. <laughs> I can try. But yeah, that, that, that's the issue. I'm, I'm referring to like, like that, that's more like fast casual is what they say, right? Like, like, yeah. uh, it's like in between like fast food and like, a more, regular like food. established dining experience. Right. It's like, I put that in the that's same tier right. as like Blaze Pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Um, whereas like Pizza Hut is more fast food, I feel. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm missing pizza with a sit-down restaurant. Yeah, so like Blaze Pizza is like, it's, it's like a, it's like Subway. You go in and they make the pizza in front of you, and then it cooks, and then it's ready in like five minutes. It's not on the same tier as Subway, though. No, no, I like Blaze Pizza more, and I, I haven't gone to Subway as much either for similar reasons. So they they had a grilled chicken sandwich. Oh, the oven roasted oh, chicken. Oh yeah. Oven chicken, and that's gone. That now favorite. it's like it's like chicken chunks and like. It's rotisserie chicken they replaced it with. Yeah, it's no, not the seriously. same. No, I stopped going to Subway once I realized they don't have that anymore because that was the only thing I got at Subway. So <laughs> I've learned that some Subways will still sell like the chicken strips, which is just a chicken breast cut. Right. 
And uh, those, that's the only Subway I'll eat at now. It's, some Subways do sell it with just the chicken strips. Well, the, the other thing that bums me out, we are sadly long past the days of the $5 foot long. Yeah. No. As a guy who just gets a plain chicken sandwich, and I before the comments make fun of me, yes, I do go to Subway and get a plain chicken sandwich. Uh, they they char they still charge me like twelve bucks for it. Yikes. Yeah. So I'm like, for forget that. Like, if I'm, if I'm gonna spend twelve bucks for a meal, I'm going to the Habit. <laughs> yeah. Or you know, like for three dollars more, I'll go to friggin' Five Guys and get a giant burger. So whatever. Whatever. Uh, you, you know, you know some, ironically, the, depending on what you get, yeah. um, Five Guys could be healthier than Subway. That's a, I've, I've heard something similar to that before. I've heard that, like, Five Guys is not as unhealthy as it seems. Because all, all their no. ingredients are pure. Yeah, it's like, if it, the only, the big part, source of calories in Five Guys is the bun. I mean, unless you get cheese. Well, yeah, but like, if you get the lettuce wrap burger, uh, oh, yeah. you, you cut the calories in half. And the lettuce wrap actually isn't that bad. Okay. It's just uh, it turns your your sandwich into a bowl, and it's like, well, I would have ordered a bowl then. Yeah, and to be fair, so like the habit is kind of like the same tier as Five Guys, where there's not really a drive-through, mm -hmm. but it's still basically fast food. But like the quality is like a little higher. You know what I mean? So that that's what the habit is, Madison. Mm -hmm. it's like there's no okay, drive-through, cool. but you go and you order your food, and they still cook it pretty quickly, and then you grab it, you just sit down wherever. God, I'm not great now. I want to get Five Guys tomorrow. Maybe I'll celebrate this with Five Guys. Man, I actually, I actually kind of wanted Five Guys the other day, but I'm like, I, I was so close, I was so close to home. I just wanted to knock out and go to sleep. <laughs> and I said I'd get it the next day, but then I didn't. If you really want to knock out and go to sleep, you should have a Five Guys burger first because that'll knock you out. You get it with a, get it with like a large fry too. Yeah. For extra measure. Yeah. If, like if you really just want to like friggin' get a good night's sleep, <laughs> yeah, get one of those. Line Rider should in introduce brush size. Oh, that's an idea. And uh, maybe a fill bucket too. Now, I uh, let's see. I mean, you guys want to do the fast food tier list real quickly while I'm driving? Because as someone as someone who's traveled a lot, I've had my fair share of fast food. In fact, I, I probably have fast food like once a week. Tier drawing. Yeah. No, uh, S tier fast food. Uh, hmm. Yeah, what is what Five is Guys? Okay. Five oh, Guys. Oh, okay, yeah. let's, not, let's not consider that. Let's consider just like pla places that have a drive through. Uh, Five Guys. In and out. Not the ones near me. In just the like ones near me have drive throughs. What? They have a drive through? The one that I want. Like, the one that's local to here doesn't have a. Not have one. Yeah, I can think of three. Not too far away from me, and none of them have drive-thrus. Uh, the one at the shopping plaza does. That's freaking... Yeah. The one at the shopping plaza? That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, like, so far... Yeah, like, so far, the one here in Pennsylvania doesn't have a... Doesn't have a drive Alright, if I'm gonna be for real, the top-tier fast food I will always eat, no matter what, is Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Okay. Taco Bell is pretty goaded. Because you can... For $10, you can eat your weight in food. Yep. <laughs> Even in today's economy, you still eat like a king for cheap. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair enough. Uh, where are we putting McDonald's? Because I, I actually think like they're perfectly C tier. I think they're uh, high C, low B. That's not, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Like I'll eat them, and I'll I'll like I won't like make a face while I do it. It's just like it's not really my go-to. I feel like McDonald's, McDonald's is a mm -hmm. McDonald's for me is a little different because there's like certain items that I'm very fond of, but outside those items, I think it's very mid. Uh, that's fair. I've, Go ahead. I think McDonald's is a, is a solid baseline for fast food. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like, I think everyone has something that they'll eat at McDonald's. Like the um, like, like I'll, I'll get a quarter pounder of cheese. That is, that is my burger. I will always eat. Yeah, I'm like I'll have their nuggets. They're not my favorite, but like I'll eat them. I like them. They're fun. They're mediocre, oh. but they're tolerable. Right, exactly. We're assuming they're chicken. Yeah. They're they're, they're probably chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do I title this track? This Yoshi themed track. Uh. Yoshi Touch and Go. <laughs> Let's not title it that. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the DS game that was, like, really weird. Uh, Yoshi. It sounds weird. I've named it Yoshi's Mom with a smiley face. Good. And I'm saving it. I don't know if Yoshis have a mom. Yoshis are male. They hatch out of eggs. Yeah, but who knows how they reproduce. I mean, we... We see it happen on live TV. Like, we see it happen, like, in front of our eyes every game that Yogi's in. 
Yeah, but you just hit like a block and there's an egg in it. I can save a file. Save to file. What? How does that save? Oh, that's a dot JSON. Dot JSON. A JSON. Hang on to that. Maybe I'll use that for a future video. Well, that's that's why I made it Yoshi themed. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll check that out in due time. Thank you. You guys want to see my Yoshi track? You're all gonna yep. see it, but me. No. It's okay. You can see <laughs> oh. it later. <laughs> no, but now I'm not gonna see it for like another seven hours. All right, here. Let me. I know, I know, I know. Terrible, but. Terrible butt. Terrible butts. Terrible Hello. butts. Charles. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Hello, Mario. I you a line writer course and I can't even look at it. It's okay. It's okay. I'll look at it. No! No! Yeah. Everyone gets to see it but me. I'll describe I'll describe it for the viewers. Okay. Let me know. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready. I'm ready. Alright, she's driving Ooh. on the dragon's tail. She's at the tip of the dragon. <laughs> the dragon Yoshi, and she fell into a baby Yoshi's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> what the heck? That's that's literally it. Right, that's, that's the color commentary. Now it's your turn to draw a line writer course and save a .json file so I can access it for a future video. Jason. 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 Do you think you could watch the entire story of that game, Heavy Rain, before I'm done with this bus ride? Uh, probably. I probably can. Isn't that game like by the time you like if you do like the perfect route, it's only like three or four hours? Yeah, it's it's usually the length of a movie. Yeah. So, Jay yeah, Todd. Oh, that's the majority of track. That's the majority of what um, lines. David Cage. It's only three that's lines. what the majority of David Cage games are. Uh... Anyways, I can I can kill the stream now, right? Everyone's seen it except your shoulder. Jason. 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 All right, you guys. You guys have any questions for me? I'll answer anything that doesn't reveal personal like. Location details. Oh, okay, where are you driving? We already know where you are. It's in the what desert. Is, on what the is the constellation above your house right now? The constellation that's probably Sagittarius. <laughs> what is your current location? What is your current location? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> X equals negative 270.8041. All right. Y I'm probably visible this time. 9,428. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck could chuck wood? Probably three chucks. Damn, he's good. What else you guys got for me? What's your credit card info? That would be 608849721928. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. The back of the card is 119. And the expiration, and the, the expiration is January 2nd, 2099. Right. Wait, that's, no, wait a second. All right, whose phone there? number is 929-556-2746? That's, that's oh. Luigi's. Well, actually, it's it's the Mario Brothers. If you call it. It's gonna be Luigi. Hey, uh, hey, Yoshi, does this number mean anything to you? Uh, one nine two dot one dot one three two four. It is actually a New York number. Wow. Nine two nine. Yeah. You know, it's kind of it's kind of funny yeah. that they have not used uh, what's his name in any of the marketing stuff. He was on the Kelly Clark uh, Kelly Clarkson show. I do think it is did. genuinely because he is busy with other like movie recordings. No, probably. Wait, is it the one that Jack Black showed up in the Bowser costume? Yes, that is definitely yeah. the one. Were you excited to play Bowser? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. We're not out of context where Killing Thorson just asks him, and he, it just, the camera just goes to him, and he's just a guy in a Bowser costume. Freaking <laughs> and he just says, like, yeah. Freaking Jack. <laughs> Guys, in about 40 miles, alright, get this, in about 40 miles, if you look up my little mileage counter, whatever it's called, it has a name, I don't remember what it's called, pedometer? Odometer. Odometer, thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll get to see all four numbers roll over. Wow! Whoa! You guys, Whoa. Uh, so whenever we're talking about it at that time, I'll be sure to interrupt everybody and be like, guys! 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 <laughs> all four numbers are going to change. We got we got about like ten minutes before that happens. Just so you guys know. A moment of ten minutes of silence for Yoshiller. Alrighty. <laughs> oh damn! I'm not oh. gonna get to see it. I gotta get ready for that. You gotta leave, Cotton. I got work at like five in the morning. Oh, Cotton. Five in the morning. See, at, at least you're being uh, you're being the responsible yes. adult here. I have to be at work in like seven hours, and I'm still here. Goodbye. Yikes. Oh, both of you should go to bed. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm almost it's at 1960. Yeah. I, I'm almost at 1960. I don't mean to peer pressure you, but you don't want to stick around for five more minutes? I might be there sooner than I thought. Uh, no, I'm not going to get my stuff ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll see y'all later. All Good right. Yeah. 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 Goodbye, yeah. Cotton. Hi, right, David. What a nice young lady. All right. <laughs> All right. Sure, you need to explain the context of that for everybody who's watching. Okay. Yeah. Golly. Yeah. We have a joke <laughs> in this group chat where anytime someone leaves, I say, what a nice young lady, regardless of whether or not they're a young, nice, or a lady. There you go. I say it that's after. It. That's a, that's a, it's a quote from Dragon Ball Z abridged because Goku says it after he meets Trunks. Oh, I, thought, I thought we were referencing SpongeBob. Nah. What a nice box. Well, Gamma, are you gonna stick around to watch me roll over my two thousandth mile? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not hurting that much right now. Oh, I kind of am, because I'm the one that has to sit here and press left every couple of seconds. Uh, that's unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. See, I work from home, so I just roll out of bed and open my laptop and just sit there staring at it for an hour before I do any work. Hey, hey same. Same. Bam. Same, but a desktop. I need a request for my job. I need a laptop dock and two screens to take home because I cannot keep working from this laptop. Yeah, I get that. And they, then they told me, well, you can come back to the office where you have your work set up. No. Anyone have any more questions? Um, I have a question. Yeah. Why do people de de depict the, s the moon being made out of cheese? Because it is Everybody... Yeah, come on, Charles. Everyone knows the moon is made of cheese. The moon is made of cheese. It's made yeah. out of forty different types of cheese. There's also, there, there's also a um, there's also a moon cheese cop on the moon that's skiing down the slopes. That's right. That's right. There is a moon cheese cop. Moon cheese cop. Yeah. <laughs> Charles, what? have you ever seen a grand day out? Uh, is that the one with the guy who? Uh, ditches school. Oh no. Oh no. So, oh no. The name of the Wallace and Gromit shirt. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I feel like I may have one. That has a 100% rating on Metacritic. Or it's, as it should. Yeah. As it should. Yeah. Wallace well, and Gromit. It, I haven't seen it since I was a kid. I remember loving it. That one always makes me cry because I always feel sorry for the robot. Yeah, man. That, that movie's fantastic. Um, I do know. That oh wait, did you see Walton Grumman and the Curse of the Were Rabbit? I did, and that's also fantastic. Oh, I loved it, and I'm sad the sequel will never happen. And once again, can't remember too many details about it. Saw it when I was young. So mm -hmm. Still recall it being like, like fun, and I, I I've seen like one or two scenes resurface since then, and I'm like, mm -hmm. man, like I I really did grow up getting like good movies and good shows and whatnot. We had good stuff. I'm, I'm glad uh, about my generation. What else was there? I, I, I wonder if there... Um, did you know Chicken Run is getting a sequel? I didn't know. Yeah, they're not using any of the original voice actors, even though they all sound the it, exact same. Mel Gibson, I understand. But I feel like... Actually, no, I'm not going to say anything controversial about Mel Gibson here. That's fine, I appreciate it. No, I, I didn't know they were making a sequel. That's good. Yeah. Those guys are they, very talented. Yeah, um, Julius, um, 
Salala, I believe was her name. Can I pronounce her last name? Uh, they just didn't cast her because she's just she, she sounds too old apparently. But she yeah wow. she can do the voice like perfectly, and sounds the exact same. And uh, um, it's not like Mufasa, right? Where uh, they brought him back for the live action movie, and you can mm-hmm. clearly tell which takes are the new takes and which are reused takes or leftover takes from the OG. Um, it's, not, it's not as bad as The Incredibles too. Yeah, Mr. Incredible sounds... Yeah, so Mr. Incredible's voice sounds so... But I guess that's just a trend, right? If you're a man, your voice usually just hits that range faster. Yeah, I guess. well, like, Frozone sounds fine. Well, well yeah, because he's also yeah. still acting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, okay, yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess Samuel L. Jackson didn't start acting until he was, like, in his 40s or 50s, right? So he's, he's already kind of... He's already kind of... I don't want to say old, but he's like his voice has solidified itself. Also, um, uh, Craig Nelson is almost eighty, so. Dang. Wow. Is that the guy who voices uh, Bob Parr? Yes. Okay. Uh, guys, he, the, 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 guys! All of the cast want to do a third movie too. Guys, 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 guys! He's I'm in 1997. Oh, you passed I, my birth year. I passed mine passed too, me. dude. I was. You passed mine. Well, guess what? Now we're past at 97, so we basically passed yeah. everyone's in the All right, world. we're no longer in the millennial. Now it's my birth year. Yay! Now we're, Yay. Now we're in the... the right. Everyone wish me a happy the birthday. Gen-Z's. Happy birthday. Okay, yeah, so I'm birthday. Oh, guys, 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 it's gonna happen! Go. It's gonna happen! Oh! Oh, Woo! yeah! Wow! Woo! The one on the right goes up so slowly, but the other is... So fast. They don't. Have, they don't have to move as fast. Instantaneous. Yeah. I don't know. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's probably the most action we're gonna get out of this game until I friggin' splatter into a fly. What are you talking about? It's nine thirty-two. Mm-hmm. We're making good time. Are we? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. All right. All right. You guys have any other questions? Do you, do you, do you think that pine tree scented? thing is actually the smell of pine trees. It's actually the smell of bubblegum. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it's technically a pine tree. Like, I don't think they took a, the essence of a pine tree and crammed it into this little, like, smelly thing. But I think... Well, it, it, it's, it's shaped like a pine tree because it's supposed to be reminiscent of pine smell. Right, but I, I think it's it. artificial if, if that's what Charles is asking. I think. I think it's bubblegum. You think it's bubblegum? <laughs> bubblegum. <laughs> I think it's uh, they do have one that's just called new cars. Hey, 2008. Smell. That's the housing market crisis. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 2009. Yeah. You guys remember that? Yeah, 2009. People were saying houses were drowning, and I was like, I don't see any water anywhere though. Yo, guys, Whatever. 2010. That was a good year for Nintendo. That was oh, Punch Out. Again. That was oh, Donkey yeah, Kong Country sure. Returns. That was Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yo, wow. 2011. So Silver. like that's when we first heard about. The Wii U, the 3DS came out that year. Oh, 2012. Now, that is when the Wii U came out. That's also the same year as a result that we got games like Nintendo Land and New Super Mario Bros. U. And Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. I remember I got that as a Wii U. We're, we're going to the we're Nintendo Dark Ages. Out. No, not yet. We're in 2013. 2013 was fine because we got Super Mario I was 3D at- World. Why? Yeah, I, 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 I consider the entire Wii U era the Dark Ages. Yeah, between 2014, that Smash 3DS and Smash Wii U and Mario Kart 8. Well, 20... to be fair, it's the console dark ages. 2015? All right, now hang on. 2015, that's Mario Maker, that's Yoshi's Woolly World, that's Splatoon, that's Smash DLC. 2016! Mario Maker yes, for the 3DS! Let's 20... go! 2017, we got the Switch. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> we also got Splatoon 2, Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, ARMS. Great stuff. 2018, we got Super Smash for this Ultimate. We got... Uh, that, I mean, that was COVID. a good game that year. There was other stuff that year. 2019. We, we got, got COVID! Pat, Mario Maker 2, uh, Zelda Link Between Worlds, Luigi's Mansion 3. Awesome, 2020! Wow. Oh, we, did, we did get Animal Crossing. We got Animal Crossing, and we got Super Mario COVID. 35. 2021, we got Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. 2022. What did I play in 2022? Frick. Uh, we got... Oh, God, I don't... What did I play last Julie. year? Kirby the Forgotten Land. Splatoon 3. <laughs> we got Advance Wars this year. 2023, we got Advance Wars. We got... And we, getting, we got Resident Evil 
Four Tears remake. Tears of the Kingdom's coming. 2024. Oh, that's it. Switch that's 2. It. Switch 2, baby. Big old question mark. Switch to what? I think the Switch 2 will be 2024. What are, are you switching to? <laughs> the Switch 2. Oh, God. Do you even know that's coming out? Yeah, exactly. Five. Resident Evil 5 remake. Uh, 2026, probably. Splatoon 4. Yo, I would play a Resident Evil 5 remake. Splatoon 4. You know, 2027, you know Tatsunoko versus say, Capcom 2. I was going to say in 2024, we'll probably get Kingdom Hearts 4. 2028, New Wario oh. Alright, alright, what else we got? 2029. Oh, this... oh, God. Mario and Sonic at the friggin' not Olympics, <laughs> because it's not that year. Smash Bros. Pop set of Smash Bros. Seven. Twenty thirty is when Mario and Sonic go to the Paris Olympics or something. I don't know. That's when they release a PS thirteen. That's too soon. We're only gonna be at the PlayStation Six. Twenty thirty two. The Xbox. Xbox Zero. Amazon buys <laughs> Xbox. Oh God. The, Amazon the buys Xbox. Box. All right. 2033, Microsoft buys Amazon. <laughs> Hold on a second. No. The, just no. 2034, That's terrifying. Disney buys I'm not Google. sure I like this reality you've constructed. <laughs> Disney buys Google. I don't want to work for Google, uh, uh, Disney. 20, okay. 2036, uh, we finally have our 51st state. It's going to be the Uncharted Island located to the northwest of Hawaii. I wasn't a fan of Uncharted, though. That's okay. The movie wasn't that great, but I heard the games are pretty fantastic. Yeah, I don't like looking at this. At this. It makes me realize that by this time I'll be in my 40s. You know, 2038? Yeah, that wasn't a great year for gaming, was it? 2039, though? We finally got Sonic Adventure 3. It took them 20 more years. We did it. What do you mean? We got Sonic 06 for that. Oh, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> 2040. Yo, guys. Can you believe it? They brought back Star Tropics. 2041, there's that Kid Icarus <laughs> sequel. This is a long bit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah another, this is another 25 years later. Yeah, how long will this bit go on for? Yeah, I have not been paying attention industry. for the last uh, <laughs> 20 minutes at least. Yeah. What else you guys got? Uh, <laughs> attention deficit. Yeah, yeah. Mood. Well, you should. Well, Yoshel, I have several questions. What's up? What you got for me? Why is someone in the kitchen with Dinah? Carrots are good for your eyes. Can I dial a phone? Uh, hey, Yoshel, I might be smaller that don't have a nose. You can dial... You can dial a phone with a carrot. How can you smell if you don't have a nose? Uh, uh how, can, are... how, can my feet, how can my feet smell if they don't have a nose? Oh! Chances are they're still, like, although microscopic, there's still slight pores on your feet that can absorb stuff into your body. Which is why when you step in water, it can kind of make you sick if the water's not pure. Mm. It's also why you can get drunk through your feet. However, I have to, I have to, di I have to put a disclaimer here. Yeah. If you fill up a bathtub with, uh, with alcohol, which is expensive, by the way... <laughs> And then you, you sit in it, you will get very, very drunk within a few seconds. I Are you talking from experience? You don't feel it until you have lethal alcohol poisoning, so don't do this. Oh, oh, yeah. I, was, I was about to say, are you talking about either of these through experience? No. I would be dead. <laughs> also, I don't drink. Okay. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Cheers, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> bro. Nice. Hello. Drinking some root beer. I mean, like, I can... Oh, go on. I was like, I, can, I, have, I have some cider in the fridge I can crack open, but I have work in the morning. Drink some root beer. It's like beer, but I like beer. apple cider. I love sparkling cider. Yeah. I like cider. I have, I have I hard like cider. cider. Alcoholic cider with uh, apple cider with buttered popcorn is an amazing combination. Mm. Like, just it just like goes together so well. Like, it makes like, me crave what I can't have. I, I, I mean, like, like extra butter, like movie theater butter type. Anyone remember the cereal crave? No. I, that name that? sounds so familiar. Now Why do you said it? Yes. Yeah. Hold little, on. It, the the one with like the, the the chocolate, chocolatey chunks. That's the one. Right where they had the commercials where they would kill each other. Yeah. The, the they, they're so delicious they'll eat each other. 
And now um, the other the other cereals doing that. What's it? Uh, cinnamon cinnamon toast squares. Cinnamon, yeah, cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch. crunch. I I miss the old cinnamon toast crunch commercials. Do you remember the yogurt cereal? Which one? The yogos? The pellets. Yogos? Is okay, that what they're yogos. called? Yeah. They're, they're like a I miss or those. I miss them so much. I don't know that I ever had them. Are we doing a cereal tier list? Yo, uh, show. Sure. Are we almost there? Top of my tier Emma's list. here? Uh, no, I said, are we almost Emma. there? Oh. She's not here. I am uh, excited. You made me excited. I got excited. to four hours earlier I and I forgot to sleep in two here. hours. But to answer your question, no, Look are we almost to there? No, is Emma almost here? Yes, uh, two hours. Two hours. Well, she'll she'll be here in an hour. Okay. Well, so. to, to answer your question, Captain Crunch goes to S tier automatically. Yes, Captain Crunch with Crunch Berry is also S tier. Fruity, fru Fruity Pebbles, top tier. You think so? I don't care. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I don't care if people say. It gets soggy quick. Eat your cereal faster. I eat my cereal yeah, dry. Agree, Charles. Agree, Charles. Okay, agree, but, Charles. But the the one with the marshmallows, the fruity Lucky pebbles, with the marshmallows, oh, the store pebbles? brand one. That's pretty good. I don't know. There was one with marshmallows. The, the, the problem with fruity pebbles is that yeah, it just it gets too soggy and ruins the cereal. Yeah. And yeah, then eat your cereal faster. Or that defeats the purpose. Well, some people don't want to eat their cereal that fast. Yeah, I eat my cereal dry. Crunch is pretty, pretty top tier. I feel like, like if okay, cereal okay. Is dry, then that, that makes it a good cereal. Okay, you know what? No, counterpoint point then, Charles. Why does Rice Krispie say don't get as soggy as fast as fr as Fruity Pebbles? Because it's made by Kellogg's, not Post. Oh! Oh! It was like, <laughs> what that answer! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Honey O's, S tier. Honey Nut Cheerios or just Honey O's? Honey O's. Honey Nut Cheerios? Okay, so that's A tier. That's like a safe t f cereal to have when you have like guests over. Uh, I think like the Apple Cinnamon Cheerios are the best. I've never had those. Those sound pretty good. They're the best because they have low sugar and have the lowest carb count. But why have that when you can have Apple Jacks, which is like a B tier? Uh, uh, Apple Jacks is high in sugar. I don't have Cheerios at all. Uh, all right, guys. Cheerios? Uh, uh, tricks Fruit Shape? Uh, A tier, trick circles, bottom tier. I, didn't, they bring, I, didn't they bring back the trick fruit shapes? You know what else is F tier? Kicks. Yes. Give, Disgusting. Down with, down with kicks. I never had kicks. I can't really. About their I miss, horrible I miss motto. Kid tested, yeah, motor approved, kicks? but it's not kid approved. They're yeah. horrible. Yeah, I never really had kicks, so I can't really say kicks? anything. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like a white circle. Oh, can't Yeah. Like okay, so these, my, never had them. My, my my take is also um, corn flakes S tier. Are we talking like frosted flakes? No corn flakes. I don't think just I've regular corn flakes. corn flakes. Regular corn flakes with, with the rooster on the box. Okay. Where would you guys get the Super Mario, uh, the, the Super Mario, Mario Odyssey Mario. cereal? You know something, Charles? I have that cereal box sitting in my room and it's unopened. That's I still have it, but I ate it. I should have eaten it. You're right. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> it wasn't a perfectly good box of cereal. Yeah, and it just resell it like the old Jeeb Super Mario cereal from the back in the 90s. Yeah. The Super Mario cereal just tastes like budget Lucky Charms. Okay, now I, I have something for you guys. I, I did this once. When I was still working for Completionist, I bought Cookie Crisp and I bought the Chips Ahoy cookie cereal. Because I never oh, had yeah? either growing up. Because like Wait, Chips Ahoy? Chips Ahoy has a cereal. They do, but this is just Cookie Crisp. Exactly. And I bought both to see which one was better. It was Chips Ahoy. Are they the same? It was Chips Ahoy. Oh, it was Chips Ahoy? They wow. look the same. But, like, Chips Ahoy, I, I like, it's like... This sounds weird. sacrilege. They're both terrible for you. <laughs> They're both so bad for you. And yet, you know, I'm not eating cereal to be healthy. If that cereal doesn't, like, make my teeth fall out, then is it really cereal? Exactly. Okay, then Oreo O's. I've never had them. I was actually gonna bring it up. Have any of you guys had it? Uh, Oreos, also S tier. Oh, Oreos okay. and marshmallows, SS tier. It's good. I've had it. It's good. Where, how are we feeling? I, have, I haven't had the marshmallow one. I just had the. They haven't brought yeah. that back yet. They've only had the regular ones right now. Yeah. How do we feel about Fruit Loops? I feel like Fruit Loops are, are mid tier. Yeah. yeah. They're okay. Fruit Loops are safe. It's, it's, it's like a, a solid B. That's what I'm thinking. You know what's lower than F tier? What's that? Special K with the strawberries in it, the rehydrated strawberries. Oh, get out. Yeah. Get out. That's too, that's too healthy. Get that out. I'm getting, I'm getting off, I'm getting off <laughs> this bus. I'm getting off this bus. 
pull over. Would pull you over right now. Rank it higher. If, 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 I like over. A, if, strawberries. if I wanted like Absolutely. a healthy breakfast, I'd like make. You would rank it higher. I would rank it higher than F. I'm ranking it lower than F. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gee. It's a, it's a, it's a solid, it's a solid B tier cereal. I don't know what, what, what's your problem. <laughs> B tier. No, you know what's bottom tier? Uh, what, what is it? There was that commercial with that thing, the cereal, and he's like, Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That cereal's trash. I don't know what what cereal, cereal is that? Uh, I'm trying to remember what the name of it. It was like... It's commercials. Uh, they're also trash. Is it Sprinkles Bacon? <laughs> uh, I'll search it up. Is it Count Chocula? No. Okay. Was it Wheaties? Yeah. Frosted Mini Wheats? It might be Frosted Mini Wheats. Frosted Mini Wheats is F tier. Yeah, it's it's absolute trash. Like, come on, I, I am not yeah, the oldest yeah, person like, in this call. Mm-hmm. Frosted mini wheats are great because not only do they taste good, they're also more filling than regular cereal. Mm. And as someone who has to, you know, satiate myself with breakfast, that's a go-to cereal. No, I like the regular sized wheats. Well, to be fair, in tier list, I would put cereal at uh, bottom tier breakfast. No, I have a question. Cereal's a depression it. breakfast. I'm I, not gonna lie. I know you've all seen it. How are we feeling about that Fruit Loops box where it's just one big Fruit Loop? Uh, that that, that, game, that, that gave me nightmares. Oh, that gave me nightmares. I oh, want the big loop. I, I feel like it's actually pretty gross, but I haven't tasted it. Give me the big loop. You want the big loop? I'm the loop! I've never seen it. You've never seen it? I can't get you never image, seen it. I'm sure a quick Google image search will find it for you. Yeah, let me get out of the Yoshi Mario reference tab. I got you. I got you. One Here you go. It's a, it, this is a real thing, which admittedly is a hilarious like marketing stunt, but I don't think it's gonna taste very good. It it's not by Kellogg's. Oh so. my god! Oh, it's it's not? a whole loop. no. Oh. No, Kellogg's did uh, did jumbo fruit loops at one point, but that is a thick loop. That is a big loop. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a cake than cereal. That's yeah. lethal. Now, Charles, you think cereal's on the lower tier of breakfast? And I agree with you. So the point of cereal is that it's convenient. If, if okay, no, I, I agree it is convenient. That's why it's okay. cereal is, yeah, yeah, it's depression breakfast. <laughs> All right, so my next question is, then where, where do we put oatmeal? That, for me, is like mm. the F tier. Get the heck F out of here. Gross. All right. Uh, I'm, 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 man, you guys have horrible taste. I'm sorry. Do you know I who have you're talking tried to? I to enjoy oatmeal so often. Gamma, do you think I like food? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, friggin' this, like you know what? You know what? No, that, that's my bad. I'm, I'm a food connoisseur. I don't like friggin' anything. If you can find a good oatmeal, show it to me. Cinnamon and spice. If it has to go in my mouth, I hate it. All right, I hate <laughs> okay, mood. Okay, how you, the ADHD how you living? can't make a meal mood. Yeah. I mean, like, how, how are you know. living? How, how am I living? Yeah. I'm breathing and st- I'm breathing and I, sleeping. I mean, listen, there's no better meal than having a nice, thick bowl of all that. I mean, thick with two C's. With brown sugar and a pat of butter on it, nice and stirred up together. That's, that's a go-to tried-and-true breakfast. You want to know what my tried and true breakfast of champions is called friggin' pancakes and sausage. Okay, that's, that's fair. Although actually, no, sausage, no. Sausage, eggs, some eggies. What I've been doing recently, my favorite diner, I get a short stack of pancakes and a side of grilled chicken. Not even If I've ever at a diner, I usually get the, um, eggs benedict with a hollandaise sauce. Oh. I usually eat rice. Rice? Rice. <laughs> rice, rice and then any, anything that goes with rice. Rice Which is cheap, Charles, anything. because rice is acceptable at any time of the day. Well, yeah, that's why it's top tier. Yeah, you need to pick something that's like associated exactly. with breakfast. It's versatile. It's overpowered. Uh, but a lot of American breakfast is like that's sad. sweet and yeah. sad. Okay, and it's like... okay. Do you like a British, <laughs> you want like a British breakfast where it's just like steak and eggs? Toast on toast? No, I, I want Asian breakfast, which is rice. Uh, now, this this is uh, the, the bre- that's my breakfast of champions. Is a grilled kielbasa, okay. with, scram- with scrambled eggs. Breakfast? Yes. A whole the kielbasa? sausage. Not a whole kielbasa. He just cut a piece of it off. What's a kielbasa? Okay. Okay. A is sausage. A type of sausage. Oh, it's sausage. not really a breakfast sausage, though. It's like a dinner sausage. Tell that to everyone in the south. <laughs> this this, oh, well, to be fair, no, my grandpa. Yeah. Not living in the south. <laughs> my gra- Okay, I'm 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 in Ohio, but my grandpa comes from Alabama. 
No, I could eat this for breakfast. Just put it with some rice. In Georgia. <laughs> um. So yeah, it's it's grilled it's grilled kielbasa, scrambled eggs, some toast, and a side of grits. All right, Charles. What if I'll I take that? You, Charles, what if I give wow. you a short stack of pancakes and one rice on the side? And when I say one rice, I don't mean like a bowl. One little grain. One little grain of rice. <laughs> You know, I just realized, and they're gonna hate me. For, they're gonna hate me for saying this, but grits is the American rice mm. because we have so much corn. No, I just want my short stack of pancakes and a side of grilled chicken. But isn't mashed potatoes American rice? I think corn is much more prevalent, so I would say grits. I'd say potatoes. So the grits here are usually made. Yeah, I mean, potatoes. like steak and potatoes is a pretty I mean, American yeah, meal, not separate. I mean, I was saying because corn is, is one of America's number one exports. Mm. Yeah, we deliver corn to everyone else. That doesn't mean we eat it. I mean, okay, well, so the high fructose <laughs> corn syrup, the uh, corn flakes, corn popcorn. corn cereals, popcorn. We use a sure? corn syrup. That's you it. want to know something? Corn doesn't get uh, digested properly. That's it doesn't. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> You know, I think tomorrow for breakfast I will have the kielbasa eggs and grits. What, what about corn, Charles? Anyway, uh, I, I never knew this, but back back in the day, do you guys remember the TV show Two Stupid Dogs? Yes. I'm familiar with it. I don't recall like anything about the show, though. Two Stupid so there Dogs! Was, there was a joke where they would eat a corn, then they would like use the bathroom, and the corn was still there, and I didn't get it at the time, but it's because corn doesn't digest. Yeah. So it was still just like a whole corn. <laughs> that, also, like, this is so dumb. that also implies they ate the entire the, the entire corn whole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just it's just funny thinking about it now that I'm older. <laughs> I do like popcorn. Popcorn's great. Popcorn chicken's also great. I do like that. Ooh, popcorn chicken. I great not do I get do I get McDon like McDonald's KFC tomorrow for popcorn chicken. Opinions on on KFC's uh, bowl with the mat. I don't have KFC a whole lot. Mm -hmm. but the times I've had them, it's been pretty good. I don't know if I if I'm like wowed, and I know it's not fair to say I should be wowed by a fast food place, but like sometimes I am. KFC I is, is, is KFC is that restaurant where uh, if you got twenty bucks and you don't feel like cooking dinner for the whole family, you got dinner for the whole family. Right. That's that's the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. KFC probably like B tier for me. Yeah, you know, yeah. I I would put I would say high B, low A up for me because I just like everything else. Their chicken is. I don't care what anyone says. The herbs and spices in KFC chicken is amazing. The meat itself is not the best, but the the spices are great. Gotcha. So oh, yeah, my, my sure. whole thing, my whole thing is I like boneless chicken. I, I don't, I don't like it with the bone. Uh, so like going purely off of that, that's why I'm like, oh, okay, KFC is probably B tier. It probably tastes better if you have the bone. Mm -hmm. uh, but I I just want to be able to like take a piece of meat and. Toss it in my mouth and not have to fight with it, you know. Fair enough. <laughs> Great. Plus. Thank. Sorry, I'm getting everyone on this bus sick. Don't worry, I've been I've been quadruple vaxxed and and I have immune immunity from getting COVID. Cool. I too I, have I, gotten I, the new vaccination. I, I am the super COVID soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Until they have a new booster come out. Very good. Good. Proud of you. Uh, but well, I mean, does it even matter anymore? I still have long COVID. I mean, I did get a COVID also... test uh, a couple days ago. I had I had to take one before I went to some place, and I said I didn't have COVID. Although that could have changed between that <laughs> the test results and now, but I don't think I have COVID. I guess we'll see. I know. Uh, I'm hoping when, I, when me and our friends go to Japan next year, we will not. None of us have COVID. I hope you don't have it either. Japan's really cool, dude. Are you going to Tokyo? Or are you going to Kyoto? Are you going to Osaka? Tokyo for our first trip. Nice. That is a very cool place. There are a lot of people there. But as long as you keep to yourself and show respect, no one will bat an eye. Who's going to be your translator? Uh. Google. Oh, okay. <laughs> fine. Fine, I, I know enough. Of that, it's like translated. 
I, I know enough to ask where's the bathroom, and that's about it. Oh, I got it. Donde esa toilet? That's a different language. <laughs> I mean, if, you know, just just don't try to sound like an anime protagonist, you know? Like, just try to say it naturally. Because they're, they're, this is kind of turning into another conversation. There are a lot of people who are like, they think in order to speak Japanese, they have to sound like it does in an anime. And it's like, no, you don't have to be like, Tore wa doko desu ka! <laughs> no. No. Let's see. Also, oh, What's up? <laughs> uh, darn it! Uh, you, I need to show you the new South Park episode. You'll, you'll, you'll like. Oh, it. it's because it's about it's Japanese out? toilets. <gasps> oh, it yes, it is out. It, it was out since last week. I didn't watch it, Fuck. but I, I can already tell you, Japanese toilets are the best invention to ever grace this planet. Yeah, Shiller, you need. I need to show you it. It yeah. is a good episode. Okay. Oh, I can't it's wait. Japanese toilet. It's... So <laughs> Did I go over like why they're amazing? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Okay. Just know that the episode's actually a good episode. Okay. Like I didn't like the the previous one with the like, Canada Queen or whatever. Oh yeah, pri the privacy one. Mm. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I, I, I haven't really been sitting down watching episodes. I just see like people talking about it on Twitter. Yeah, the the privacy one, I'm just like, how come every time it's, a, no offense to Canadians, but every time it's a Canadian episode, it's like a bad episode? Like, it, it, it's just know. not enjoyable yeah, they're, they're usually okay, but... I mean, that's just kind of um, like South Park, though. Like, they have a lot of really good episodes, but they have a lot of duds. And it just yeah. might be, it, like, it might not have to do with the fact that it's about Canada, but it, there might just, it, that might just be like the poll. Like, oh yeah, well... Once you know it, a lot of the ones that are duds happen to focus on Canada. Oh no. A lot of the season, uh, the previous season, albeit there was only like 11 episodes, uh, I think all of them were just good though. So it was just like off-putting to see one in this new season and I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, this isn't a good episode. Well, I thought people okay. liked the, the post-COVID special when they were adults. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought people liked that one. Oh yeah, but that wasn't, that was like a special slash movie. It wasn't part of season 24 25 are they still doing specials or movies i thought they had an order to make like 20 of yes them. Okay. they have an order to make 11 okay however there is a lawsuit and i'm not joking a lawsuit with hbo max and paramount due to the fact that paramount ordered exclusive films to stream on paramount only uh but hbo max has a contract with south park to be able to legally show every episode special that they have. Gotcha. At least the ones that aren't banned, aka the two episodes that are banned. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I mean, but yeah, that's you know, they, they, they not every episode of South Park is a winner, but they have a lot of winning episodes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I must interrupt this to say um, the the abomination to mankind has returned. KFC's double down sandwich is back. What is a double down sandwich? Yeah, no. Uh, it's a, the double down sandwich is two huge um, um, it's a chicken sandwich. The buns are fried chicken okay. with a sauce, cheese, and bacon in the middle. It's a lot. Yes, it's uh, this is uh. Can't, I can't look at it if you posted a picture. I mean, nah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to see, like, why is this back? Uh, well, I, all, everything eventually comes back. I am waiting for McDonald's to bring back a grilled chicken sandwich. And I am waiting for Chili's to bring back their, their honey batter chicken crispers. Uh, Nico, this is for your reference. Why Ooh. did it do, why, why did it do that? <laughs> I was curious, I have not been to Curious file types. A beef? Why is that an Avis? Yeah, I've never even heard of that. Yeah, you know what? Just I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll, on. I'll, I just posted the link instead. Well, Luigi. I think I've been I've now been driving for I think two and a half hours. What is it, Mario? Ah. What is it, Mario? I'm in the, I'm busy staring out the window with this bus. We got a quarter of the way there. <laughs> wow. Right. 
So for the people who are watching this video, yeah. uh, I'm putting a little Easter egg in my animation. Yeah. Uh, Luigi calls Mario, and for the phone number, I'm putting the Super Mario Bros. phone number. That's fine. <laughs> as Luigi's number. Nice. <laughs> And only, only, only people who are very observant or watch this video will know. All right, top comments will be from me saying, wow, look at that phone number. <laughs> look at that phone number. 92955 <laughs> Mario. Yeah, I mean, you could just use that phone number for anywhere. It's like, can I have your digits, girl? You can just be like, yeah, here you go. You call her lady and then you just hear Charlie Day talking at you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Luigi. Thank you for calling Super Mario Plumbing. House? Mm -hmm. Car? Mansion? Mansion? <laughs> There's gonna be a Luigi's Mansion movie. I'm calling it. I friggin' hope. I hope it's based on the first game. Who's playing Professor again? Yappa yappa. I was my, gonna my, say Christopher Lloyd, but my brain instantly went to John Mulaney for some reason. John Mulaney. All right, all right, that's a good pick. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> John Mulaney is Egan. Well, I think yes. John Mulaney would probably be one of the ghosts sooner than Professor Egan, but that, I still think that's a good pick. He just has such a cartoony voice. He does. I feel like if you can like get Tim Curry, Curry, if you can get Tim Curry to do his uh, Professor Calamitous voice, he could probably be Egad. Do you guys know Professor Calamitous? Yes. Yeah, I do. Okay, I want to make sure. It's Mr. Finbar Calamitous. The man who couldn't finish a donut. That's right, he couldn't finish anything. The world will be, um... Um... Who do you want to play Wario besides Charles Martinet? Uh, Charles Martinet. I know a lot of people say Danny DeVito. Yeah, that would, that would be a go-to. Yeah, that's a good answer. It, it would be. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. Show me Danny DeVito. Bing. Danny and then Danny DeVito Mario. tweets out, What the heck is a Wario? Yeah. What, 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 what is a Mario? <laughs> what, a, what a Mario, bro. He, no, he, he, he would join, right? Because Charlie Day is Luigi, right? Yeah, and, and you know, I'm sure, I'm sure if Illumination called him up, he would be willing to do it. Wait, 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 no, uh, uh, the, the guy from Seinfeld. Oh, I don't remember his name, I know who you're talking about. The one that always gets into arguments with him? Um, yes, I think. Honestly, John Mulaney could probably play a Waluigi. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Danny DeVito and <laughs> John Mulaney. Danny DeVito oh my and John God. Mulaney would be such a good combination. That is an interesting combo. Uh, but Jason Alexander could also do Wario. That was the, who I was thinking of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are we there yet? Oh, I should not have started. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We are, are we there not, yet? we're only about a quarter of the way through. Uh, in, theory, in theory, if we were able to repeat our exact conversation verbatim three more times, we would be there. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's just recap. I'm, I'm calling the back of the bus. What's your favorite letter? What's your least favorite letter? What's a game you like that no one else likes? What's a game you don't like that everyone else likes? Uh, Do you just have a list? No, I'm just trying to go off of memory. Uh... Line Rider, oh. can't play that, can't look Very at that. What the heck is Superman ice cream? Uh, fast food restaurants tier list, cereal tier list, story about the time I got nominated for Prom King, uh, David, not an Cotton order. joined, Cotton left. Uh, the Habit is not a fast food place, that's more a fast casual. What else did we talk about? That's Stuff a fast food place. And things. things. Line Rider? Oh. Wait, I mentioned that. I mentioned that. 
If if In and Out is a fast food place, the Habit's a fast food place. No, I don't. I don't put them in the same because the Habit doesn't always have a drive-through. The In and Out In and Out was founded on a drive-through. Well, would you say Panera's fast food? No, that's probably the same tier. That's probably like. But they have a drive-through. Not the ones near me, dude. (laughs) I mean, not every Panera has a drive-through, but they have drive-throughs. Like, there's one California pizza kitchen that has a drive-thru. Does that make it a fast food place? Yeah, if you can get your pizza <laughs> in 10 minutes or less. Okay. Right. It's called fast food if you can receive your food fast. Uh, it doesn't have to have a drive-thru. I figure any restaurant should give your food quickly. All right, so if McDonald's is backed up, is it still fast food? Uh, yes, it is. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Because they're founded on the idea... Of, but, of that drive-thru. So and I know, I, know McDonald's was, I know McDonald's was not originally built with a drive-thru, but like it's built on that idea that like you get your burger in like less than a minute. Okay, so is Swenson's fast food? I if anyone has one of those near you. I don't know what that is. A what? Swenson's? A what? Swanson? It's a like the Swenson's. Like the Joe's Swenson? last name? The it's, Swenson's? I, I feel you're just not doing this on purpose. No, no, I, I generally... Oh, sorry, uh, I, no, 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 no. I think she said the Simpsons. I'm like, okay, now you're doing this on purpose. No, well, I, I said Swanson's, and I, I'm like... That was on purpose, I admit. Uh, Swanson's is a uh, is a restaurant where you eat in your car. Oh, oh so like You're, Sonic. So it's how fast you get your food. Because Sonic's is a fast food place. You know what? Faster than most McDonald's. All right, then it's a fast food place. Like I said, it doesn't have to have a drive-thru. You just gotta get your food fast. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, I guess. That's why it's called. It's not called I drive-thru. Just, I, just don't, I know, I know, I know, but I don't, <laughs> I don't put the hat in the same tier. Grant, it's just not a drive-thru. It's a drive-in restaurant. That's true too. What else did we talk about? Oh yeah, and then we talked about calling the Mario phone number. Charles is gonna put an Easter egg in his animation. Who would you cast as? Professor Egad, who would you cast as Wario? Who would you cast as Waluigi? I think we're all caught up to speed. Darn it, that only took like two minutes. We could talk about the years on the odometer. Nope, 2265. We already did that. Yeah, we did that. Oh, I can give my hot take since I never answered the question. What's the game that everyone loves that I don't like? Yeah, what's that? Uh, so as a person who loves farming sims, Stardew Valley. Oh, you don't like Stardew Valley? Did Nara say, did Nara say, uh... Oh yeah, I guess it is huh? Yeah, I never got the answer either of those. Nara, what's a game you like that no one else? Likes? I know, I know Nara's answer. Yeah, what's your yeah. answer? Well, it's a little, well, it's a funny game called Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World, or Night of Ratatos in Japanese. Rather, you like that game or you don't funny. like that game? I like, I, I, I sort of have like a love hate relationship with the game. Okay. He, he likes the game, but he admits that it's trash. Okay, yeah. so that's a game you he like that no one else likes. Now, what's a game that yeah. you dislike that everyone else likes? You know, that's actually kind of a, that's actually kind of a tough one. What uh? So it's a game that game that I don't like. Yeah. It's a game that I don't like. Okay, so okay, so uh, genuinely, Sonic Heroes. You like Sonic Heroes? Okay. I feel like I feel like oh. picking Sonic is too safe an answer. And can I say? Uh, or actually, you know what? Or actually, you know what? Better yet, Kingdom Hearts: Chain of Memories. All right, let's there do that. You go. Now, Charles, that game sucks. I'm, I'm gonna say uh, Fire Emblem Fates. Oh. <laughs> Charles, this is the topic of a game that everyone uh, loves, but you hate. No, I already gave mine. Oh, okay. I'm on the opposite one. Okay, I was gonna say. You dislike if everyone else likes it. I thought people didn't like Fates. No, I like Fates. You everyone like else Fates. hates it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I understand. Good answer. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Also, to upset probably the one Trails fans in your audience, uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2 is the worst game in the entire saga. I don't care what anyone says. Cold Steel. Like Cold Steel the Hedgehog. (laughs) I knew it! (laughs) Why is the steel cold? (laughs) You guys are are terminally online. Thanks. Thank you. So are you. Yeah, but I, 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 didn't, I didn't initially go to Cold Steel the Hedgehog when I spiked think of Cold Steel. Why not? I, I didn't. Thank you, Nara. Well, I don't know who Cold Steel the Hedgehog is. I was just asking why is the Cold Steel. They, they, they called it Cold Steel because the battle theme cool. of the first game was the glint of Cold Steel. And they said, that sounds pretty cool for a name, so let's call it the Trails of Cold Steel. 
when the Japanese name is translates to Trails in the Flash. <laughs> like the the superhero? As in a flash of light, I guess. I don't know. I just thought Cold Steel is, is a better name than Trails in the Flash. Who is in the kitchen with Dinah? <laughs> uh, you are, Charles. You're, 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 you're cooking with her. Yeah, you guys got any more questions? Yeah, you're sure they really never really answered that one. Why is, why is someone in the kitchen with Dinah? I answered your question about dialing with a carrot and why do your feet smell if they don't have a nose? Okay, but why is someone in the kitchen with Dinah? Two out of three ain't bad, Nara. <laughs> why is someone in the kitchen with Dinah? Uh, it's a cookbook. It's a cookbook. Nara, hmm. do you have any other painstaking questions you wish to ask? Mm. You know, on the topic, it reminds me that when I was in, like, kindergarten and first grade at the school library, I'd always ch check out the cookbooks. Yeah. Did cook any? I, I did, actually. My parents let me oh. do a lot of the easy baking stuff. Hey. Cool. Like making a, a corn like cornbread with corn in it. Real. That, that was something. Yep. Uh, I, I guess yeah. so. Cool. Why is the bus red? Yo, know, I assume it's just to give it some sort of differential visual flair as the HUD compared to the background. I guess. It or they stole it from Britain. I guess it could have very easily been blue. I guess you're right. Or they stole it from, from the British. The British. Yeah, it's a double decker bus. Uh, oh wow! Wow. Ah, a lot of empty seats. The Mega Bus is a double decker bus. It actually is. It's a you know, I've, I've 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 only used Greyhound. I've never used Mega Bus. Most people sit on the second floor because the first floor is for like handicapped and whatnot. Yeah, it's a nice. I, you know what? After my horrible Greyhound trip, I don't think I could I could even do Mega Bus though. So. I I uh, I've taken the Mega Bus a fair share of times under the mindset that I gotta do these trips while I'm young and can tolerate it. Kind of why I'm playing Desert Bus now because I don't think I'll. I'll be able to do this in like 10 years. Listen, when I went to when I went to uh New York City on the Greyhound, my sciatica acted up at age 20 or whatever the age early 20s. Well, how long's the ride? It was like a 12 hour bus ride. It doesn't stop anywhere in between. There was one stop at the 8 hour mark. Okay, cuz even the mega bus stops pretty much like directly halfway through. You go you do 4 hours, it takes a little pit stop and mm -hmm. uh and get like food. There's like two fast food places. It's like a Wendy's and something else, and then there's like a gas station. And then... we, we we stopped at a pit stop. I got a giant can of Surge and a shitty slice of pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Making up. Wait, how are you gonna do your Japan trip then, Gamma? My sciatica doesn't bother me anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. Plus, I guess on a like, you can had to knock on wood there for a second. You can technically stand up on a bus, but on a plane, it's a little more acceptable to like stand up and stretch for like a minute. Uh, especially on a plane. Unless the seatbelt lights are on. Uh oh. And then you get yelled at. Uh, yeah, I mean, then you get yelled at for no reason. I mean, well, there is a reason. The seatbelt lights are on. Oh well, yeah. If, yeah, if yeah. I'm on a, if I'm on a plane in Japan, I'll just take some of those meds that knock you out the entire trip. That's fair. For me, if my if my back pain is acting up. For me, I think that was like a. 12 hour flight so add like three or four hours for you mm-hmm yeah I, i'm i'm hoping my sciatica doesn't act up it's been about you know what, no, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna jinx it not even gonna jinx it well isn't that a 16 hour flight was it 16 hours i don't recall it taking 16 hours i want to say because like I, I i flew to uh when i was younger i flew to the japan or i flew to japan because it was a a layover trip to the Philippines. Had to fly to Japan, then the Philippines. The, uh, that flight alone was sixteen hours. The average flight for me would be seventeen to eighteen hours. I feel like it's twelve. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I did that flight not too long ago. I thought it was only twelve. Maybe it is was 16. it was it a straight Maybe shot or <laughs> was, it, was it a straight shot or did you have to do um, uh, any um, layovers? No, straight shot, LAX to uh, LAX to yeah. Tokyo. Japan yeah. Airlines. Yeah, I'm not getting a straight shot. Okay. Every ticket I see has like a three-hour layover. Yeah, you're you're gonna have to. 
Because LAX is the international airport. You're, you're none of just... none of these stop at LAX. Okay, well, even so, like the five or six international airports of, mm -hmm. of United States, it's LAX, then there's Texas, then there's Chicago, then there's Wait. New York, and then... There's Hopkins. There's JFK, Florida. specifically. Yeah, JFK, and then there's probably Florida. No, there's Hopkins, too. Where's Hopkins? Cleveland. That's That's an international airport? Hopkins International Airport, yeah. Like they'll, you can go get on like a flight to Europe from there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I'm Which is sure. why I'm now wondering why isn't it a straight line to Japan then? I don't know then. Seattle, or you know what? Seattle might be international. Maybe. Yeah, uh, Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Yep, that was all right. All right. But otherwise, like <laughs> those are the ones. LAX being one of the most popular ones, which is why it's always a nightmare to drive around there. What does X stand for in LAX? Not sure. Pretty sure they just assigned that letter to it because none of the other airports had it. So it wouldn't be confused with something in Louisiana or something. Could have been LAP. Although, in the truest sense, Charles, I think the X is supposed to stand for international, even though there is oh. no X in the word international. That's like when X stands for the word crossing. Well, that one makes sense, because the, the two lines are perpendicularly crossing. So that makes sense to you? Okay, then let me try this on for size. Why does N-O stand for number? Nober. No. Nober. Number. Well, why does non applicable have a slash between it? So, Because otherwise, N-A is just North America. Or negative affinity. Hey. Or not available. Or, nah. 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 <laughs> yeah, put yeah. it in caps. It's like, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, nah. Oh, it's Latin. Oh. Numero. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. I know it's like, etc. then. Yeah. ATC, etc. Yeah. Latin, such a cool dead language. It's interesting how many languages derive from it, but yet. But it couldn't survive by itself. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Shoulder. Yes, sir. I gotta go into the bathroom. You can go. I gotta sit here and drive, though. Okay, sure. I'm gonna sleep in the seat. Yeah, uh. I probably should crawl to the back of the bus and take a nap. All right, you can go to sleep now. He's yeah. gonna crawl in the back of the bus. Bye. 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 The roof. And bye, me too. <laughs> oh, are you leaving too? Yeah. Bye. 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 No, I'm crawling to the back of the bus to sleep. That's the, those seat, those cushions are cozy. Yeah, they're not bad. Okay, good night, Gamma. Good night, Gamma. Good night. What a nice young lady. <laughs> I'll wake <laughs> up eventually on the way back to LA. <laughs> not driving back to LA. This is a one-way trip, dude. I'm not playing this game again. <laughs> dude, it's it's an eight-hour game, right? Because four hours is driving to Vegas no, no, no. and four it's hours eight, is driving it's back. It's eight hours to get a point. This is an eight-hour drive. Well, yeah, it's an eight-hour drive because it's four hours to get to Vegas and four hours to get back. I hope so. I hope I'm freaking done in an hour and a half. It takes four hours to drive from, like, Los Angeles. I think this starts in, like, San Diego or something. Someplace much further away. Sorry, mm. I don't know what to tell you. I'm on the road for a long time, dude. Why are you driving in the desert, then? The desert doesn't start till Nevada. I guess it depends on what route you take. If I'm on, like, why, a, a, why one of those, you... like... There's a lot of desert in California. And why don't you have an E in your name? Because <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. Could have been Yosh exclamation point. I did not consider that. That's usually what I do when I can only fit like five letters. I'm, I was surprised that it let me enter this many. What is it? Sega? Sega CD? Sega Saturn? What Sega is this CD. One? Sega CD. Yeah. 
Sega CD. Sega CD, let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. This is the, the one game, the one system where you can play Trap House. You know, House? there was, yeah. Sega CD? Yeah, yeah Sega CD. There was, uh, Sega did try to work with Microsoft to make it backwards compatible with the Dreamcast. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine how crazy of a time it would be if the Xbox one or the Xbox Series X were backwards compatible. Sega it would be crazy if Sega fused with Xbox and Sony and Nintendo fused. Dude. Like, if, if those two companies, or four companies, actually went into fruition with their partnerships, you know? Yeah, there is, uh, you can use, like, a Sega Genesis controller on an Atari, though, because the input's the same. <laughs> so that's, oh, really? like that. that's, that's kind of funny. Yeah, you know, it was, like, back in the day, they all just kind of, I don't want to say, like, mooch, but, like, that's just what technology was. Wait, so does the, the, does the NSO Sega Genesis, is that compatible with, uh, Atari? No, because that, um, that's still technically a wireless controller that's con that connects to your Switch through micro USB. Oh, okay. That doesn't have like a natural oh. cable coming out of it. But you could probably get a converter. Well, yeah, but at that point, why wouldn't you just like <laughs> get a Genesis controller? <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, you could. Buy, buy yeah, a Genesis buy a whole Genesis. Genesis. I don't think buying a Genesis controller is that expensive. I think it's pretty cheap. You can probably get a is good, it? You can probably get a decent Genesis controller for like thirty bucks. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen a few being sold for that being sold for at least that much. Because the, the controllers aren't nearly as valuable as the games. Or, or hell, heck, even a whole Genesis. Yeah, like, the, buying an extra controller, like, people are trying to get rid of those sometimes. I miss Sonic Spinball. It was the worst, best game I ever played. Well, you can play it on <laughs> NSO. Sonic Sp Oh, yeah, that's right! I can play Sonic hey. Spinball! Yeah. It's an awful game! Well, we can play it. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, re it's a really bad pinball game. When are we it just has Sonic Dreamcast? attached to it. When are we getting Dreamcast? Hey, oh, Sonic Adventure. Yeah, hey. Crazy Taxi, let's go. I have to beer be really quick. That's fine. Okay. Well, Nara, Madison, it looks like it is us three. Madison won't be RB, she's hungry. Uh, Nara, it looks like it's just you and me. How are you holding up? I'm holding up fine. I'm drawing a, uh, I'm drawing a certain dog that you, that you seem to have beef with. Certain dog? Yeah, a certain dog. Certain dog, uh, certain dog beef tuber. I don't have a, I don't have beef with a dog. I love dogs. A certain dog beef tuber. V tuber? Well, why didn't you start with that? V tuber is the, is the, is the key noun in this sentence. Dog should not be used as an adjective in this case. V2, are you talking about Corone? Yes. Yeah, Corone, look. She was fine until she started stepping on my turf wearing a Yoshi hat. <laughs> Corone, I don't have as much going for me as probably you do, okay? You laugh once and you get like one million views and everything, alright? I laugh once and people call me annoying, okay? So can I at least have my Yoshi hat, Corone? Corone, for those that don't know, is, is a very popular VTuber. Probably the most popular one, right? And she started wearing yeah, a Yoshi in, hat. It was in Japan. Yeah, she started wearing a Yoshi or hat. And I... I'm known as the guy with the Yoshi hat, but it's not like I own Yoshi. So it's not like I can stop her. But now, like, I got nothing going for me. Now I'm just a guy with the Yoshi hat rather than the guy with the Yoshi hat. So obviously I'm jealous. Not afraid to say it. It just bums me out that I I've lost my novelty and I need to come up with something else. But it's too late now because if I start rebranding, no one's gonna know who I am. I mean, I think she kind of I think she kind of dropped it early on. She she's in the bathroom for Sonic now. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. She's already got a lot going for her, so she doesn't need a Yoshi hat too. I'm glad <laughs> she likes Yoshi. I just wish. Was she, uh... I think that's now she's like real, she's like a really big fan of Sonic. Like she loves like she loves Sonic. Sonic's cool, dude. I like Sonic. I like its music. I like Sonic Adventure too. I like Sonic Generations. My favorite level in Sonic Generations is coincidentally the one that's based on Sonic Adventure 2. Good old City Escape. 
and then in the 3DS version oh, they gave you see. Radical Highway. Nice. Yeah, see, I was gonna, I was just, I was just gonna say, uh, 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 Radical uh, Highway uh, just for the hell of it. There. Do you guys mind making the conversation for the next couple minutes while I relax for a sec? Sure. All right. Era. Yeah. Era. Why is the sky blue? Well, why is the sky blue? Well, let me well, let me try and pull out All that, right, Nara. Let me try pull out that long, convoluted answer. Nara, who's your favorite waifu from Mario? I know the answer, but does the audience know the answer? Well, audience, the, the answer may come as a shock to you. My favorite Mario waifu is Daisy. Bowser. Ba yeah, Bow yeah, Bowser. Look, <laughs> yeah, Bowser. Look, at that, look at that hunk of a Look at that hunk of a turtle. Can look at that hunk of a turtle. <laughs> Look at that hunk of a Koopa, man. <laughs> are regular Koopas still just called Koopa? In Japan, they are not. They have different names. It's like Noko Noko or something. Ah. Uh, I wonder if the name Noko Noko based off the Suchi Noko, the little snake guys that disappear. I'm not <laughs> sure. But that is why he is dubbed King Koopa in, in, in English. The King of Koopa. That's technically his Japanese name is King Koopa. It's like his title. Yeah. Yeah, King, yeah, King Koopa, Koopa King. It 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 it, it fluctuates. <clears throat> is Emma almost here? Yes, yeah, she should almost be here. Probably in oh, just two minutes. She's gonna be so excited to watch whatever this is. And then she'll tune out like five minutes later and probably start playing Beat Saber. <laughs> you know what I appreciate? I'm a boss. What's that? The the fact that that pine tree spins clockwise and then it goes counterclockwise. That's true. Goes... It's, not just, it's not just like a repeating animation of it spinning it spinning endlessly in one direction. Yeah. That, that, that is fun. I'm, I'm glad they gave us an odometer, frankly. They did not have to do that. It could have just been the timer. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad they gave us this. And, you know, if I, if, if I let go of the gas, the, the speed will start going down. So, mm. so let's not, let's not do that. Thank goodness I, I can't. I think at one point they actually make it. What's up? No, I was just asking, like, I think at one point someone... Someone actually made like an uh, made like an AI drive this bus for for this game. I'm I'm sure it exists. I'm I'm sure it wouldn't be too difficult to program a bot for this because instead of telling a bot to hold down the left button, you'd say have it press the button press the left button every like ten seconds. Yeah, you got you could absolutely make a like a, a AI for this. But, you know, no. why not just make a self-driving car while you're at it? Um, there is self-driving cars right now. They're working on it. In the current times. Yes. There are cars that are capable of self-driving functions. But there is there is no car that can perfectly drive, like, 90% of roads. It's so far self-driving, as I understand it, is designated to tests and highways only. Yeah, hi highways, uh, highways and freeways being the main one, um, but they they can't do it on like streets. Yeah, like I can't I can't use a self driving function in downtown Los Angeles, which is where I would primarily like to use it. <laughs> That's a well, shame. What I heard, and I, I heard this a long time ago, uh, there were people trying to pitch electronic roads. They're like tiles that you put on a road instead of instead of like pavement or concrete. And what that does is it allows people to like send messages onto a road. So like if there's a car accident, it like draws a new line around the car accident and tells you where to go and stuff like that. And people oh, are I saying see. if you have an electric road like that, in theory, it's a lot easier to develop an electric car. And I think 
there are a couple of cities in America that have adopted electric roads. But I don't I couldn't tell you which ones and I couldn't tell you how common they are. But I actually I think they might be onto something. If you get more places to adopt an electric road, electric cars become more feasible. But like Good luck telling downtown Los Angeles to scrap all of its roads in favor of these electric tiles. Because you'd have to shut down streets for so long, and so many people would throw a freaking fit. But if I had, if I had something my similar way, to that. What's up? I was, saying, I was saying, I seen something similar to that. Like, there are like, I think it was like a German, like a sort of, I think it was either German or Hungarian thing, hmm. but... Electric roads would actually just charge your electric car as you drove down it. That's interesting. Yeah, I so believe. It, it would. Obviously, if we have, if America had a budget, I would love to incorporate those into some more places. But it's it's a big ask, and it's probably easier. It's it's not probably. It is much easier. Much easier said than done. But it's an interesting concept. Really an interesting concept. But yeah, self-driving cars, we're, we're still a ways away from that being completely feasible. We were supposed to have flying cars like 20 years ago. Actually, talking about technology, did you know, um, I forgot where exactly, but California is getting a, uh, they already kind of mapped out the bullet train for California. From, from Los Angeles to Vegas? Uh, it goes deeper down than just Los Angeles. But yeah, Ooh. Los Angeles should be one of those stops, I believe. Yeah, my mom was briefly talking to me about that, and I'm totally in favor of that. You know me, I was in favor of having the train go from uh, Los Angeles to San Francisco. And the further south that we have it is Bakersfield. So all we really needed to do was make a train go from Bakersfield to Los Angeles, and we, we never got it. But having something that goes to Vegas, like I will... I, Charles, if that gets built and it's not super expensive, you can just visit. Yeah, we probably, can visit each other. I would probably go to Vegas like every other weekend. <laughs> not, not even. I'm like, you're showing. Let's record a video. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't. Even, I don't need to use my Titan One dongle anymore. Like, I could. You could just come to my house. <laughs> let's see. Um, I'm actually curious. So I'm looking it up because I heard Emma talk about it the other day. Uh. How far out is it? Is it like 2025? Uh, okay, so it's uh, at 2027 from what Four like. years! 2026 to 2027. I hope to be living in Washington by then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. uh, right. But it looks like it's going to go from San Bernardino to L.A. to Vegas. San Bernardino to Yo Schillerville? That's the old Yoshiller film. Got it. San Bernardino, isn't that like... Isn't that like... Oh. Name? <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. <laughs> I mean, it's close. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, it's it's east of LA. I was going to say, it, it, that sounds eastern. Because you start going west, that brings you to like Santa Barbara and stuff. Yeah. Well, cool. I can just go to LA anytime. Yeah. You can Instead just... of having to do a four-hour drive, we could take the train for like an hour. I mean, if it means much, the flight's only like an hour. But yeah. Well, yeah, but this is probably cheaper. It's probably cheaper and easier, and you get a view. You just go fast. Yeah, man. Just I'm... turn into Sanic. If they have like a monthly pass, where it's like a monthly pass for a hundred bucks a month, I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> Even if I don't go to even if I don't go to Vegas at all that month, like I'll I'll, I'll buy it. Cause the, the idea of being able to spontaneously go, man, I need a mental health day. Let me go to Vegas, and then I'm there like an hour or two later. Go to M and M's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get, get me get me get me my M and M's. Maybe watch a show. And then come yes, home. Sir. Yeah, what's up? I do have bad news for you though. What, what's that? They don't have crispy M and M's at M and M World. I know, I know, Aww. I know, I know. It's I'm sad. So I told you guys I wrote an email to M and M company. <laughs> I I I don't think my audience knows this. Okay, I don't have a copy of what I wrote, but I'm sure someone at the M and M's company, Mars Candy Company, whoever owns them, uh, has a copy of my email. I went through the customer service department. 
and I wrote this over the top, <laughs> like generous email. And I said, to my dearest Eminem employee, it has come to my intention that crispy M&Ms have been removed from the marketplace. It is a shame, as these delicate <laughs> candies were the most gracious thing to ever make contact with the taste buds among my tongue. I wrote, I wrote it like it was tra a, a transcendentalist piece of literature, all right? And it was like, please, allow other humans to experience the same opportunity that I had when I first made contact with crispy M&Ms. And I, I wrote it like that, and they just wrote back like, hey, you know, M&M's is always looking to see what new opportunities we can create. And the truth of the matter is that crispy M&M's were not providing the results we had expected. And so they were removed. And I'm like, darn it. Because now they're trying out fudge brownie and sugar cookie. And it's like, okay, well. Yeah. Like, like uh, I, I do like uh, fudge brownie, but I, I'm like, I know that you yourself wouldn't like it. I, yeah, look. Everything I like always gets taken away from me. Orange high C got taken away for a while. I mean, it's Ore bad. Oreo cake just got taken <laughs> away for a while. I mean, it's bad. For a while. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping we get a, original chicken crispers at Chili's back. Because those got taken away. And now now my crispy M&M's are removed again. They came back initially in 2015. And then they, they took them away in 2022. So hopefully... We'll get them back in like four years, or maybe even less. Hopefully, hopefully less. I like the way you think, Nara. Hopefully, it's less. Until then, nothing. You know, it's crazy that there's the M and M store right there, and then across the street is the is the Hershey store. Hershey store at New York. And I I know it's it's gonna sound ridiculous to say, but now that they got rid of crispy M and M's, like what? I may as well just go to the Hershey store. <laughs> Get, get myself some other products there. Because they got, like, cookies and stuff there. So. Uh -huh. I, I do love Las Vegas. I just don't... I don't drink or gamble or smoke. But I, I love Las Vegas. I just... I love the atmosphere. I like energy. I like big cities. How about that? Big cities, Vegas. Haha. -ha. All those touristy areas, I like those. And I mean, I, I've seen Penn and Teller, they perform at the Rio, and it was pretty freaking excellent. I have, I have, uh, I have pictures with them, although I can't post them online because it's got family members in it. Mm. Understandable, have an SD. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Something that completely slipped my mind. Was it about Vegas or the bullet train? Uh, let me look at what I was looking at so I can see if I can remember it. Take your time, we got five hours. Hopefully I can remember four, five hours past. Hopefully you can remember in the next minute or two, but alright. That's true. Oh, 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 big PSA, big PSA. What's up? Um, this is with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There is a bug currently going on. This isn't what I remembered, but I just saw it. Uh, if you... Apparently, there is a bug that completely deletes your save data if you purchase the new DLC. <gasps> or uh, slash, slash connecting your game with Pokemon Go and the Vivion feature. Oh, okay. So, well, I, I think if you do both... Yeah. There's a chance for the game to straight up delete itself off your seat. Uh, oh my god! They get it to get deleted. I know it's awful. It's it's a huge problem, and and I'm like, oh my god, I'm I'm so lucky that I didn't download the DLC yet. But that sucks, you know. Yeah, I, I'm like scared. Yeah, like. <laughs> Just wait for I, I have a new story. I have a new story for you. <laughs> uh, a lot of people's Wii U systems are now just bricked. Oh yeah, I heard. Because people have some, some people who haven't used their Wii U in like you know, three plus years. And I'm now, actually now it's like if they try to turn it on and they just kind of get like stuck at a loading screen forever. 
To be yeah, fair, yeah. the Wii U was one of the consoles that bricked if you tried booting up Mighty Number no. 9. Well, do you remember, like, when that console came out, you had to update your system? And the update yeah. had a chance of bricking your system? Yeah, yeah, I remember. You remember that? <laughs> like, I didn't get my Wii U right away, but I do remember the horror stories of that. Yeah, that's why you can't release a system that requires a day one update. Like, I get it, you're trying to get it on the shelves before, or for that Black Friday. Which is exactly what Nintendo did, and that comes at the cost of oh, but like half the processing information needs to come separately, which means you got you you're required to have an internet connection, which some people who buy these consoles aren't gonna have. Maybe in the day in today's day and age, that's that's seen as like oh well that's not our demographic, but you know I'm I'm trying to I, I'm trying to like convey the idea that you might buy this for a kid who doesn't have a way to have a steady internet connection for that game. Yeah. Game. Or even have internet at all, you know? Right. You know, with something like the Switch, it's easier because it's like, oh, well, I'll just go to Starbucks <laughs> or something. Uh, but mm. the, the Wii U, or, you know, like a, a big console, like this is true for like Xbox or PlayStation as well. Yeah, you, uh, you, need, you need a TV you, or a monitor of some yeah, kind. Like, not everyone has uh, internet connection for that stuff, which is why I'm always against the idea that these consoles would need to like check... Do, do like a system check every hour or something like do you remember when the xbox one was first announced and they oh yeah it? they had some weird online drm thing yeah and that all of them were gonna like all of them were gonna force force you to use your connect or something like that as well and yeah it was, like, and then like the connect's always listening i was gonna check like every hour or every other hour to make sure you were still online and then they had to go back on their word and it's stuff like that that makes me think that's a bad idea and it's like, oh, some people can't have that. We, we, we're we're fortunate, okay? I'm fortunate that I've got a wired internet connection to my computer. I pay for it. But I'm fortunate that I can have it. Not everyone has that luxury. A lot of people bought a Wii and, like, can't play online games because they just wanted to play... They wanted to play Wii Sports. Or they wanted to play, uh... Super Mario Galaxy or whatever. And so that's why Nintendo released a Wii that can't have online. That's what that little red one is. But then... In, I don't know. I just I'm kind of arguing a, a mute point because companies have gone back on it. But that's why I think like requiring online to play something that isn't an online mode for that reason I think it's a bad idea. Mhm. Mm so. All this to say, uh, the Wii, Wii U systems are bricked. Or a lot of people have a bricked Wii U. Mine should be fine because I just used it like a week ago to to do like a little promotional video. Oh, I got my screwed. <laughs> Maybe I should okay. launch it. Yeah. I have the Wind Waker one. Ooh. Same. Actually, I don't even remember where I put it. Oh, well. All right. I guess I'll never play Xenoblade Chronicles X and Nintendo Land and ever Kirby, again. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Rainbow Curse. <laughs> oh. Or what Dr. other... Dr. Luigi. <laughs> uh, Dr. Luigi. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Luigi. Dr. Luigi. Luigi. Mario Kart 8, we use battle mode. Oh, yeah, where you can drive backwards on a track. Yeah. <laughs> we thought that hey, was Mario, a Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, so you can play the... the oh, Smash the Tour! You can play Smash Tour, you can play the Pyrosphere with Ridley as a boss. And you can play, uh... You, you get, um... There's the Donkey Kong stage where you shoot back and forth in the background of the foreground. Oh, yeah. Which I'm surprised they didn't make it back in Ultimate. Yeah, the leading theory is that it doesn't... It wouldn't work with Stage Morph. So they got rid of it. Oh. It is weird that they got rid of the, the Yoshi stage, the Wooly World stage. That's weird. I'm still trying to remember what I wanted to remember. It had nothing to do with a game system bricking. I do not know. That was before we talked about the Wii bricking. Capcom Presents is coming up this week. Mario Day coming up. Mm, hello, no. hello, 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 Welcome, Platt. I am playing Desert Bus. You are welcome to join and watch if you would like. 
We are talking about anything and everything that you want. Please give us some conversational pieces. I've got to play this game for like six more hours. Six hours? Well, I'm almost in Vegas. Platt, do you know how this game works? I do not. Do you know what this game is? I do not. Platt, this game is Desert Bus. It's, it's an unreleased game, but an official game where you drive to Las Vegas for eight hours. Huh. And it, the bus slowly veers to the right. So every once in a while, I have to press left. But I can't just hold it down, because then the bus will drive too far to the left and crash. Oh. <laughs> this is the, and this is, this is the whole game. And you can't pause. You are literally driving the whole... I'm driving to Vegas. And it has... It has... For, for the sincerest way of saying it, it has drift. <laughs> <laughs> So how's everyone? How's I'm everyone great Tuesday? now that you're here. Aw. Yeah. But we're, the reason we're in this chat is because I'm recording, so people can leave and join as they please. Ah, uh, okay. You no, want. you're allowed to stay here yeah, if you, you want. you can stay. I'm just letting you know that whatever you say is going to be documented on video for thousands, hopefully thousands of people to watch. Okay. So don't go in telling people your credit card information or your locker number or your... Or your IP address or anything like that. <laughs> More importantly, don't go peep, don't go around telling people my credit card information or my locker number or my IP address. Even though I asked for it, like even though I asked for it, like what two two and a half hours ago. Yeah, I just spouted sixteen numbers and hoped for the best. <laughs> I know it's not mine. I, so the very say, least I know what the last four digits of mine are. So. I will say, however, that you should subscribe to Yoshiller. Thanks, man. I'm hoping that people who have watched this video are already my subscribers. Emma? You want to talk about YouTube for a second? Emma's here! Emma's here! Emma, there, there you're on air! <laughs> Hello, Emma! <laughs> we're listening to your Shiller FM as we drive to Las Vegas. Vegas, Vegas! How are you doing, Emma? Uh, I'm doing good. Thanks for picking me up from the bus stop. Your audio is coming out of Charles's microphone, but Emma's self is in the call. Oh yeah, you're right, wait, I got this. <laughs> I got this, homie. I got this. What, what we got? I forgot how many, I forgot how many hours were we in? We're like, there you go. three hours in. I got like five hours to go. That, that should work. Yeah. Yo, Charles and yeah. Emma! Well, Emma's yeah. is still here. <laughs> well, that's the only way she could hear. Hi, I'm, uh... Hi, well, I'm well, she could ju I could just see this. Yeah. I, got, I got this, I got this, I got this. Okay, she got it. Are you also just gonna call it Charles and Emma? No. Emma and Charles? No. Just Let Emma. me... How do I change it? Okay. Uh, server profile. I they this. changed it. I got it. <laughs> Emma's shadow. Not Emma, but you are Emma! That's the biggest lie you could've made! No! Wait, here, I'll, 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 I'll change it. But I'm Charles and Emma, so I, that that can't be me. Emma's ears. There you go. The Emma listening feed. Emma's ears. And by she calling it Emma's shit. ears, now what? it's actually closer to Through Charles. Self. Yay. <laughs> so Emma, uh, you do you have any stories to tell or any questions to ask? We're gonna be here for five more hours, so honestly, um, any sort of conversational piece would be very useful right about now. No wait. I guess let me let me run this info again quickly to Emma and Platt since yeah, they weren't here. Uh, this is important information for Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, are, are, oh, are you gonna talk about the thing that they brought up in regards to? So there, there is a thing that if you've downloaded the DLC and or connected your game with Pokemon Go, uh, there is a chance for your game to delete the save data. Okay, so you are talk you are talking about what I think you're talking about. Yeah? It's a it's a it's a really bad bug, and Game Freak has to fix it. They're not going to though. Because that's horrible. Well, something like that well, they they do have to. They didn't buy the DLC right away. Yeah, they Emma, something like that they will have to. They'll they'll address it in due time. Yeah, and I and I did get the DLC, but I did not connect my game with Pokemon Go just yet. Like I've been meaning to, so thank well, God I didn't actually. Better, better hold off now, because I feel like if you do both, it's like 
Kind yeah, of I'm not gonna bother right now. Like the only reason I would have connected oh. my game to Pokemon Go anyway is to get the Vivillia, the, the Vivillon patterns. Vivillon, Vivillon, Vivillon patterns. Yeah, that that's a game-breaking bug. They have to fix it. They sure it's do. It's really bad. It better get it because it's a bug Pokemon. Hmm. It is a bug Pokemon. Oh, speaking of bugs, Emma, at, at, at some point, like in an hour or two, a bug will splat on this windshield. <laughs> that is the That's only, the only form of activity I have in this game. I mean, every once in a while, there's like a stop sign or a cactus. But, uh, that, that's it. This is the whole game, Emma. I want you to know... Or the occasional I, tumbleweed. I want you to know I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm not even halfway yet. Well, now you have us, or me, because these guys have been here. Yeah. I just got here. I mean, can we tag other people, make them join the call, see if they have their two cents they want to share? Heck yeah. Okay. You, I can't look at the chat. Also, hi, Nara. And Brenda, even though she's not uh, here. Yeah, where's uh, Madison? She said hungry. Why to get food? Oh, I remembered what I was going to say. What's up? What? So, Michael V. Jordan recommended an anime list. Yeah. Uh, I saw that tweet. He he recommended five animes to get into anime. What are yeah. And he listed five of the longest animes ever. Is so that means none of them are One Punch Man. He he listed One Piece, God, Naruto, man. Bleach, Dragon Ball, and Hunter Hunter. Okay. And so those are like some of the longest animes out there. He listed like, the, they're, they're good. Let me tell you what. But they're did. long. He listed the five. Probably most famous, okay? Most, yeah, most popular Those are not anime. the ones you, like, those are in the truest sense, like, anime. Like, other shows are, and manga are, like, a spot inspired by them. They aspire to be them. Those are not what I would say, oh, you want to get into anime? Let me just yeah. say, like, some of the most intensive some watches. Some of the ever. longest, yeah, some of the longest like, watches ever. If you want to get into anime, like, I actually would recommend One Punch Man because that caught on with an American demographic. Like, there are people who or, didn't normally watch anime who watched One Punch Man. Or, or even Death Note. Death Note. Death Anything Death that's... Death Note. 26, 26 episodes or fewer, those are the ones to recommend to get into. Yeah, and not even just, like, episode length, necessarily. I, but, I'm like, more so just, like, simple, straightforward plots that aren't necessarily building up to something. Now, One, One Punch Man kind of is, but, like, you can watch the first season and it's fine. Uh, you know, like, just, just a simple, like... Beginning, middle, end. All right. What he's recommending are are the are the stereotypical shonen stuff, <laughs> which, which is like, stuff to watch you, forever. Like, you, like it's like homework to watch those shows. For sure, for sure. So yeah, not even episode length, just like whether it's action or comedy. Like, uh, I'm trying to think like other examples. Because like the other the other oh, one sure. I watched was Haruhi Suzumiya. I, I really think it's just because it's. Its length is long and daunting. It's that, well, these are episodes that have over a hundred, you know. That's why I'll never watch One Piece. Like, yeah, like Dragon <laughs> Ball. Dragon Ball is like the the staple anime. But even I wouldn't say like, oh, you want to get into anime? This is where you should start. That's where you start. That's that's what you watch when you want to be like an anime connoisseur, right? For sure. Like you want you want to know what anime is all about? Well, you gotta watch Dragon Ball. You gotta watch Naruto, right? Uh, but you like hey, Grand Lagan. That's that's an easy one. Yeah. Or uh, that one's all. It, it really is. De it really is dependent on length, though. You, you think so? Like, like uh, I don't. I don't yeah, think, I don't think length is like the 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 one hundred percent factor because like you can have. Uh, it, okay, it's easier to digest a twenty-six episode anime than it is to digest a two hundred episode anime. Well, yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> what what I'm saying is, uh, length isn't as integral as just the the context of what's in it the reason things like like you can watch dragon ball z kai it's it's not nearly as long but as it's dragon ball so z. long it's it's long but like it's like a third of what dragon ball z is but it, like, it but like i would still i would still not start there just because like that's a show where you, like you really gotta watch each episode in, in in succession and it's a it's a long ongoing plot that just keeps going I'm trying to think of things that are like more isolated, or, like you can. Yeah, but that's the that's that's the key word again. Long. Well, it's a, I, I, I it's think the key word is long, ongoing, you know? it's more, not, rather than long. 
I'm, try I'm trying to think of things where, like, the plot... Like, you can watch Pokemon and be fine, but that's in a thou that you don't have to watch all 1,000 episodes. You know what I mean? I want to recommend Pokemon to I, well, I mean, I, 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 wouldn't, I, I wouldn't either, but I'm trying to think of a show where you don't have to worry about constant overarching villains. Like, you can wrap up the plot, or ha wrap up a plot. Like, because I watched Haru He Sees a Mia, right? That's still going, but... It's, oh, it, Harvey's it done. You, it's, it's, Harvey's been done. Yeah, like, it only had, no, no, like it the, only the, the books are still going. Oh, the books? That, per, that oh, person's still writing. The, the anime's done. For now. But, you know, like, that is still self-contained. Even though there's two seasons, right? Right, there's still only two seasons as of now. And a, and a spin-off featuring, featuring Nagato, but that's not important. <laughs> right. So, you know. Like yeah, I, I guess maybe length, like is is important, but I'm not. I don't think that's the sole thing. By the way, don't watch the don't watch the don't watch the melancholy don't watch the Yuki Nagat show. It's don't watch it. Okay. <laughs> Save your time. You can bring that up in conversation if you want, Emma. Apparently, there was some chick. Who is like in court, uh, accused of murder or whatever? Okay. And she straight up attacked her own attorney in court. Well. I used to, <laughs> I used to, Emma, I used to think things like that were staged, because there, there's like a, a clip from uh, People's Court or like Judge Joe Brown or something. What what one of those like regular TV court shows? Oh yeah. And uh, one lady was found. Like, she was found out to be a liar. And then the the judge is kind of, like, tearing her a new one, saying, like, you know, you lied on your paperwork, you lied to this court, you lied to everybody. And then the the, the lady, not the judge, but the, the lady, then tries to, like, walk, up, walk over and, like, attack the defendant. Like, wow. literally tries to walk up and punch her. And, it, and, like, the crowd gasps and, like, the bailiff has to tackle her. And I, I used to think, like... There's no way someone would actually do that. This is like, in some form or another, this is staged. But then you're telling me that, and I'm like, I, I just can't. That one, I mean, those I get because they're on like a television show that was yeah. made for television. This is just like cam footage, and like they're saying the attorney quit afterward. Well, yeah, I, I would quit too. I'd be like, your amount of money is worth this. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, okay, I guess there is another famous incident. There was a guy on trial for, he was he was like a gym coach, but he was like sexually assaulting his students. And he was on, he was on trial. And the father of one of these students, like asked the judge, can I get 10 minutes with this man in private? And the judge said, no, I can't allow that. And the father goes, can I get two minutes with this man in private? And the judge says, no, I can't allow that. And the father oh, yeah. and the father still, like, jumped in and tried to punch the gym coach I in the like face. I remember that. And they, they had to tackle him to the ground, and the judge had to say, we can't act like monsters in this courtroom. Given the circumstances, I can tell that he was worked up by emotion, and I'm going to let this slide. So, like, he, he was fine. He wasn't, he wasn't charged with anything. But, uh, you know, he could have been. And he, he was, like, he wasn't the guy that caused anything. He was just the father of one of the people that was abused. But, uh... So like that, yes, that happened. I just, I don't know. I it it just seems so surreal to me when action like that happens in court. I don't know. Wow, what did I come back to? We're talking about court cases. Hello. I noticed. Hi, Madison. Hi, I went to make an egg sandwich and I came back and you were talking about the court. Emma's oh, here. You have a fridge on the bus. She went Hi, to Emma. the yeah, bus. Yeah, we have eggs. A sandwich. <laughs> And a whole kitchen and a, a pans and stove and a sink. Oh, I, I want to go to the back of the bus with you. I had to decide between a bathroom Did and a refrigerator. Leave? And I chose the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to sleep. Someone's going to sleep. Oh, Nico off the bus. Nico Are you off sure? Off. I kicked he him off because he was just he sent so... Me about Dwarf he Fortress. was so Norwegian. I had to kick him off the bus. <laughs> well, he said he had to go. He did have to go. He'll probably be back. But he's Norwegian. He's so Norwegian. <laughs> What's wrong with Norwegian? I didn't Charles. say anything's wrong with Norwegian. I just What's said he's so Norwegian. 
<laughs> we should get back to curing the miasma. <laughs> I mean, I did meet my quota for the day. Yay! Does Nero want to help cure the miasma? What does that mean? Uh, Final I'm... Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Oh. I'm doing paint. Uh, I'm still drawing a thing right now, but I should be done soon. Okay, we we can wait till you finish. I was about to say, put the pen down. You guys don't no. have to like, stay in this. You guys don't have to stay in this chat. Like, oh no, we want to. But if you're gonna be playing Final Fantasy, you should probably. But then there's conversation. But how am I gonna? How am I gonna get to Vegas? <laughs> Well, Dude, Vegas, people are listening. You were born with two legs and two feet. Yo, Schiller. <laughs> You're going to drop me off here in the middle of the do, desert? Do not have people play video games on the bus on the way to, like, San Francisco? I typically don't have people play other games while I'm recording a video of a game. You know what? But You're driving to Vegas. You're driving the bus. You're driving, You're driving a bus. to Vegas. Eight Fair hours. Enough. That was rude of me. I apologize. No, you're not. No, Platt, you're not doing anything wrong. I'm just saying, if you guys are gonna play a different game, you should probably go to a different chat. Or we can just we can play without you even knowing. Maybe we're already playing. I guess there's nothing I can do until one of you guys goes, "Darn it!" And I'll be like, "Yes, Nair," and you'll be like, "Ah, uh, uh, nothing. Just darn this light." The wrong layer. <laughs> yeah. He said, "Darn it!" I the wrong layer. I stubbed my toe. Yeah. <laughs> now I drew on the wrong way, but I'm so angry. I want to punch a hole in the wall. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you could. <laughs> guess I would have known. Oh, I'm so upset. Yeah, he's so upset. The hole in the wall. Emma, Emma do you have any questions? Um, when are you going to stop and get gas? I don't have to. This is enough to get me to Vegas. He, he's already on empty. No, that's on for... <laughs> that's on. Hey, look at all the gasoline I've filled in this bus. It's changed every single time. E for eternal take you. See, Emma gets it. F uh, just stands fun. for forget this, I've already got gas. F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uh, uranium. Bombs. And is for no survivors. Wait, you. Wait. <laughs> no, I want to know what Plankton was going to say. Let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> why'd, why'd you let him cook? Hold up. I want to hear Why would you let him was. cook? Let, let him cook with Brenda at the back of the bus. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> A plankton I cook. Guarantee, I can guarantee I'm a better cook than anything at the chum. I have a question. What's your question? Why is the time inaccurate on the bus? It just it starts at 7:30 no matter what. So we're well, almost we're almost halfway, Emma. Well. Are we there yet? We are. Not Let him cook. <laughs> there <laughs> is. Okay. Oh, oh, I have a question. What's your question? Are we there yet? We are not. I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, nice. There is uh, like an optimal yeah, way to play this game where like if you push the gas like on the on the right frame every 120 frames you go like one frame faster. But I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm just holding down. You're not so a speed wow. okay. I'm not a speedrunner, at least not at this game. You can yeah, you're a speed, you can speed run. Run a game. You can speed run anything. Speed run. No. What you, can you, you speed run? You're literally speedrunning right now, Yoshiller. You might not be good at it, but you're still speedrunning. I'm about to get the any percent mid record. Nice. Time. <laughs> speedrunning. <laughs> you guys ever see the speedrun for the world record of Clue, the video game? I no. Have not. No. You just guess. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the world record is like two seconds long. Pick a guy. You speedrun for, uh, what is that? The B movie. Oh, or you yeah. just quickly <laughs> go to the menu and press credits? Man, where's Nico? I thought he had the record in that. Or like, <laughs> he does. Yeah. Why are we talking about this when Nico isn't here? Credit percent. <laughs> uh. Can't wait to find a new optimal way to hit credit percent. You should play Clue. Just guess. Just guess? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna... It was Jason oh. in the kitchen with the knife! Oh. Boom, you win, world record. Initially, you got it right. 
Actually, you know what? Never mind me. Keep restarting. Yeah, that that reminds me of a little VR chat story. Er, er, and it involves it involves our friend Alex. Audience. Um. Okay, so there's this game in VR chat. It's like this. It's like this detective mystery game, where you have one detective, one murderer, and yep, and the rest are bystanders. We had to find we had to find clues in order to find out who the murderer. Oh, is. it's Among Us. Oh, Among Us. Yeah, Among Us. You're just talking about Among Us. What are you talking about, Nira? You're not doing task. You're not doing task in that game. Do 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 do. Okay, first off, first off, you're not even doing tasks in that game. You don't have to do and tasks in Among Us. You can just play hide and seek now. Yeah, you can play hide and seek. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I, was the, I was the detective for one round, and I and I immediately had access to a gun. And as a wow. joke, and as a joke, I immediately pointed at Alex, only to find out that she was the murderer later. Crazy. So mostly after that whole game, I was like, I should have shot you when I had the chance. <laughs> Just gonna be like laughing her head off. Do, 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 do. Okay, we, all right, I get it. <laughs> do, do, do. Is this just what we're doing now? <laughs> well, he was talking about Among Us. So of course oh no, I'm on, on the, the wrong layer, guys. I get. So I should, I should play that the, the Among Us theme on piano. Which of us on the bus is the imposter? Don't even. What do you mean don't? <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Okay, so grow okay, so growing up black. <laughs> Nara doesn't know I have a portable piano on the bus. <laughs> take it take it and throw it out the window. <laughs> Nara, if you can pick up a piano and throw it out the window, I will give you a dollar. Okay. <laughs> okay. Something like divorced? My, my parents are getting divorced again. What? And was on the street for a bit. But he came okay. back. And he said exactly. he's going to break up with his girlfriend. I'm like, you go, man. Don't well, she's been kicking him somewhere. out for like 10 years. Oh, his own house? Shared house. Yeah, okay. I think they like, lived together or something. And then she kicked him out. And he didn't have anywhere to go, so he was just on the streets. Oh. That makes me sad. Wait, 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 wait. She kicked him out, but they were still dating? Well, not anymore. <laughs> well, not anymore. Obviously not anymore, but... But it has happened before, so yes. Yeah, it's happened before, so yes. Oh. That's just straight up... He's yeah, no, she's abusive. I'm proud of him. Yeah, me too. I saw him, I gave him a big old hug. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. Oh my god. <laughs> he's just an old man. <laughs> he's just a boy. <laughs> he's just a boy. <laughs> oh, wait, Emma, I've got a fair share of questions to ask you now that you're here. Yes. We gotta get you all caught up. Okay? Plat, too. And Plat. And Plat, yeah. I got questions for the both of you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Alright, we gotta we're gonna go in, in, in as close to an order as I can. Uh, Emma, what's your favorite letter of the alphabet? Uh. Beta. Beta? Wow, that's so is Gamma's! Yeah, yeah. Well, no, Gamma's least favorite. Oh, no, it, Gamma's, Gamma's least favorite, Gamma. favorite is Beta. Sorry. He hates Beta. Alright, now, Platt, what's your favorite letter of the alphabet? Zeta. Gosh! Darn it, everyone hates Zeta. Z, Z something. I said, no, Z, said, Z, Z, I said Z, 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 Z. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But everyone else said Z earlier. Yeah, no, yeah, no, because I, 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 I know I said I know I said I hate I know I said I hate I know I said I hate Z because actually no, there's no Z. But I know Z. There's a character okay, named Z who's a British. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, British. Wait, wait, wait. What's your least favorite letter of the alphabet? Q. Q? Yes! Because Q always has a plus one that I didn't invite. Wow. Yeah. 
was gonna that say hurts me. because you can't be independent, man. Yeah. You gotta rely on someone just to be something. But you know, without Q, you wouldn't have Cordy. You'd have Wordy. <laughs> you can just spell it with. You can just spell it with a KW. <laughs> but then it would mess everything up, and then what would J be next to you? L. I know, right? Insane. I don't know. Well, you bad. can't. You can't just put J K and then say, "Oh, I'm moving K." Now it's J L. Like, what the heck? Is that? Move the question mark button up and make the right shift key slightly bigger. <laughs> but Why? then that throws off everything. No, it does all... not. It does, yeah, because I throws I, off I... nothing. Yo, Shiller, it throws off everything because you type K with your right hand. If you move it to the left side of the keyboard, it's gonna throw off everything. Uh, humans can. You know yeah. why our keyboards you, are formatted the way they you, are? You wouldn't know that, but it would throw you off so much. I would. I would eventually. It would mess me up at first, but I would adapt. Uh, our keyboards the are the way question. they are because the typewriters. It, it's because of typewriters. Yes. Yeah. It's not. It, it's not even the most optimal way of typing, but it's just because of typewriters. But if the letter Q ceased to exist. And any word that would have used Q is now spelled with a KW, then putting the two letters next to each other doesn't even sound so bad. Okay, but hold what up. What is the point? You're gonna, you replace one letter with two letters. No, I'm replacing Q with K. The L get, that's normally next to K gets shifted over to by one. And then that new space that's between L and the colon gets replaced with like the question mark, and then the right shift key just becomes longer. That's bad. Also, why would you need a longer right shift key? Just make something has to go longer. there. Why not just make enter longer? Why do I need a bigger enter key? Why do you need a bigger shift key? Because something has to go with the shift key. Why do you need a shift key that doesn't match the other shift key? Because yeah. asymmetry is already exists on your keyboard. You don't have caps no, lock on the caps right side. No, my caps lock button and my enter key button are the same size. You do not have a caps lock button on the right side. No, but I have an enter button on the opposite side. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's 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 the same size button. Not as your caps lock button. It's it's like bigger. You know what's what's horrible? There was a keyboard that I saw. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it it was a laptop. They have a keyboard. Yeah. Uh, and everything was fine with the keyboard, other than the fact that they put the power button where the backspace button is. Hate it. Hate uh -oh. it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, what you know, is that, is, does that keyboard exist to force people to never make mistakes? <laughs> you know, it's such an evil keyboard. <laughs> I feel like Justin. I've seen keyboards. You typo, like that. you either live with it or you lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that one <laughs> meme I saw of someone learning to draw with Photoshop and saying, I'm nothing without Control Z, and then Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man goes, "If you're nothing without Control Z, then you shouldn't have it." Nice. You know what I say to that? What's that? This is why we live in digital art. Get out of here! Yeah, I know. We <laughs> yeah, have yeah. the technology to make things better, so why make it harder? We have the <laughs> SpongeBob. We have the technology. But when will we have the technology to <laughs> undo stroke in real life? That's what I want to know. What are we getting? What in real life? The technology to undo a paint stroke in real life. Oh, I don't know how to oh, do this. Show, you see that odometer your... that I have right there? That's at two seven five eight. Mm -hmm. That's the year. Did you guys? Did you guys know oh. there's gonna be a Bob Ross movie? There is. Who? Yeah, what? do you know who's gonna play Bob Ross? Tom Hanks. Wait, I, I want them to guess first. Tom Tom Hanks. Hanks. Everyone have everyone have a guess. Tom Just Hanks. one guess. It's always Tom Hanks. It's not Tom Hanks. I am out of guesses. Uh, Still Nera? monetizing this poor guy. I was actually, I was actually thinking the same thing as Oshiro. Oh, and it's not Tom Hanks. It's not Tom Hanks. All right. Uh, uh, Madison, any other Tom Hanks? Yes or no? Chris Pratt. <laughs> no. Okay. You want me, you want me okay. to say it? Wait, Madison has to guess. Do you think I know who actors are? Well, you just name any. He doesn't any. watch TV. Really, you know <laughs> Danny DeVito. No. no. I wish. No. <laughs> You wish that would not work. Alright, you want me to tell you? Can I take one more sure. guess? I won't know. J.K. Simmons. No. No, those are my two favorite actors. Wait, wait, I have one more, I have one more guess. Okay. okay, 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 go ahead. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> no. Alright. <laughs> what, what do you got? Okay, now we're just, okay, now we're just screwing around. Bob Ross is going to be played by Owen Wilson. 
Hey, that's pretty good. Owen Wilson. <laughs> it's so weird because they do have, they do have an image of him, uh, as Bob Ross, and you can still just see his messed up nose. This is <laughs> yeah. Share with the class. Oh, Emma, have you seen my line rider? My line rider match, not match, track that I made a, uh, a couple hours ago? No, I, I didn't see it. I haven't really looked at anything since I got back to work. You got on the bus. No, it's okay, because you'd have to have downloaded the JSON. I think I forgot to drop the JSON file. JSON. JSON! JSON! Anyways, oh, I'll share oh. I will share my screen once more. You, you also missed this conversation with uh, Gamma talking about Superman ice cream. Oh, yeah. I have and then I was saying, I was saying, um, Superman ice cream only works if it's vanilla, cherry, and blue moon, according to Emma. Yes. <laughs> because if it's cotton candy or a blue raspberry for blue, it's wrong, right? Yeah. Or lemon for your yellow. Because Blue Moon is also a Michigan flavor. There you go. Blue Moon's a Michigan flavor. Alright. Are you That's ready? She does. Are you ready for me to play this? Oh, you're gonna this look track? at the line Okay, you look at look at her line rider level and then I've got more questions for Emma okay. and Platt. I said okay. I said the poster by the way. I can't look at it. <laughs> what else besides? Keep his eyes on the road. Yeah, I gotta drive. Oh. Easy, just bring up your phone. Kind of uh -huh. like Bob Ross. <laughs> Charles, you want me to use my phone while I'm driving a bus full of passengers? Yo, yeah. sure. This is the uh, this is this is not even 2000. I think it's like late 90s. Yeah, it was like 90s. That that law didn't exist yet. There were phones and cars back then. Well, I yeah, that's why I said it was the law didn't exist. Bluetooth yet. yet. Smartphones didn't exist yet. Okay, okay. Then, yeah, are, you, Emma, are you ready? The theater and seeing the poster. You can look at the poster. <laughs> Call up Mr. Luigi. Playing the game the way it was intended to be played. Please, are you ready? Yes, go ahead. Watch, watch, watch Madison. She's wait, been waiting patiently. Oh, Mr. Jason, I need you. I'm begging. You know I'd watch if I could. I would if I could and I should, but I can't, so I ain't. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here you go. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that it just starts off. I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> what happened? Uh. <laughs> this is what I spent an hour of my life on. Yes. That's the war. <laughs> There's only glorious. three actual lines in this track. Yeah. Everything else I had to draw. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll drop the JSON file later. Yeah, for I'll, for for later. I'll look at it later. JSON. For now, I gotta do this for another four hours. Yay! So Emma, maybe I, more. I have more questions for the both of you. Wait, okay. 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 Favorite cereal. Uh, Reese's Puffs. Okay. Reese's Puffs is a good one. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay. Uh, what else? All right, oh, I got we got a cereal uh, tier list. Yeah, I got another. I got another question for you guys. Okay. Okay. What's a game you like that no one else likes? Or that people are usually bad. Mega Man X Six. That's what I said. <laughs> I, 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 love, one. I, didn't I love Mega Man X6, but everyone hates it. I know. They're I like, like, it doesn't it need too. to exist. I'm like, okay, but it does. And for what it is, I enjoyed it. But there's, there's, there's other valid criticisms with the game that I understand. Uh, Emma, your turn. Would Sims 4 count as a game that people don't like? I don't I don't know enough about the Sims. I see a lot of people say, uh, say I see a lot of people play Sims 4. Yeah, I think Sims is mm. fine. People like it. I don't play a lot of games. Well, Emma, if you want a cheater answer, just is there like a Sonic game you like? Uh, <laughs> Put Put travels through time. Do people dislike that game. I don't know. Okay. Then let's do the opposite. What's a game you dislike that everyone else likes? 
I don't know, Emma. I said that this is the unhealthiest game I could play because that's just me sitting here for eight hours. I might get some flack for this one. You're supposed to. What's your answer? I don't. I'm not that big on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Okay. Well, I mean, Charles <laughs> said Fire Emblem okay. right. Fates was a game he did like earlier, so. Well, yeah, well, well, well and, and I and I blame it on the fact that Fire Emblem Awakening was my very first Fire Emblem game that I completed, and I really loved Awakening. And I think it's that style of fire um, that I prefer over what Three Houses tried to be. Is it the art style? No, it's not the art style. I think it's more... Okay, because I don't like the art style. <laughs> I, I feel like it's the gameplay that does it for me. Like, it, like it, doesn't, it doesn't play like traditional Fire Emblem. And I think, like, I don't... Okay, so let me, let me rephrase it before I catch even more flack. I don't necessarily hate Three Houses. Call it any flack. But... I think compared to games like, say, Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn, or, again, Awakening, since that was the one Fire Emblem game I played through to completion, I feel like I just kind of prefer that style of Fire Emblem over Three Houses. Which is why I've been hearing so many good things about Engage, because it goes back to its roots, apparently. Oh, uh, so you want something that's more linear. I, you, guess you, you I guess that's what I'm looking for. I haven't played enough Fire Emblem games. Yeah, I haven't played enough Fire Emblem games to, I guess, warrant that or warrant my state, my stance on that. But can, that's probably, that's I, probably what I'm going for. If if you don't like Three Houses, that's perfectly fine. I'm just trying to find out like the reasoning behind it because uh, I'm like thinking of the gameplay is essentially the same. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, essentially, but I think, but, I think it's, it's everything else outside of the gore, core game. I said core. Everything else outside of the core gameplay of Three Houses that kind of makes me feel indifferent about it. I guess. You know. I'm still stuck on other questions. Uh, uh, a game that. A game that I like that others don't. You like that others don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't really, I can't even think of anything. Usually all the games I play are what's trendy. <laughs> hey, Mario you know Party. You don't, I like... don't like Mario Party. Yeah, you don't like Mario Party. Wait, Emma doesn't like Mario Party? I don't like Mario Party. That's fair. Because <laughs> it's, it's stressful, that's why. It's stressful, yeah. <laughs> it's just not fun. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, I mean, the question uh, what? Huh? The question before, a game that I like. That others don't. Oh, a game you like that others don't? Oh. Surely there's a Sonic game in there. <laughs> I, 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 have a, I, 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 I have a cheat answer for that. Exactly. Games that games that you games that we like that everyone else. Though. Well, no, no, no. no I, I have a cheat answer. Is what I'm saying. What's that? Pokemon. Well. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, you there you go. I like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. People like it. It's just a buggy mess. It's <laughs> people, I, I quite people liked like it actually. I liked it's to the point. It's, it's people I didn't like Sword and Shield, supposedly. Yeah, even though, that, game, even though that game's pretty good too. I think I'm you to know? the point where I'm just too tired of Pokemon to. If they're just gonna do the same formula over and over, I'm just not gonna play it. Well, you know ones. what? They changed it with Sun and Moon, now didn't they? And look how that turned out. They didn't. Oops. They really didn't. Not that much. Well, you didn't Sun and Moon battles. was very. You, uh, you got. Island Trials. Yeah, which is a gym battle. Yeah. But against a guy you'd probably have missed. <laughs> <laughs> All the conviction in your shoulders when it just dissipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Just a guy with a team of three Pokemon, you just okay, one Legends Pokemon. was fascinating because <laughs> we right, tried Legends on a personal <laughs> level. Legends Legends is the one that, that actually isn't like gym battles at all. Like it actually is a boss. They fight. actually hunted you for sport, and yes. it was fantastic. Yes. Voltorb. <laughs> <laughs> like whatever it was. I I like Legends. Legends. It's one. Of, it's 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 my favorite. I saw you know any of you. I I went on that hiatus thing where it's like I don't want the experience slash game to end, and then I stopped playing. Because I got busy and then I haven't picked it up since. What legends? 
Same. Arceus, yeah, Legends Arceus. You didn't finish Legends? Wow, where are you? I did not. I'm at Snow Region. I'm still surprised. Snow Region, ooh, spicy. No, not Snow Point. Do... It's not it's called... Snow Region. Yeah, Snow Region. Snow Point's in Snow Region. Right. I can't remember what Snow Region's called now. I don't remember either. The it, might be... it might be Snowman's Tundra. There's Grassland, Grassland Region, Marsh... Swamp. Marsh Swamp. Alabaster swamp Island, region? I think. Yeah. Is what ah, it is. that might be that. And then what's what's after the swamp? It's uh. It's mountain. 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 Crimson Ireland. No, that's the Cobalt Coastline. Oh wait, no! Sorry, sorry. It's, sorry, it's, it's not beach. mountain. It's, it's beach. beach. Yeah. Slash volcano, and then then beach, it's then mountain, then it's snow, then it's snow. Yeah, and yeah. then it's mountain again. Sort of. Yeah, you have to go back to the spoilery, yeah. Yeah. No, that final ice. boss, though. I'm not going to say anything about it, but that was exciting as a fight. Yeah, that was cool. That was that was a cool game. I liked that. Bet it is. I, I, need to be, I need to beat it, too. Oh, my God. Too many games came out. That's true. Too, too a whole many games new are generation still coming out. of Pokemon came out in the same year. I know, that's the thing, it can't, they released Scarlet and Violet too fast. Yeah. And that's why it's a boogie mess. And, and like, Oops. yeah, that's that's why it's a boogie mess. But it's also because they didn't let people, like, they didn't let Legends Arceus breathe. Yeah. They threw it out, released Scarlet and Violet, and then said, okay, no more updates for Legends Arceus, even though this game's amazing. It's literally the best Pokemon game. I, I I don't know what else I, you can do with Legends Arceus though. Uh, I mean, actually, except I'm for maybe a DLC kind of like, system. Wait, so I what? guess they could probably do DLC I, or they could implement do... uh, a proper multiplayer system in it. Yeah, or, yeah, oh, I, I would mean, love yeah, multiplayer. Yeah, but, but just add like another uh, another part of Cinna, like the where the battle frontier was. You can go there, <laughs> and catch catch more Pokemon, and add more Pokemon to the game, make a secondary objective, and then like a little second mini story, just like the end game of, uh, or the uh, the post game of Diamond and Pearl. So, and here's, so even here's Certain Shield. That. I feel like if they were to incorporate multiplayer, like, unless it was going to be just like traditional battles, like with how they did with Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, the multiplayer for Legends Arceus might as well be what Scarlet and Violet is. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what, what we wanted in Legends Arceus. I'm not saying that Scarlet and Violet's like bad for doing it. Uh, Although, technically, that is why Legends Arceus is such a good game, is because they didn't have to worry about programming multiplayer, which is like half of what Pokemon is. <laughs> They're like, we can, oh, we can just do a single player experience? All right, well, now we know where the development cycle is going to end. So, boom. It's just sad, though. It's just a, it's, it's, it's such a shame, because I actually have a good team. I mean, that was uh, transfer it to Scarlet Violet. That, that night game, Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that game did top my favorite game, Pokemon game of all time, which was Heart Gold Soul Silver. Oh, same. Wow. Uh, Mood. Because I, yeah. I replayed Heart Gold Soul Silver recently, and I'm still like, yeah, that's that's still. It's top tier. The, that's still the cream of the crop yeah. for me. It's still, it's still a top tier game. Uh, Legends Arceus is, that, is in my top five for sure, though. Legends Arceus, for me, beats it out slightly, you know? I know like, I there know. was just... It hit... All the notes that I wanted hit right. And then I was like, ooh, that's too good. No. Oh, you know what, though, Charles? How you feel about Pokemon Legends Arceus is where mm -hmm. I'm at with Sonic Frontiers. Except I, I played so like the first two hours of Sonic Frontiers and I haven't picked it up, but I, I want to. It's just I've been busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> driving a bus. I'm, I'm busy doing this. He's driving a bus. But, you know, Try playing Sonic Frontiers while driving the bus. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, that's not so hard if I like if all I have to do is hit left. I could do this with my feet. Yeah, yeah, like drive, yeah, drive with your feet. Be like Timmy Turner. Be like Timmy Turner's dad. Gotta be at least somewhat sanitary. <laughs> I mean, rules don't say you had to take your shoes off. No, but like health and sa health and safety concerns are important when driving a bus. That's why we can't just let like you know people sleep live on the bus. <laughs> people do sleep on the bus. I mean, you can sleep while I'm driving it, but when I'm off the bus, you gotta hop off too. 
Although, yeah. my mom has friends who have stories of, like, being passed out, taking the bus home, falling asleep on the bus, and then they wake up in the bus lot. So maybe that's not true. Maybe maybe you can get, <laughs> maybe you can get away with it for, like, a day or two. Because the bus driver probably figures, I don't get paid enough to deal with this. And then they just crack a window and then leave. <laughs> I'm not paid enough for this. Yeah, my, my mom, I, I, because I... I remember my mom's friends would explain that story or those stories, and I was like, I don't feel like that could actually happen. <laughs> it's like it's like when people leave their dog in the car, but they leave the uh, AC on and the music going. <laughs> Please don't break yeah. the window. The AC is on, and his favorite and his favorite song is playing. Don't don't break the window. <laughs> like I didn't know that could happen. A bowl of water. Guys, we're at the four hour mark. Yay! Nice. We're halfway there. Alright, so we're on the horizon. Other maybe. questions. Other questions. So in in Los Angeles there are these unused billboards. And at the moment they just say your name could be here and stuff like that. Emma, I love that movie. Emma Platt. What's up? Do you think it would be like in bad faith it would be rude? To hold a fundraising stream where the sole purpose is to get money just to rent out one of those billboards for like a week and say uh, that Schiller was here. <laughs> uh, it could be rude? Yeah. Let's see. If people know what they're donating for, then you have every right to collect that money. Alright. Now here's the second yeah. question. Here's here's like the follow up question to that. What if, if it was legal, I, I bought out the billboard just to say, Dear Nintendo, please make a new F-Zero or Wario Land game. Thank you. Love you, Schiller. Getting <laughs> <laughs> your point across, but I don't know if uh, Nintendo would like that. Oh, it, 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 it's basically to say, is it rude to collect money from other people purely for a viral publicity stunt? I mean, if they know... They're contributing actively towards it. Yeah, you know, as long as you know? you're clear of what the money will be used for and people will agree to pay for that. It's only yeah. a jerk move if you say it's for charity and then you're like, yeah, hey no. guys, I bought a billboard, which yeah, you wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that. No. Some people would. Some people would, yeah. Some, that's actually, some people that's, have. That has evil. happened. People have yeah. said something was for charity and then they just collect it for themselves. Yeah, yeah. some people have. I could not do that in good conscience. I would never. Most people couldn't. Can't do it. That's actually Most why. People. That's why I don't do things like. Um, I, I uh, what I'm about to say is not like a slam to anyone else. That's that's why I won't do like Patreon or something though. Like if people want to well, donate Patreon's money to me. For you. No, 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 I know. But like uh, my my I don't have anything against Patreon. Uh, my whole thing though is I don't want to collect money just for myself. You know, like if I'm gonna take money from directly from my viewers, I need to go to, toward a big cause. That that's that's all it is. But like I've given I mean, money, I, I, I've given money oh, yeah, to like okay. Charles's Patreon. I've given money to Arlo's Patreon. I've I've like I'll give money to Patreons. I don't care. But like my own self conscious, like I I just don't feel good taking money from other people, regardless of the purpose. I, just feel, I, feel I mean, being paid is nice. Yeah, I could yeah, stand for more money. I'm kind of I'm kind of paycheck to paycheck these days. And also, living's kind of a living's so kind much. of a purpose. Living's kind of expensive. Living is expensive. Yes. Well, on that note, I was just <laughs> curious, because uh, like I don't really stream. I don't like streaming. This whole that's, video, a, that's understandable. This whole video could have just been a stream, but for eight hours. Yeah, it easily could have. I could have just read off like donations. While playing, and I probably could have made a bunch of money and been okay, maybe. But I just, I just don't like streaming. What I, what I kind of want to do. I, I have this idea. I want to like, pitch it to someone, and make, this, <coughs> make this asset for them. I, I, I like. Okay, do you remember when like Masahiro Sakurai when he was making Smash 3DS and Smash Wii U? He did that one, that like the first Smash-designated Nintendo Direct, 
and he did those things where it was like, guess guess the character that this trophy is? Or it would show like a, a, a zoomed in camera of a trophy and slowly zoom out and it would ask the viewers like, who is this? That's right, it's Palutena. Oh, who I think is I remember. this? That's right, it's Waluigi. It's Voltorb from above. I mean, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is from above. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I kind of wanted, I want to make stuff like that. I want to... I want to make like these intermission screens for some YouTubers where it goes like, but in, and then it shows like a silhouette of a character, and then there's like an announcer voice, and it's like, this character was the uh, protagonist in the fifth Ace Attorney game, and then, that's right, if you said Apollo Justice, you were correct, but it did it, and then it goes to the next character, and stuff like that. <laughs> like, I want, I want to do that. I want to make those, but I don't want to huh. stream. So I want to see if like I can make those and then like pitch it to someone else who could benefit from them. So that so that, that way like when they're on intermission or when they're not directly streaming, viewers still have something to watch. Right. There are there is words there is words something, something I can do or something I could take uh, make use of. You want them? Cause I want to make like a hundred of them. I mean, if you're offering. I kind of am. I don't know if I'll commit to it, but it's something I've, I've had in the back of my mind. Cause like oh. if I. It, the, the thing that I told myself is, like, what would get me to stream? And it's like, I want to be able to do something that other people don't do. I don't right. want to just, like, sit here and occasionally read off a donation, you know? <laughs> That's why I prefer doing videos, because at least I can control the narrative on those. That's true. Also understandable. So I was like, oh, well, you know, if I had, like, these cool ways for the audience to act, like, to actually engage, rather than just leave comments, I feel like that would be fun. But we'll see. With any luck, I'd freaking sell the idea to Nintendo. Like, you want people to do something before you start your Nintendo Direct? Play a bunch of these. Honestly, that reminds me of those uh, videos that I see some animators do where they'll, like, make mini games out of, like, the entire segment of, like, Spot the Difference. Oh, sure. Yeah, actually, I, I could probably find one of those videos right now. Well, I They're pretty cool. Well, well, I'm not, well, I'm not saying I have to watch it. I'm just saying I want to pull it up just so I can make sure it's, it's still there. Hey, folks, okay, I have another question. This one I didn't ask earlier. I was hoping someone could look this up for me while I'm driving. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. How much does it cost? I'll look up to... directions. How... I don't need directions. <laughs> but how much does it cost to ride a blimp? To ride a blimp? Yeah. Mm. Good thing I'm on Google. It costs 40 something dollars to ride the high roller. On Vandago, it says 152 to Prices are expected. <laughs> Oops, sorry. 150 to what? 150 to 1200. Yeah. All right. So if I just get like $2,400, I could take a friend with me on a blimp. Yeah. Does anyone want to go on a blimp? From one person blimps for solo musicians to 12 person blimps. Does anyone want to go on a blimp? See, see what I got. See what I got here is prices will range from 150 to 1200 per day. That's but is not that what Emma just said. I just said. Yeah. I didn't hear. Her. Oh, okay. So, what I'm so would it be rude if I did a live stream event to raise money to get twenty four hundred dollars or whatever to take myself and a friend onto a blimp? No, as long as you were transparent that you were going to use their money for blimp purposes. Would you guys okay, be upset so it's, it's, if I went on a blimp? Two hundred to three hundred per person. No, that's fine. That's two hundred to three hundred per person. I'll yeah, I'll just rent the blimp out for a day and we'll all go on it. What what? Like I said, it's one of those things where um, if you're transparent... I said this earlier before yeah. Uh, yeah. Emma was here. Uh, if you're transparent with what you're saying and people are willing to donate it, yeah. donate to it, it's fine. Because there are people who say, like, help me make a gaming computer and do streams like that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and, it, you know, it, it's literally for gaming. It's in the same vein. Yeah, as long as you're transparent. Some people like just say like, "Yo, I need money for like groceries or whatever." People are like, "Okay, I'll donate to that." There, yeah, there was some guy who said, "I need money for a potato salad," and he got like thousands of dollars. I remember that. <laughs> it was a five dollar uh, Kickstarter. Yeah, I remember he that. He five dollars on Kickstarter, saying, "Hey, help me make a potato salad. salad," and then he got like thousands of dollars. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> the no fact that he was transparent with it, it, you know, no one was angry at him. Well, I guess what I'm asking is, like, 
is there a conversation to be had where I'm taking the money away from people who like actually need it? No. Well, well no, because no. because because people people are allowed to do what they want with their own money. Yeah, because yeah, I, 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 I say this all the time. I say this all the time. If if people really need the money that badly for other things, they're not obligated to donate. No, I know. They... I just I know I can use my powers for good and get money to people who need it, and instead I'm raising money to go ride a blimp. <laughs> you know, like there's that guilty conscience that's on my mind. I mean, just tell there's... people you don't have to donate if you don't want to, but if you want to, help me get on a blimp. Yeah. And go... I'm, I'm, yeah. Try, I'm trying to like do these bucket list things. I want to. I want to. I want to buy a billboard and I want to ride a blimp. And I so want to, I don't know what else I want to do. I already went to a theme park and basically had it to myself, so that was kind of cool. No one would look at you sideways for wanting to, do, wanting to do things like that. I don't know, Platt. No one. I think there'd be a couple people. Literally. They'd be like, why do you want to ride a blimp? What do you mean? Because I, the other day I was driving downtown and I saw the Goodyear blimp go around. <laughs> and it crossed my mind. I was like, I've lived here my whole life and I've never actually seen that blimp go around. <laughs> I'm actually afraid of heights. I, I kind of am. So my judgment is that you're you're going very high up. Yeah. And no, that's terrible. What makes me feel better is that I'm not the first person to be doing that. Plenty of other people have done it and turned out okay. But you're allowed to be afraid of heights. I, like I said, I kind of am. <laughs> One in five people never make it to the ground right. when they go skydiving. Uh, uh, what honestly? happens to them? Where do they go? <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good job. I used I used to be afraid of heights as well, but I conquered that fear by climbing one of those uh you know those uh rock mountain obstacle uh course thingies that you like Yeah, that they have at like mini golf places or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah, are I, not I, those are not high up. Well like, it's like when I was when, 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 I, when I was five or six years old that was high up for me. Yeah, that's like twenty feet. Oh my god, you can't say you were afraid of heights and then be like, I was five years old. Well, okay, here, let me put it to you this way. So, like, I've been on the Space Needle, and I've taken pictures where I leaned up against the glass and whatever. Uh, and I, I've been even higher than that. I was in the Tokyo Sky Tree. And I've, and I've done roller coasters and, uh, you know, all, all sorts of stuff like that. But the, the fear of heights that I have is, like, I won't go any, I won't go to any high position that doesn't have railing. Like I, I won't, I won't. I don't like, even go over. near the railing. I won't like peek over the Grand Canyon, you know. Yeah, obviously. So, or do those things where like you veer over a waterfall? Like I won't do that. But things that, I, but like the Space Needle, you know, thousands of people go up and down that thing a day, and there's never been an incident. So yeah, no, like, knowing I'm... that, I feel okay. That's, that's basically what it boils down to. I've definitely yeah, had some it's... uneasiness uh, with heights still. I mean, grant, I, granted, again, I conquered my fear when I was, like, maybe six, but I still have some uneasiness because I remember this one time I went to Momocon, right, mm -hmm. in, in Atlanta, and we stayed at the marionette. <laughs> like, me and a couple of other friends who I was rooming with, our room was, like, on the very, very top floor of the, of the building, of the hotel. Got and it's it. like, like I, I don't know what prompted us to get a room on the very, like, high end of the building. But that's where we were, and we even had to ride one of those uh, high-speed elevators that went all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom whenever we wanted to move floors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, so that that was another thing that I had never done before, but was kind of uneasy about. But after a few times, it was uh, it wasn't bad. Hmm. Terrifying. Yeah. Th th then there was also the case of, I mean, yeah. Granted, there was guard railings and stuff on the top floors, but just looking over the railing just to see how high up we were inside the building was like, oh, man. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I've never... Uh, well, maybe I should keep my mouth shut because some stuff's under NDA. But I've, I have been... I'm fortunate enough to have been fine. But I, I'm... I'm a wuss at some things, but I'm, <laughs> I'm a, like, adrenaline junkie at others. <laughs> <laughs> I've donated blood. I've basically gotten thrown off. Adrenaline of a junkie. Before. I've donated blood. Yeah, I've I've been thrown off of a building. I've been I've gone I've gone on my fair share of roller coasters and and fast paced rides. I've 
Yeah, but like then there's other things where it's like, well, I don't want to kill a bug. <laughs> Too scared to kill a bug. Or I won't. I won't go like too far above miles per hour on a freeway because I don't want to get in a car accident. Yeah, that's one thing. No, I'm not that craving of adrenaline. Anyway, uh, my fears, you know, outside of like the existential ones, uh, my fears are very basic. Oh, Guys, wait, get movies. wait, wait, we're about to roll over all four numbers at the same time. Woo. <gasps> we're at 3,000 <laughs> miles. Yeah, all four numbers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. All right, sorry, Nara. I, I had, to, I had <laughs> to say it right as it was about to happen. What were you going to say, Nara? <laughs> I know that was rude. That was... Sorry, what were you going to say? That was good. I was just, just going to say, like, so, is he in good movies? Well, the Mario movie's coming up soon. Have I seen any good movies ever? Like, yeah, I've seen a couple. You gotta watch the good movie. You gotta watch the bad movies to appreciate the good movies. Do you though? Exactly. What's up? Watch the bad movies do, to appreciate do I, the good movies. Yeah. Oh, what's I do? Yeah. yeah I know I've seen that. I know I've seen a fair. I've seen my fair amount of dog water movies. Dogwater. I mean, after all, we've seen the Monster Hunter movie. Yippee. I, I haven't. I didn't even need to watch it to know it was bad. Yippee. 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 What are we saying yippee for? Yippee. I just noticed your username is now Charles and Emma and Emma's ears. Yeah. Separately. Yippee. Yippee. This is great. Did you know you can get a sleeping bag of Metapod? Yes, I did. And you can look. It like four hundred dollars. It costs ninety dollars. Oh, but you that's can look okay. as comfortable as this man right here. I can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, just know that he looks very comfortable. <laughs> Anime sleep bag. That's that's what it's called. I I mean. Okay, I have a question. I, mean, I have a question. He's so comfortable. If What's up? I've considered, better be. I've considered moving quite a number of times and just kind of like bootstrapping it. If I got a beanbag chair like the or like a little sleeping bag like the one you're describing and slept in that for like the first month or two until I could afford a bed frame, would you guys think less of me? No. Wait, hold no. up, hold up, hold up. What's up? This isn't just like a sleeping bag. This is like a combination sleeping bag and husband pillow. <laughs> yes. You guys don't know what a husband pillow is. I don't have a husband. Neither do I. Okay. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, why, why was that so funny? What else is it called? Reading pillow. It's also called a reading pillow. Oh, I don't read. Are you illiterate? Me, no, me neither. I can, I can read. I don't read. Like I've, I haven't. Why not? I haven't really sat down and just read like a book. It's probably college. Well, you play Pokemon, right? That's that's got dialogue. Yeah, that, in yeah, it. that did teach me how to read English. Actually, funnily enough, but I don't actively sit down and read books. As like, oh, if, time to read the next chapter in Lord of the Rings. Support for your back. A uh, reading pillow's great for you. Uh, it supports your back. It helps you sit up without, you know. I mean, you're right. I could use have one of those right now. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be great, right? It'd be great. But I guess you know what you could use, your shoulder? What could I use? You could use a standing desk. Yeah. There is oh, desks yeah, really that, you those. know, that can actually motorize and get up higher. Yeah, my so mom, you can just stand and work. My mom has a, has a couple at her office, I think. 
You should get one. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late now. I'm already, I've already, I'm already. You know what? Actually, I could turn around, drive back, and get a. <laughs> <laughs> Or All right, you can just four, four, crash into the yeah. side. I'm kind of tired. Get, Let's get go picked home, up. guys. I changed my mind. <laughs> get picked up by the tow truck. In real time. Take In real time. Four hours to tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a little tired. No, we got to get that nice parabola-shaped viewership. Where it's a lot of people that watch at the very beginning. And absolutely nobody watches in the middle. And then everyone watches at the end to see if I made it. <laughs> Where my commentary is gonna be like. Alright, guys, I. <laughs> <laughs> and that's. And that's guys, when. Guys. It's revealed. <laughs> huh? Why is my file size? That's 32 hours. I only drove for eight of those. Oh. I slept and didn't stop the recording. He messed up. Oops. <laughs> How big do we think this file size is going to be, by the way? Uh, what are you recording with? OBS? OBS, 1080p. Oh, then yeah, it shouldn't be that. It shouldn't yeah. be that massive compared to recording directly from Elgato. But it's eight hours. Yeah. Well, people have streamed for like eight hours and have had like 20 gig footage. They, they start at, like, noon and then go till midnight. Yeah, and then upload yeah. it to YouTube if they don't want to do the Twitch direct upload. Yeah, because I've heard, like, YouTube can't have a live stream that's longer than 12 hours or something. You gotta split it. Oh, uh, yeah, well, then we're gonna be okay, guys. Yeah. We're gonna make it. I believe. I believe. I believe. Hey, you did this to yourself. I know. You know, like four hours. You made four hours in, right? That's another four hours. Oh. The, thing that, the thing that makes this obnoxious isn't having the tap left, it's to hold down the gas. <laughs> it's to hold down this button. Well, I'll gas, run the subject gas, of driving. Gas. Who's ready for the Way 4 of Mario Kart this week? Tonight. Way 4 of Mario Kart this week. Do you like how in all of these trailers, they're like, here's a Game Boy Advance track, and then they showcase like two seconds of gameplay and then focus on everything else. <laughs> Go back and rewatch the latest trailer and tell me how many frames of the Game Boy Advance track are in it. I assure you, you it's, not why. Higher confidence. it's less than three seconds. You want to know why? So they can sell those tour tracks? No, because it's a completely new track and they don't want to show it off. Why would they do that? Because they want people to feel nostalgic over old tracks. <laughs> But it's, since this is essentially a completely new remake, no one's going to be like, oh, it's it's like how I remember from the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I know. You're, but it, it, it's, it's not. Because I remember they announced Wave 2, all right? And I remember I was in Japan when they showed that trailer. And they were like, here's DS Waluigi Pinball. And that took up like half the trailer. And then they're like, all right, and then here's GBA Snowland. And then here's the tour track that comes with this pack. And I was joking with, with the people I was with at the time. I'm like, they showed Snowland for like two seconds. I want to see what that looks like. It's because it's essentially a new track. I know. I remember I made a joke in my Mario Kart uh, Game Boy Advance video that I uploaded recently. I said, I hope they bring GBA Rainbow Road or something to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And it's the exact same track. But just to make it not feel like an SNES track, they just tilt it on its Z-axis by three degrees. <laughs> so it's going down slightly. Because that's what I they do. did. That's what they did with uh, GBA Blue Lake. They, like, yeah, they, they did. They just like rotated it. it, it yeah. it's cool that way. I, I Man, am still. I am still cool. waiting for. I am still waiting for Rainbow Road DS, which I still hope is coming. Rainbow Road DS. No, if we get Mario Circuit. But we got the DS. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. yeah we got DS Mario Circuit. I don't think anyone which, thought that's what we were getting. I mean, which is good. I like that. Yeah, that that's cool, because that track's never come back before, but it's just like, oh, that wasn't in the leak. 
That wasn't in the way. Can you imagine if if Nintendo really was petty? And they're like, oh, you data mined our stuff? Okay, well then just to spite you guys, we're going to port over a completely different set of tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'd, I'd appreciate, like, giving us, uh, throwing us for a loop, but at the same time. No, we already got London loop. Aha, I get it. <laughs> I I booted up Mario Kart earlier just to play through some of the newer tracks again since I don't think I played through much of them um during the time that they did launch. And it's like I really wanted to and I also blame the fact that I was playing through a uh, Super Circuit recently trying to like get all of the extra tracks and all the speed classes. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. Well, I'm going to do like three different friend room groups. I'm going to do one group right when the tracks come out. I'm going to do the Mario Day group. And then I'm going to do the Schiller 64th episode extravaganza. Oh, March. Oh, it is about to be March 10th. You're right. Yeah. Do you guys want to be in any of those? Sure, I don't mind. Which one do you want to be in, Flat? Uh, it does not matter to me. In any of what? Now, I'm going to be Mario doing, Kart like, videos. three friend rooms this week for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There's going to be one I'm going to do right when the tracks come out, so we can all experience the tracks for the first time. There's going to be the special Mario Day-themed one, where everyone's going to have to play as either Mario or Tanuki Mario. And then there's going to okay. be your Schiller 64th episode extravaganza. Do you want to be in any of them? What's the new Schiller 64 extravaganza? I don't, I don't know yet. <laughs> but it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. I've considered Damn. it's a session where we can only pick N64 or SNES tracks. Anything that existed by the time Mario Kart 64 came out. But I gotta do something gimmicky with the Miis, and I haven't thought of what just yet. So does this mean we can only use the pipe frame? No, no, I won't, I won't limit that. But I, I might, uh... Put limitations on, on uh, carts, but I won't say you have to use the pipe for it. Like you probably okay. can't use a bike or an ATV. That's fine. I don't use bikes. Well, use bike. Wiggler Wednesday. Wiggler Wednesday. Wiggler Wednesday. <laughs> Wigglers. I like Wiggler. I played as him in Mario Kart Set. Her, him. I played as Wiggler in Mario Kart 7. Flutter's the female, isn't she? I don't know. Wiggler's the character? Wiggler I thought was Wiggler playable. was just a creature. Wiggler was playable in Mario Kart 7. And only 7. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. As so well, honey as queen. Yeah. Honey queen. You know, I keep forgetting. Is Lakitu a playable character in 8? Yes. Okay. But doesn't Lakitu save you? Who saves you now? Lakitu. What? There's more than one Lakitu. There's more than one. Yeah, there's more than one Lakitu. It's just like okay, how you so can play. PC's not a character. You can play Knuckles Knuckles mode in Sonic Mania, and normally when you play Sonic Mania at the end of the game, <laughs> if you get the bad ending, the the Death Egg like explodes and Knuckles saves you, and if you play Knuckles and Knuckles mode, Knuckles still saves you. <laughs> so there's nice. three Knuckles. Knuckles, Knuckles, and Knuckles. Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. Okay, so it's not like Curly Story, the cave story mod. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Although, you know, I only recently learned that that game has co-op now. What, cave, cave Story? Story? Cave Story, yeah. What? That, the Switch version has official co-op, and I'm considering doing a video series on it. You heard it! No, here. I, I have, have the Switch version. <gasps> I have it's... the Switch version. Well, it's I do too. only. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I, no, I, I I have a way around that. I have my Titan One. As I as do I. You bought a Titan One? I do have a Titan One. When did you get a Titan? Wait, I bought a Titan One because you had a Titan One, right? Is that is that why? I feel like we had this discussion before. Maybe. Local co-op. Whoa. Oh, okay. So what me and Yoshila are talking about is um. So excited. We have this... <laughs> I have a USB so, so... device. That I used to record Kirby in the Forgotten Land co-op that allows yeah. people in other parts of the world to act as if they're sitting right here in my bedroom. Yep, through the power of Parsec. Through the power of a USB stick. I'm USB assuming it's two-person, though. What's up? I'm assuming it's two-person co-op. Yeah, sorry. If it was four-person co-op, then that would just be too much. Too many bullets. 
Too many caves. Too many stories. Too many quotes. The, wait, the, the, you can only play as quote? Uh, for the first nope. half of the game, I think you play as a second quote. And then for the second, like once you meet Curly, then the second person I think controls Curly. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, Curly's not in the first half of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but why would they even change it? I mean, how are you going to do co-op? <laughs> yeah, but why would they change your sprite halfway through the game? I was just like, how are you going to make a co-op game if only the second half of the game was co-op? Is that... I mean... Is that like, okay, you know what okay, kind of okay. 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 I was going to say, that kind of said it reminds I me of... I could have but... used, I don't know, like, different costumes for a quote, I guess. Mm. I think that's a thing you can do? Maybe. Yeah, it, it's got, like, holiday costumes for, like, Halloween and Christmas, and then there's... I don't know if you can use the beta design for quote, but there is that. Oh. Me likey. But I've considered doing co-op cave story because I recall liking that game. I got it when it first came out on the Wii. And then I, uh, I got, like, forgotten about that game. Oh, no, it's good. I, uh, I got the true ending in the cave stories. No, uh, I, I so, did yeah. too. I, wow. I did, I did How? the video series. How? I'm not good at the game. Well, for I love fact, it dearly, but I'm I'm very very bad at not dying. There's a couple there are things certain you have things, to do. yeah. That, like there's there are some things about the game that you need to keep in mind of, so you don't like mess up. Because if but, you mess up certain parts of the game, you can't get the true ending. Oh, I know. I I, I accomplished those. It's just that I couldn't get through the last cave. Um, oh yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's hard. It's hard. But man, that final fight is something. All right, guys. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna attempt to take a sip of my sports drink here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. Eyes on the road. Right, you can keep. You can have your eyes on the road while drinking, responsibly. No, because it's. It, it takes both hands to drink it. I just need the cap off. As a as a matter of fact, don't drink and drive at all. Let, let that be the lesson. I, I just take the cap off, so I have to let go of the gas button and the the left arrow. Oh, you actually had the. Oh, okay. Yeah. So my ga my gas actually slows down temporarily there. So sorry, guys. I probably added like ten frames to this drive. Ten whole frames, unbelievable. Hey, in a fighting game, that's an eternity. It is. I can attest to exactly. that. Exactly. I, I I can I can absolutely attest to that. A character takes ten frames to start up an attack animation. You may as well like delete that move from the game. Or if a character has ten frames of cooldown. They're 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 dead. It might yeah. not. Yeah. You might as well just be. <clears throat> like frame data in a fighting game is everything. Yeah. You ever play as Ganondorf. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, you ever play as Mr. Game and Watch? Yes. <laughs> that dude. Easy. Actually, I fight. Uh, the character with the best frame data, I think, in Smash actually is Little Mac. Makes sense. A, yeah, that checks out. He has a frame two near. Man's got a frame. Man's got a frame one jab. He does have a frame one jab. Yeah. And his down air <laughs> actually does have spiking properties. It does push you down. Yeah, it does. It's just not very strong. But there, there are a lot of players who like go for the spike and and will get it. It's it's like such an insult. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You ever been taken out by a little Mac back air? Uh, by back air, I I haven't, but I'm sure others have have done it. I've seen it happen. Yeah, like, but hit, hitting with forward air or nair, like pe people do that. Like people edge guard with little Mac. Yeah. The the thing actually to do, uh, most characters, what you can do, you do like that drop down from ledge thing that forces your opponent off the ledge. And Little Matt can do that, and then you just, like, side view. <laughs> what a funny character. Indeed. Well, we talked about Smash. I had a feeling it was going to come up. That's all I got. Yeah, do this for Sorry, I'm watching a video about kittens. 
Yay! <laughs> kittens! Oh, I wish I could watch a video about kittens. Easy, just pull out your phone while you're driving. Haha, <laughs> don't drive. <laughs> Charles. I can't do yeah. such things. Well, you shouldn't, because it's... Well, actually, back in pre-2000, it's legal. Oh, okay. But now, it's illegal. Only at the cost of your life. You know what actually expedited that was the train crash of uh, Chatsworth, California, I believe. I used to, where I used to live. Uh, there was a train station there. And this train spot right after that... Or the, the train... So, the spot is Chatsworth, California. And you take that further north and that takes you to Moore Park. You take it further south and take it to Union Station. And there was a train crash just north of, of Chatsworth that occurred because the the conductor was on his phone. And when that happened, the government expedited the law to ban texting and driving. It was because of that train crash. Huh. Yeah. That sucks. It does suck. A lot of people were hurt in that crash. But anyway, that's the thing that happened. By the way, I found an egg salad sandwich. I found an egg salad sandwich under the seats. Still good. Oh. <laughs> Don't eat that. But it's still. <laughs> but it tastes like it's still fresh. What do you mean it's still good? It's been four hours. There's a fridge in this bus. Remember? Well, I'm I between a refrigerator and a bathroom, and I went with the refrigerator. Excellent sandwich under the sea. No. I mean, Fry yeah, ate a fresh egg salad sandwich, and then he got super smart from Futurama. I need to watch more Futurama. It's a good show. Yeah. And Based then it had like five endings, and now it's coming back again. <laughs> Can they top their past ending? Well, well I think each time it ended, it, each ending was actually a good end. Like, worth watching it to the end right now they, they they ended it they each time they thought the show was gonna end they had a nice wholesome ending but when i first yeah. watched yeah. futurama like my first exposure to it i didn't like it and i didn't think it was very funny you're uh, kind of turning into a robot i am yeah oh no yeah you are but i didn't change anything it might just be your internet company throttling your internet. Really Why quick. would they do this? I'm busy playing Desert Bus. Because it happens. Because internet companies don't care about their users. That's not very nice. And that's yeah, but it's the happening. harsh truth. You, people can be a million things in this world. Why not just be nice? Because internet companies want it's your money and they don't want to provide. Well, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm willing to give them my money. I'm, I'm willing to do that if they're willing to provide a service. I mean, you're still giving them your money even house. with poor, uh, poor connection. If they, if they drop my internet right now, I will turn this bus around. <laughs> no. Alright, what I was saying was... My uh, first, my, okay, you're good now. My first exposure to Futurama, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was funny. Uh... Then, I watched... I, I kind of, like, picked a random episode to watch. I watched... The one where Fry believes his he's he's trying to find his lucky four leaf clover. And he believes his brother took it from him. Like in the past. Yes. Do you know which episode I'm talking about? Yeah, and then they yeah, I, I think out, I do, yeah. He basically finds out that like his brother had a son and Fry thinks that the son's like son. goal in life was to like steal his reputation and, and smear the real Fry's name, and then he realized... Yeah, but it was to honor yeah. uh, Fry in because, general. Because his brother missed his brother. Yeah. And so I saw that, and I was like, alright. This is a pretty good show. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was funny. It, was, it, was, it made me laugh. It, it would have made me cry. Uh, and it was, it was a well-told story, and I really liked it. Like, that's the thing with Futurama. It still has... <laughs> All the episodes still feel like if it's a heartful episode, it has heart. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a funny episode, it's funny. 
uh, were as modern day Simpsons because I've seen a couple of modern day Simpsons. It kind of just drags on. Oh yeah, I there there is actually uh, a Twitter account that posts wholesome moments from modern episodes, and th- and they are good. It's just a matter of there are so many episodes of The Simpsons now that it's 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 the right it's clear it's slightly to they, run they into are, the same story yeah, yeah like they are going they are told to fill an order and they're just trying to do what they can they're trying to fill 26 episode season you know what i don't like mainly about the simpsons though what's that is when they do this cameo thing and it's the person like Wait. billy billy eilish playing billy eilish and it's right. like What's the chances of crashing into Billie Eilish? Yeah, in like, past, that's that's not likely, you know? In the past, it was a novelty. Like, the Michael Jackson episode's pretty famous because Michael Jackson voiced a character who technically is not Michael Jackson. It's a guy who thinks he's Michael Jackson. Yeah. Sorry to spoil the end of that episode. That character actually isn't Michael Jackson. But they, they had a clever way of incorporating, incorporating in Michael Jackson. Uh, and th- there's other instances where Kick has a cameo, but it's only for like one scene, not a full episode. So Penn and Teller, they they're in an episode of The Simpsons, and they they do a bit where like Homer gets on stage and kind of steals their act, and Penn yells at Homer and is like, "You better get out of here." And Teller's like, "Yeah, you better listen." And Homer goes, "Wait a minute, Teller, I thought you weren't supposed to talk." And Teller goes, oh, no, now he's going to replace me. I'm not even the first Teller. And stuff like that. <laughs> and then, you know, like, it's, 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 it's a decent enough joke. Like, that works for me. And it's, it, it's not modern Simpsons in the sense that it came out in the past, like, two, three years. But it's, it's past season eight. That's like a season 11, season 12 gag, I think, which is when the writing was noticeably different. Um, usually people, when people mention modern Simpsons, at least the – the viewers, they, they use it to refer to anything that's like season 9 or season 10 and beyond. It's like Spongebob season 5 and up is it's, modern Spongebob or something. It's Yeah, it's, it's technically anything post-movie, which would include season 4, but I think nowadays people would tell you like season 4 has a couple good episodes, because uh, there were still a couple of staff writers still on the show, notably C.H. Greenblatt, the guy who created Chowder. He, he was still there for a couple episodes, and then he left after season 4. But yeah, um, but, you know, I just like, like it when, um, like 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 you, like you said with Michael Jackson, like oh he's portraying Michael Jackson, but we find out the character is not actually Michael Jackson. Yes. I like it when a when a voice actor or a, a guest star isn't voicing themselves in the show. Right, that's obviously a lot more fun. It, it it's way more fun to do it that way than say like, hey look, it's uh it's. It's Samuel L. Jackson playing Samuel L. Jackson because Samuel L. Jackson would totally come across The Simpsons right. strangely, you know. You're, it's like no. You're talking about like when Fairly Odd Parents would have like Jay Leno voice the Crimson Chin and not just so, like, yeah, it's, Leno. essentially yeah. Or, or like uh, when Jennifer Aniston was on South Park and she was voicing the tour guide. Right, right. right. Or, or 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 if you're gonna have a guest star, just have them play a character that's not themselves yeah you want estelle as, um, as garnet and not just like yeah not estelle as estelle yeah um i got you and uh, one thing that uh because recently me and emma have been watching how i met your father yeah uh season one was very hit and miss like it was it was bad. i feel like uh, that's most shows that start out but okay fair enough season two has been getting better and they've been kind of like doing, like, doing their own take on it. But what we both dislike the most from the show is when they just do a celebrity name drop. Yeah, and it's just like I don't s- stop. <laughs> it was every single scene in the most recent episode, they did a celebrity name drop, and it's like ah. Uh... That's kind of the and... issue that Rick and Morty's been having lately too, like. In the early, in like the first two seasons, they had uh, like John Oliver and Stephen Colbert voiced characters, and they mm-hmm. were they were great memorable characters. 
Uh, there have been other uh, cameo celebrities as well. There's, there's like a list. I can't remember most of them. And then they just had like Elon Musk come on, and he just voices a vo he voices a character called Elon Tusk, who's a version of Elon Musk with tusks. But it's like that's not as crazy. Like, come on, guys. Like, he doesn't have to be himself. Mm -hmm. You could you could have him be a million other people, but whatever. Well, I know and I know what you're getting. He'll be a he can still be a millionaire, whatever. Right. Or I'm, I'm trying guy, to think like, like other Simpsons examples. Like, there's. I don't mind if a, if a celebrity voices themselves if they're not, like, the focal point of the episode, right? Uh, but sometimes, like, shows like South Park and sometimes The Simpsons have no problem just, like, ragging on a celebrity either. And when a celebrity gets made fun, like, when a celebrity comes in to voice that character and still gets made fun of, I still think that's funny. Like, BoJack Horseman had a lot of uh, celebrities voice on their shows. And the example I remember is Daniel Radcliffe. And they do this joke in one of the episodes where one of the characters refers to him. Like, Elijah Wood. Uh, yeah, Elijah Wood. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know, like, that actually gave me a lot more respect for Daniel Radcliffe that he that he was willing to do that. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that happened a lot. Even Elijah Wood got called Daniel Radcliffe a lot yeah. in the past. So, I don't like, it, there, there's ways to do it. I know what you're getting at. Then to just go on and, like, have an episode that just strokes your ego a bit. Mm -hmm. It was like, look who we were able to hire, and they're playing themselves because we couldn't think of a character for them to a character to create for them. Well, usually it's a ratings trap thing, like, right? Like, oh, hey, look, we got Lady Gaga on this episode. Yep. Yeah. So. I'd rather have Lady Gaga play uh, Miss uh, Miss Vanderlyn or something than Lady Gaga, though. Right. Like, if they got Lady Gaga and they say, hey, guys, Lady Gaga's voicing in this episode. It's like, okay, cool. Right. But if it's like, Lady Gaga's voicing in this episode playing as Lady Gaga, it's like, I, okay. On the contrary, <laughs> the Simpsons movie has a cameo from Tom Hanks where he literally walks in and goes, hi, I'm Tom Hanks. The government has run out of credibility, so it's using some of mine. Well, that one's fine because it's 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 the satirical nature within itself. Right, it's making fun of it's a, it's, yes. it's it's a commercial. Yes, it's to to fun make of fun. Yeah. yeah, whereas like, oh, Lisa, it's me, Billie Eilish. I didn't know you were crying there, but hey, we're just alike. And it's like, no, right? No, I wouldn't come across Billie Eilish in the street. I wouldn't find Lady Gaga just standing there. Right, I understand. It, it it's it's I like it when they're more creative with their stuff. Like like you said with the uh, Tom Hanks one, that one's fine because it's it's satirical. Right. <laughs> like and, they can and, and they can get away with that one. The, the story with that, by the way, is they knew they wanted to do a cameo joke like that, so they said, "Who can we get? Let's get Tom Hanks." And like, we can't get Tom Hanks. And they called, and on the very first on the very first phone call, Tom Hanks said, "Yeah, I'll do it." So to me, once again, that just gives me like more respect for Tom Hanks. Like, just go on and make fun of yourself a little bit. It's fun. So, I hear you. Let's see, my favorite cameo. I'm trying to think. What is my favorite? I'm trying to think of shows that had cameos. Because like SpongeBob has a lot of famous voice actors, but I didn't I didn't know them till after the fact. Like the person who voices Man Ray was like in Lord of the Rings or something. But I'm trying to think like who are, who are the other big ones? I mean Adam West willing willingly voicing every parody of himself is pretty cool. That's neat. Yeah. He was even a recurring character in Fairly Odd Parents, dang it. That's what I'm saying. He, he was, was also... Catman. Yeah. Catman. <laughs> and he was Mayor he was... Adam West in Family Guy. He was also Mayor Adam West. He did that multiple to the times. point where he became like a, a common character. Yeah, he was the mayor. Yes. yes. But that... TV, Adam West. That's the, that's, yeah. the, that's the thing, though. The way uh, Family Guy did it, though, yeah. is he reoccurred so much, he kind of just became a mainstay character. Yeah. Whereas these other cameos are one-offs. Yeah. I know I like, Family, oh, Guy, <laughs> Family Guy has had cutaways that made fun of shows where people come in 
and voiced those versions of themselves from the shows. So, like, they, they did a cutaway about Malcolm in the Middle, and Brian Cranston, like, reprised his role. <laughs> and they did one with How I Met Your Mother and Neil Patrick Harris, Jason Segal, and, uh, uh, what was his name? The guy who plays Ted, they all reprised their role as well. Oh, Mark, Mark Wahlberg? No. No, no, um... Sorry, you said Ted. I'm like, oh, not the movie Ted. Not, not the movie Ted. Uh, Ted from High Your Mother. Okay, sorry, I didn't, I didn't really watch that show. Oh, it's okay. It's um, who the heck is your actor? Uh, Josh Radnor. Oh, okay. Uh, but essentially, all of them came back just to do a, a little five-second clip of them watching How I Met Your Mother. I'm like, okay, that one's funny. Family yeah, it's still a family guy, but still. still. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I appreciate actors that are willing to take the hit. Or even when they got Frank Welker to be in that Scooby Doo parody in Family Guy. Oh, yeah, they did do that, didn't they? <laughs> and then he straight up just swears. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's this guy's one serious deranged SOB. <laughs> we're, we're, dealing with some, we're dealing with some. Yeah, oh wait, here's our one. We're dealing with some sick SOB. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was just funny because I got caught off guard. Because it, it sounded like Fred and, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you just say curse words. <laughs> yeah, and actually, that's not, even, that's not even the first time. Even outside of Family Guy, they, had, they, actually, had him, they actually had him swear his head off. It was. I think it was like during a. I think it was like during some kind of a. a it was during some kind of bumper, where Fre- where Fred talks to the viewer and be like, "Hey, Fred, what's with the ascot?" And then he goes, "Well, that, that's none of your effing business, pal." <laughs> and then he starts just going on a tirade and wears his head off. Remember, it's an ascot, not a scarf. That is true. Actually, didn't they have Frank Walker provide the, the role for Fred in like a Scooby Doo, in like a Scooby Doo sketch? Or like mm-hmm. a few of them? I'm trying to remember if they had. I'm trying to remember if, if they had Frank Walker like do, like do Fred in like a robot chicken sketch. Or like a few of them. Uh, Probably. Yeah, he's, he's probably down to do it. He's never brought on as Scooby or Fred for any Robot Chicken episodes. But he is in Robot Chicken. And he plays characters that aren't Fred and Scooby. Like he played Mr. Potato Head. (laughs) Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, because I remember some of those uh, Toy Story Story sketches. Had no idea that was him. About three more hours, guys. Woo! Like three hours and six minutes. Let's see. 
Yeah, I haven't been watching too many shows or too many movies lately. Uh, Mood. What's, a, what's a show that you think was fantastic but had a bad ending? I knew you were going to say that, and that's why I prompted the question. Wait, what did she say? How I Met Your Mother, which has oh. like one of the most like dis disliked endings of any show ever, or something like that. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, without spoiling too much, because I do want to show their other show, uh, the ending was so bad that they, when they released it on DVD, they made an alternate ending, which <laughs> retcons the original ending. Oh, I didn't, wow. I didn't know that. Like, it was, they made, just for context, they made the ending in season one. Um, I mean, they scripted the ending in season one, and instead of evolving the ending along with the characters, they That's went nice. back to they went back to how the original ending was written and kept it because the actors that portray the kids, um, you know, they're adults now. It was a nine year show, uh, so they re recorded the parts with the kids like years years in advance and uh, they were they made the the mindset like yeah let's stick to the original ending rather than going with uh, a different ending and then the alternate ending fixes it essentially wow like it, it was that bad yeah i gotta try gotta try and get back on that because i think it, i think we got Got to like three episodes, three or four or so episodes the last time we watched. For me, I mean, it's it's got to be Samurai Jack, right? Like the I I really do like uh, a fair share of the last season, but the actual like last two three episodes, I'm like, man, I don't know. It, like, For context, your shoulder still good, but. Your shoulder just doesn't like it because it turned into a love story. It sure did! <laughs> Which, like, the, the fun of Samurai Jack to me was this wandering traveler who aided people on his quest in hopes of one day returning home. And the final season was like, hey, these are the last ten episodes of the show ever. Let's, let's wrap up his story, so to speak. And even if it didn't wrap up the story, just to know that, like, we got this 10-episode arc. Oh, that's so cool. And the first three episodes are, like, some of the best animation slash storytelling I've probably ever seen. Like, no exaggeration. They're, they're, episode two in particular is, like, unbelievable. Uh, and then, yeah, like, some something happens with the pacing and everything. And the love story is not helping things. And while the actual final shot of Samurai Jack is, is beautiful, it, in some cases, it's like, okay, but the last ten minutes that led up to the shot feels a little unearned. I don't know. It's whatever. To, to but, be fair, yeah. um, it does tackle on that concept of he was always alone, like, no matter what. Like, every single episode, he was o he always ended up being alone. Yes. So he, uh, that's why they, you know, created the character to be like, he's not alone. Okay, so if they wanted to tackle that plot point, what they probably should have done in, like, the first episode of season five is probably, like, plant that seed. Because although he's always, t he's always like, lived with the fact that everyone he knows and loves is dead, uh, it's, it's been portrayed as uh, regret, anxiety, like, he, he feels like he let other people down. At no point was it ever portrayed as, like, I just need someone in my life. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. If they, if they spun it as that, if they spun it, if, like, in the first episode of season five, he was like, I wish I had, you know, I wish I had someone I could go to, then, then I feel like the ending would play out a bit better. But, because, it, it just, the love story feels... It, it obviously like it develops, but it, it, it just kind of like spawns out of nowhere in season four. I don't know. That, that's the gripe I have. Yeah, that's fine. Fair. So. That's it's, it's a valid criticism. Uh, otherwise, other shows probably like Steven Universe. Uh, I feel like the, 
they, they, they took their sweet time getting to the ending, and then they're like, and let's cram everything we needed to do in the last 45 minutes of this of the show forever. But to be fair, that was because of Cartoon Network. No, I know. It's just like, for a show that was doing, like, was really taking its time with its storytelling and was really trying to balance its pacing, the last four episodes, like, how did this happen? How do you guys get so rushed? Whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think of this. Because they showed, they showed a marriage between a gay couple. This is the fly! The fly oh, is splattered is. on the windshield! There it is! Ah, oh, there it is! Oh. Watch out, watch out! There it, yeah, it really, it really it happens it. around 3,333 miles. Well, more specifically, it happened five hours in. Because it started at 7.30. Guys, we got the fly! Woo! All it took was for us to talk about shows with bad endings. Now, I know another big one. Another big one. I wouldn't say Steven Universe has a bad ending. I, I would say, yes, it does have a rushed ending, but it, the ending is not bad. I think the issue I take is that the, like the the literal ending part like the the resolution is rushed like that that 40 minute special or whatever where he he climbs into he tries to talk with the diamonds and whatever like that actual last five minutes where we go from like you know rising action to resolution too quickly the actual beats of that episode are there so I don't think it's like one of the worst, but like when I'm thinking of like a bad ending, like that probably comes into play. Uh, but I'm I'm trying to think like I didn't watch all of Legend of Korra, but I know that that has a pretty infamous ending that people didn't like, right? Or is that getting uh, hard to talk about that without um, spoilers? I mean, I wouldn't say the ending's bad. The ending is an open-ended ending. Okay. Uh, two two characters, one of the characters being Korra, they walk into a light and then you decide where their adventure goes my biggest problem with cora was the journey not the ending oh wow yeah. okay um, <laughs> all right uh the biggest problem was she would lose every single battle um and it's not like oh she wins some she loses some it shows some growth no she would lose every single battle she made the avatar uh, she, yeah, she made it look like everything, like, at the very beginning, they make her look like, oh, she's an OP character. She knows fire bending, water bending, fire, fire and earth bending. Yeah, I watched the first right? one. Right? The only, the only one she doesn't know is air. But then every single time she has to do a battle or a fight or something, she loses or she can only win with the help of others. And it's like, what's the point? Because, like... Aang was able to... Yeah, Aang lost some battles, too. Yeah, let me, let me think But he about still that. was able to do some victories without people, you know? Yeah, okay, so I guess Aang always kicked Zuko's butt. That's that's true. Uh, I'm trying to think, like... Because he, he always lost to Azula. Azula always gave him a hard time. Or, or if, he didn't well, lose, yeah. if he didn't lose... Because like, the, the one episode where I guess he technically doesn't lose is uh, the, the Chase, where they kind of... It's like Zuko, Iroh, Aang, I haven't Aang, actually Katara. finished watching it yet. Oh, you haven't watched it yet? I have. I've okay. I've been point, watching point, it with the group. All right. Point being, Azula is a, is a very good antagonist. So I'm trying to think, yeah, I guess he does win a couple battles, though. I guess you're right. Yeah, whereas Korra, like, without going into major spoilers, she, oh, I guess it is kind of spoiler, but... She, I'm probably not going to watch Korra. Okay, well, Korra just sucks, and she can't win anything. And then it's like, then what's the point of her being the Avatar if she loses every single time? She can't even win... Any battle? <laughs> Can I ask, Madison, right. just to make sure I didn't spoil too much, where you're at with your Avatar watching right now? Oh god, uh... Are you in season two at all? I believe so, yes, so, season so, two. So uh, Azula least... has shown up. Okay, uh, you've at least met Azula, that's what I wanted to make sure of. Yeah, she kicks she kicks some people's butts. Right, okay. Specifically Iroh and Zucro, if I remember. I can't remember the, uh, Zucro. Well, Zucros? Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a complicated, uh, sugar, uh, whatever. He's, 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 he's probably sweet. Um, let's see if I can find exactly which episode. Yeah, because he's a now, complicated... Now you're getting into the good right? stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm past, I'm at least past the, uh, racism allegory episode, you know. 
well, there's a couple of those. Do you know? Do you there's, there's, <laughs> it, only, no, the, it only slightly narrows it down. The big one. It's um, like season one, I think. I mean, you can say it. Yeah. It, it is. It, you it's mean very. Titles. Well, no, no. Like, explain what happens in the episode, because like. Saying at, the racist episode, it's like they uh, were in the, the, like a couple of like angry racism allegory. They there's were in the, the canyon and they weren't supposed okay. to be. Okay, you're talking about okay, the Great there, Divide. That, the Great Divide, there. Okay. That one. Because there's other ones where like there's like very big episodes depicting racism where like Zuko get, becomes an outcast and stuff like that. So that's why it's like, which one are you talking about? Okay, got it. No, the one that was specifically meant to be an allegory. Okay, well, I don't know. Probably that, doesn't hold that, off very well. Yes, that episode's that the is... most infamous one of the show. Sorry, that's where you're at right now. No, I passed that at oh, least. Okay. Yeah. It's just that I've experienced it. No, it's fine. Season two's a lot better than season one, just like most good shows. <laughs> People keep telling me it's good. I promise it is. My friend group also just won't get together and watch it though, so. Oh, I get that. We used to do that with The Office, and eventually, like, we couldn't get everyone together, so we just were like, we're just gonna keep watching The Office. Just threw it in the back. Whoever's here can just watch it. Yeah. And so I'd have to ask, like, oh, wait, what happened? Oh, okay, okay. And that's how I experienced most of The Office. Yeah, same. We watched it together during the pandemic. Buncho. Buncho. I watched, because of you guys, I watched The Office, and I watched The Missing Link. That, like, that, yeah, uh, right, uh, yeah, right now, tra- claymation movie. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good, actually. The only issue I had with the missing link, and it's not even, like, an issue. It's, it's clear just... when he just randomly got back up after yeah, that fight scene. Like, there's, like, a whole fight scene. <laughs> there's, like, a whole fight scene that takes place on a cliff, and they're all, like, barely dangling off the cliff, fighting for their lives. And, and then the bad the, guy... The good guys win, and then it just crossfades to them walking away. And I'm like, no, hang on! How the heck I'm on, did they get out I of there? I think I'm on bitter work. Better work. Be oh, that's that. that's season two for sure. Yeah, ninth. So you you've met Tom. Episode of season two. Yeah. Okay, so you watched the episode the chase. That that's the episode I was talking about, where like okay, Azula cool. like doesn't win the fight, but she still like gets her way in the end. If that makes sense. Whatever. Yeah. That's the only way I can say it without being like super spoilery to people that haven't watched the show yet. The latest episode she's seen it. Is the right cluster to that part? <laughs> You're talking oh, the Great Divide? I mean, there's yeah. meme-worthy faces, but it's an otherwise forgettable episode. How dare. How dare? They made fun of it themselves, Emma! Yeah, that's the beauty of it! <laughs> yeah! Uh, Avatar is a good show. Too bad th- there's a very popular movie series also called Avatar that people think I'm talking about whenever I mention the show. It's- it's the only show that beats Spongebob. At the Kids' Choice Awards, I know. Kids' Choice Awards. Oh no, okay, we have to be past this because I saw the library too. Oh, well, okay, yeah, the library. Yeah, the so one with the giant owl? It's, it's yes. better work, the library, then the desert, and then, uh, what is that, like, the Serpent's Pass? I think it's after that. I don't know, have I seen the desert? <laughs> It'll quench you. It's the quenchiest. Quenchiest. <laughs> Friendly mushroom. Giant mushroom. Okay, I think I'm actually at the desert. Okay. But I haven't seen that yet. Alright, that, yeah, that, that's a, that's a, that's a good one. It's friendly. See, now, see, now, see, now my real question is, would cactus juice actually induce that effect on me? I, I don't think it would induce that effect, but... You, asking for a friend. No, I don't think it induces that effect, and it actually, I think it, what it's supposed to be... Sokka's technically in the right. If you have a way to cut open a cactus for its fluids, you should drink it. But I don't know uh, if it's like implied to to be like a drug or not. Like I I don't know what the side effect of drinking it is, but I don't think it's that. Hmm. Because like the inside of a ca- okay, if you can so it- actually you can get high off of cacti. You can okay, then maybe that's what that is. There's a there's an alkaloid with hallucinogenic effects called mescaline. Okay, because I I thought that actually was the advised strategy. Like if you have a way to cut a cactus open, you should ingest the fluids. It depends on the cactus. I guess so. Well, spoilers: Sokka gets high off of a cactus. Uh, I've seen that. <laughs> I, I saw that episode when I was a child. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the desert. I remember the mushroom. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you, I never when you phrase it like that, oh yeah, I saw child. the episode where Sokka got high. I remember the mushroom. It's like, all right, well, hang on, hang on. We gotta remember. It's a Nickelodeon show. It's a, uh, you know, the giant didn't, mushroom. He didn't, didn't actually get high. It's just like implied that he got high. Okay. Yeah, but like yeah, instead, yeah, if, if Nickelodeon the didn't want those implications, they should have thought about that before they had a show. <laughs> Avatar gets away with like a lot of stuff. In fact, there's one episode where like the characters are in are in uh, bathing suits, and the animators were told to turn it, to tone it down. That the characters were too like sexually explicit. What? <laughs> That's worrying. No, they're fu they look fine, but they were they were like a lot more let's just say like anime influenced. Mm. Like the, the the guys were like a lot more muscular, and the girls were like bustier, and they're like, uh, you're still working on a kids show, and then they had to tone it down. Yeah, no, I, that's, yeah. Uh, but there's other things, there's, it's like, rewatching that show not too long ago, it's, it actually is kind of impressive how many, like, adult themes are in the show. Some of which is fly right, some of which is, like, go right under kids' noses. Oh, yeah. And it's, oh, I mean, and most, it's like it took a lot of the adult watching. Most shows are like that. Oh, yeah. Because the parents have to watch with them. Oh, yeah. That's why Amazing World of Gumball is so funny, because that's basically just an adult show disguised as a kid's show. Literally today on Twitter, I saw someone post the Gumball clip out of context, where it's it's the neighbor, uh, what, Mr. Robinson? And he's like, there's no way I'll ever get those two kids to like me, you know, outside of brain control. Wait a minute, that's it! How to mind control children! And there's just hard cuts to him in prison. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> it's a good gag. Yeah. So, you know, because I think I think wasn't it like that show? Like uh, different people were pitching shows to Adult Swim, and then none of them got like accepted, or another none of them made it far enough on the pitch, so they just merged all the ideas together into one and just. That's how Gumball got created, and then they sold it to Cartoon Network instead. I think uh, that's more I don't sure. know. I, I know it's. I, I I do remember seeing some of the, like the pilot. Right. I know it's uh, it's, it's Gumball, a British. But I don't know. It's a British show, or at least it's animated. It, it's British. written by British people. Okay. It's done. It's done in the British branch, and the only like. British. Clear, clear, like indication of that is the famous scene where like the show starts falling apart and the animation starts falling apart, and it cuts to like the storyboards of the show, with the with the like non-official insert voices and one guy in a very in a somewhat British accent goes, "Then hurry up before it's too late," or something like that. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, Roy. Otherwise, it's it's American voices. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it definitely is. And and a lot of the locations are also American locations. Right, the house is, <laughs> the house is like in Oregon or something, isn't it? The house is in my hometown. Oh, okay. Of, in yeah, California. It's, it's, it's censored. <laughs> oh. it's, it's censored. Like you find it's it on censored. the map, it's blurred out. Um, the the track and field is also the track and field from my high school. Oh, uh, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's too much information, but I mean, that's fine. do what you will with it. I said where I used to live earlier. A little bit. Um, I mean, if we're, if we're, if we're dropping... No, I bet, I bet or not. I'll just say, well, my... No, don't. Was, no, never mind. Don't. Don't safety, much. guys. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. I, you know, I don't, I don't live close to there anymore, so it's, it's, like, I, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, but you used to. I used to. I mean, I probably... Someone with enough information could hunt the, hunt you down. I know. You I can know. talk about the Tony Hawk stuff. What's going on with Tony Hawk? Oh, with the school. Oh well, yeah. Okay, it's, yeah. So like, yeah. It's Tony Tony Hawk, uh, some like the some of the most famous levels, especially in the earlier Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, are are based off of California schools, and uh, for the longest time, it was believed that the school level in Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two which is one of the most famous levels in the series, it's believed that the picture, the preview picture they used for it, for the longest time, my high school believed that 
that was that our was a, high yeah, school. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nowadays, it what it actually seems to like the level itself is not designed after my high school. Just the preview picture for it was, and it said the level took place in Southern California, which is you know where I went to high school. Uh, it's believed now that like a lot of the schools that were in the Southern California area, especially those that were part of the Los Angeles school district, yeah, had a same, had a similar design. So the the picture they used for that level could have been any of the Southern California schools. But that you know, that also still means though that my it high still school could have been your school. <laughs> yeah, has at least the same design or a similar design to whatever high school they picked. But the the, the level itself. Weird is not resemblance of my high school because my high school was mostly uh, ha- has a lot more indoors areas, not as many bungalows. So bungalows. But whereas the level is mostly outdoors, you're not inside that much. Um, so th- th- there's stuff like that. That was a bonus word on a spelling test when I was in fifth grade. <laughs> Bungalow. And I spelled it right, except the teacher was like, "Okay, so now we're gonna have." other students grade your papers and the guy that graded my paper marked it wrong and I was like I'm gonna fight this guy. Do it. I should've. I should've. Look, look, look. You gotta so I had to go to the teacher kid. and be like hey, I got it right. This guy is an idiot. You gotta show that you're the strongest kid in the yard. I should've. I really should've. It's okay. It's okay. Every day I regret not fist fighting a child. <laughs> oh, Alright. Nah, I was a... Uh, I, was, I was a good student. I didn't pick fights. I did go to the principal's office once. Uh, but I didn't... I, I, it's not because I got in a fight or anything like that. Nah, I was a goody two-shoes. Class clown a little bit at times, but... Fucking grizz. I would have been a good student if... You know, I'd known I had ADHD. That's okay. So I couldn't focus, and as a result of that, my schoolwork really suffered. That happens. That happens to a lot of people. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, it's not great. It's I mean, sad. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's great that it's being recognized as a problem, but it's not great that that happened to a lot of people. It's, it's it's absolutely fine. There is no issue. What I hope to do one system. day. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm okay. done. I was just saying, well, I, I I loved high school. I want to be able to go back one day and thank my teachers, but I don't want to do that till like I, I get my dream job, you know. And then I want to be able to go back. Well, and be like, nice. Hey, I did it. You helped me do it. Because there are Aww. some days where I feel like my teachers really over prepared me <laughs> like they kicked my butt and then I got into the real world and I'm like oh well this isn't so bad uh, it really isn't no. like my final for one of my honors English classes was a 200 question quiz that Ugh. tested everything I learned in the class uh, including like details about books we read and vocabulary words and whatnot. And then there were also reading passages in it. And it didn't have those questions where you can just, like, skip the reading passage and just read the question and then just read the context you needed. No, you actually had to read the passage. It was a continuous thing. Yeah. And then, and then... With okay, the time, that's, way, with, that's way too hardcore. With the time we had allotted, we had to then write an essay all in two hours. I got that's a, stressful. I got a C on the final. And you know what? I will brag about that. <laughs> that I freaking passed the final and... Rocked the essay. I think the essay is what saved me. That, that's usually what happened in my English classes. I was so much better at writing essays than memorizing things. I hated essays. I I like essays. I still hate essays because in a, in a test generally there's like one right answer, right? It, with yeah. an essay, it's about picking an answer and proving why you're right. That's why I liked it more. See, the thing is, though, making words good it takes a lot of effort. Well, that's a lot. I could, see, if I could you're persuasive, you're you were good at essays. That's why they're called persuasive essays. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Guess what, I'm not. I'm not persuasive. 
Well, oh, yeah. did, did you guys uh, have yeah, animals? Cool. Maybe this was tr true for Charles because he also went to a high school in California, but I'm curious about everyone else. Uh, did your guys' high schools require an English or an essay in every subject, not just English? No. Did you have to do a writing assignment like in your math class, for example? Wait, Emma said no. essentially, and yeah, Madison not, said no, but math. like. I had ceramics. Okay. All of my classes required to issue a writing assignment. All of them, including PE. That's really? bad. And I remember. My, uh, not me. I remember uh, I had, in 11th grade, I had honors U.S. history. That was, that was actually a really fun class. Really, really great teacher. Made me really appreciate history. And we had our writing assignment and wrote it in class and then the the following week he's handing out papers that are he's handing them out face down just kind of setting them on the table so when the students sit down they can turn it over and see their own grade without anyone else looking and i was always like one of the first kids in the class because i was a friggin goody two-shoe and i don't know he set down my paper and, and whispered in my ear very good essay brad and i got 110 percent on it did you correct him and say, it's Bradley? I was like, how dare you? <laughs> you're going to call me by my name. You're going to call me by the full thing, mister. No. But that, that definitely fueled my ego and made me realize, hey, maybe I am pretty good at writing essays. I have, I have it sitting in my closet somewhere, although because I, it's been sitting there for so long, it's pro the ink's probably all smeared on it. But I don't know. I, I, I mean, it probably won't be too bad. But I, I like writing. It's just I never wanted to be an English major because I know that's going to be so much more reading than writing. And as I established earlier on this bus drive, I hate... <laughs> I don't like reading. You don't like reading? No. Well, oh, uh, okay. Because a, lot, oh, of, a lot of reading in high school is, like, required reading for stuff I don't have much interest in. Obviously, if I have interest in something, I'll read about it. I read about, like, the history of games and, and stuff like that, but... Not like Reading's better, stuff. yeah, you can read something better if you're more interested in it. But like, literature? Like, you can retain uh, information better. About Bug and Hello Kitty? Nah. I'll link that in chat. <laughs> um, it's just, you can retain information better if it's something that you have interest in. Right, like, and, you know, I like yeah. learning American history, that's probably why I like that course so much. Or I like learning about, like, the development of trains, or why certain fish exist and whatever uh but just reading like a 400 page novel and trying to understand what the author's trying to convey just not as well, you don't have to like it's blue it's bradley why were the curtains blue i don't know <laughs> have you ever read the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy i have not i, I would recommend it yeah i remember you know what i don't like it's got a, it's got a lot of um, smoke what didn't you like, Charles? Uh, well, because I only learned about this like a year or two ago. But they should have reading be formatted in what was it called? Uh, where some of the letters are bolded, so you can read faster and retain the information better. Oh yeah. Um, I forgot what what the type of reading method that is. Uh, I'll search it up. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Like, um... you guys have, you guys are slow readers. No, he's, he's just suggesting no, that I would like reading more if books were formatted that way. Bionic reading, that's what it's called. Thank you. Uh, if, if things were in bionic reading, because uh, the way reading works, right? You're supposed to repeat the word in your head while your eyes are looking ahead as they're reading the next word. Yes. Uh, with bionic reading, it makes it easier to... Uh, Prepare the next word. Essentially, if you have two spoons have? and you're eating ice cream. Two hmm? spoons? That's that's an issue people have? Like, uh, normal? what do you mean? It's, uh, no, it's not an issue. It's just... It's just no, it's, 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 like, it's, it's just, like a cheat code. It helps you... Yeah, it's, it helps you read faster. Like, if you mm -hmm. read okay, these okay. Two sentences... I read the entire read the right... cycle, which is terrible, by the way. Don't read it. In well, I'm just saying... Four hours. If you read the right side, you can read that side way faster than you read the left. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that's right. It's I remember when you showed me this. It, it literally I feel like is. Your brain fills in the blanks faster, but 
Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, it's it's not like I you know. But I read I that fast normally. <laughs> well, then you're you're fine. You don't need this. But yeah, but this would help the majority of people who don't like reading. Yeah, it's not aiding a disorder. It's just like a little. A, 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 like a majority of people, though. Yeah, but it's just, it's just like a tip. Like another tip: color code your notes, right? So you can find your notes. Am I weird? Them. No, you're not weird. Does that work? Yeah. Yes. Color coding your notes. notes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't I take that. notes if I'm not drawing. That's. I don't think that's weird either, frankly. I used to draw while I did notes. I think everyone does. I feel like people Actually, who don't draw are the weird ones. It's like no way you were paying that much attention. Yeah. I refuse to believe it. Refuse. But it, if you, like I said, Madison, if you look at that bionic reading thing, I've seen uh, it. The thing it's that just, I just posted. It never like made me faster. Well, just kind of uh, fast. That means you're probably fine. But the, the point yeah. being, like, I would not be opposed to like getting a degree or getting a degree in English if it was more writing than reading. But because it was so much reading, I didn't want to do it. I did so much reading in high school. I basically had to read a novel every two weeks. And okay. I don't remember anything. That would explain a lot of burnout. I don't. I don't retain anything about what, what did I have to read. The Scarlet Letter, uh, Wuthering Heights. Uh, I recall liking The Great Gatsby, but I don't. I don't remember the details that well. Uh, wrote, I, the guy died. He, yeah, <laughs> just somebody. We're just gonna. Someone died. Yeah. Uh, I, okay. You know what? The Shakespeare play. We don't know who. The Shakespeare plays were fun. But I don't remember anything about Hamlet. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, I only remember because it's like one of the most famous plays in the world. Macbeth was fun. Hamlet, I don't remember anything. Uh, I got stuck with the class clowns for that project. We had to do like a modern remake of one of the scenes. We didn't do Macbeth. My friend brought in... Oh, wow. Fortunate. Yeah. We, we did My friend Julius brought in Caesar. lightsabers for the swords. Yeah. And some guy jumped out the window. Nice. Now that that's cool. <laughs> he almost got in trouble because there was teacher meeting in the other room. <laughs> Good. Oh. Uh, the other, we also did uh, Much Ado Without Nothing, which again, I don't remember anything about it. So, like, most of the stuff I read in high school, I'm sorry, I didn't have passion for it, so I don't remember it. But, like, I remember no, my teachers. Yeah. Normal. I remember my teachers. Um, I remember, like, some of the, the lectures they told me, but it's about specific books. I don't remember. Most, most, that's also why I would suggest schools implement bionic reading, because it actually makes reading more interesting even if you're not interested in the topic that you're reading. I can tell you my favorite uh, book, though, but it wasn't a book I was required to read. But I oh, Lord of the what book is it? It's, it's, what I'm about to say, I promise it's not a religious book. Uh, but it, it's called The Five People You the Need. The Book of Mormon? The Book of Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no. it's called The Five People You Please. Need in Heaven. I forget who writes it. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's a pretty easy read. Uh, it, it, it's still like a hundred pages, but it's like a small book. Uh, and it's about a guy, I think his name is Jerry, older fellow. He works at like a pier amusement park and he dies. Mitch album? That might be it. And he then goes to That's heaven great. and meets the five people whose lives he influenced the most. And it's like two of the people, maybe three of the people are people he's like never met. And huh. it's a, it's a, it. It alternates between the, the past and the present because in between the people he meets, it kind of does like flashback cutaways and kind of fills in details of his life. So when you, when you see the next person he meets in heaven, you're like, oh, now, now you see how he influenced this person and stuff like that. Mitch huh. Album did that. Mick who? Mitch Album. That's, what, that's oh. what Madison said. I don't remember that. I, that might be the author. I have to look it up. I yeah, looked it up. Tuesdays with Corey. Wait, what it's was Tuesdays it? with Maury. He wrote Tuesdays with Maury. I don't know what that is, I'm afraid. So, uh, it's like a, I forgot what genre of story it's called, but it's like, it essentially happened to him. It's like, he used to visit his teacher like every Tuesday like, after he graduated until the teacher died of ALS. Oh. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a very good read. I, I liked it a lot. I, <laughs> and you know, that stuck with me because I was enjoying it when I read it. Uh, but yeah, that, that's my favorite book. I like that. I like that book a lot. Nice. I think you would like the Hitchhiker's Guide then. All right. All right. I don't. Wait, he won't read it. Yeah. <laughs> and he probably won't ever, be, unless it's in a video game or something. Well, I don't know. Well, I have bad news about that. Yeah, is it a video game? 
there is a video Y2K? based on what? a throwaway oh. line in one of the Hitchhiker's Guidebooks. Alright. <laughs> I believe it's the Starship Titanic. Well, you know, you know what probably happens is if, See, I, uh... if I get my dream job at Nintendo, my spare time probably no longer goes to me making YouTube videos. I probably do sit down and live a more traditional life. I probably sit down and watch a show on Netflix where I probably do read a book and have a semi-normal sleep schedule. Okay, so, so Starship Titanic yeah. was released the game was released in 1998. Okay, What's, is it a computer game? It's a computer game. It's on Steam now. I own it. Okay. It's apparently a little broken. I don't know if it's still being supported or if it's been updated since, but it's a uh, first-person graphic adventure game. All right. I, mean, I don't know if you would like it. I didn't get very far myself. Look, if I get my dream job at Nintendo, I will do all of these things. All right, I will read the book. The Checkers Guide That's to the Galaxy. luck to you. I'll play the game. <laughs> you don't have to play the game. I, I can. I'll, uh, that's what I'll do when I get home. Not actually done by Douglas Adams. Because making YouTube videos... Look, I'm, I'm spending eight hours to make one video that's probably going to get, like... 500 views. You could you could always you could always play the game for a video. Like how long is the game? I don't know. Well, then that's I worrisome, have... isn't it? Well, if it's based off a novel, uh, it's at least going to be like 6 hours. Well, they make books, they make games based off like Dr. Seuss books, don't they? I don't think it's a Dr. Seuss book from the what Madison was describing. It sounds like a novel. Darn it. There's no hope for me. Sorry, guys. Hold on, let me look it up Sorry, again. I'm not that smart. Uh, Newsweek magazine in 1998 said it was this year's best new CD-ROM adventure game. Oh. So that's exciting. You want to know a good CD-ROM adventure game? Is Jumpstart Third Grade. I was gonna say Sonic CD, <laughs> but okay. Um. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The physical copy was apparently three discs. Three? Three. That's two. Well, hard. you know what else is three discs? Oh, and Final it came with... Final Fantasy VII. I was just about to ask, was it Final Fantasy VII? Final Fantasy VII? And in Flight Magazine. Yes, it was. <laughs> you know what's four discs? Legend of Dragoon. Oh. You know what's five discs? Because I'm asking <laughs> for a friend. Uh, five discs. Let me think about that. What would be five discs? That's oh, you know, like, Final Fantasy VII is already pretty big. <laughs> Um, you know, oh dear, the Sky Warrior was two discs. <laughs> was it Tales of Symphonia two discs? Yeah. It was, but it was on GameCube. That's even more impressive uh, that it was on GameCube and it was still two discs. Well, GameCube has smaller disc space, didn't it? And the PlayStation 1? Uh, PS2 is the oh, one. Oh, I was compared to PS1 because we talked about those games have like three or four discs. Oh. That's crazy that, like, developers were able to get away with that back in the day. I have a game I want to make discs? so big, but we got to package four discs in order to sell it. Well, yeah, they're still doing it. Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's a three-disc game. Well, that's, it's that's, being... that's different. It's, like, it's being that's sold at out, different like, four intervals. years apart from each other, you know, at minimum, right? Yeah, but it's, it's still... Once all three games come out, it's still a three-disc game. Like, I guess... But I, I just think it's so ridiculous <laughs> that, like, oh, nowadays we live in the day and age where we had to cut this because of, of uh, space limitations or whatever. Meanwhile, Legend of Dragoon is like, nah, man, four discs. How's it, like, how do, how do you... Legend of Dragoon. Oh. <laughs> Crab Dragoon. That's crazy. <laughs> Imagine playing Sonic Adventure and it's like, oh, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles are on this disc. But if you want to play as Amy, Gamma, and Big, you got to go to the other disc. <laughs> oh, what a horrible second disc. <laughs> right. I know, right? I'll just, play eight. Just saying. <laughs> I'll play eight. <laughs> yeah. Like, that'd be a disc I've always played. Uh, listen, the game was released in 1999. Cut it some slack. No, I'm just... I, I, think it's, I think it's awesome that games used to do that. That's my point. Uh, like, we... we even, even Golden Sun did that. Right. We're, like, we're, and I know Sun Sun Sonic Golden 3 did that back in the day, too. It's just, like, we're not... We're not in those days anymore, and it's it's in some ways it's kind of a shame. 
Okay, so this game might be anywhere from an hour to two point five hours. Okay. Why Considering that I doubt. Two discs? What kind I of two hour game takes two discs? I I big the doubt. First person's got nine point eight hours on record. Does he go for one hundred percent completion? I don't know. Okay. Big it doubt. Be a puzzle game. I like puzzles. Well then, where's the story? I thought you were reading a book. Well, it's it's. It's it, not like it, Mario's time machine. It's is not it, a it's not like... a shooty okay. shooty gun game. Shooty gun game. It's not. Yeah, you gotta solve. You gotta solve puzzles and fix things in order to get off the spaceship. All right, and then is it gonna be like after I like solve one puzzle? Is it gonna be like what year was the Declaration of Independence signed? Like ah uh, ah. Uh, it's like, well, if you think the answer is 1776, then you have to turn this dial 1,776 times. Like, okay. No, but I know a game that's like that. <laughs> what game is Except that? Without the uh, question. What is that? So you just have to turn the dial until you get it right. What is it? I believe it's called Dementia. I'm sorry, what did you say it was called? <laughs> Dementia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. I, uh, I mean, oh, I can see ridiculous. if I can hunt it down. Okay. But do you get vertigo? <laughs> times, and I still don't understand it. <laughs> Listen, I'm not good at remembering titles, and this isn't the game I played myself. It's something I watched someone else play, and it was horrible to watch. I'm telling you, jumpstart third grade. That That's the educational game to play. No, Mario learns to keyboard. Mario learns to keyboard? That's up next, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play that for eight hours. Actually, the first one, the first one's really depressing, cause the like the the <laughs> I remember. Okay, so like the completionist did a top ten video where that like the top ten weirdest Mario games or whatever, and Mario teaches typing one was in there, and we had to get footage for it. So we we got we got the game somehow, and we had the the it's one of those games where just like any other educational typing game. It's like type this sentence out, right? And it's it's you're like typing a paragraph, and the paragraph was like talking about the Great Depression. Fuck. Yeah, the game was wow. like weirdly, weirdly like sad and depressing and like uncomfortable. Dang. It was like, unemployment what? reached 75%. Armed and Delirious is the American title. Armed and Delirious. Armed and Delirious. That's the game. That's the PC game you want me to get. Oh, that, no, that's, no, that, that's, that's to not the PC it. game crank I want it. you to get. That's it's the bad the, one. Yeah, it's the one where you gotta crank a thing until you get it right. Yo, yo Shiller, how good are you at typing? I'm pretty fast. Alright, may I recommend you get Typing of the Dead and do it on the hardest difficulty? Oh, I'm familiar with that game, because, I once again, <laughs> the completionist, uh, <laughs> he was doing, he used to do a series called Super Drunk Bros, where you get drunk and play a game, and, like, one of those games was Mario is Missing, and one of them was, uh, was Typing of the Dead, and every time we got a typo, we had to take a shot. Suffice it to say, we got, like, three levels in, and then we had to stop. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we... I'm I'm familiar with that game, and I I could do it. I I love House of the Dead, but I can't. Uh, I cannot promise that I will do a video on that. Because c recording computer games is tough for me. I like it when things are on a designated console, because that, that way I just record it straight the, through the Elgato. Or, or you know, plug it, plug your controller into the computer. No, that, that's not the, the issue. Isn't the control? Oh, oh. The issue is the, okay, the yeah. recording. All right, never mind then. Ignore me. Sorry, man. I can never ignore you, Nera. Is that an insult or a compliment? I couldn't. Okay. Okay. Well, to be fair, <laughs> anyone can ignore every anybody. All they gotta do is just not listen. I don't ignore my friends. What did you say, babe? If I wanted to ignore See, you, Emma ignored me. <laughs> What'd you say, Charles? If I wanted to ignore you guys, I could just leave this call and just like play <laughs> by myself for the next two and a half hours. Yeah, but then you'd be miserable. All right, everyone off the bus. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm already pretty miserable, but you guys being here makes the drive a little easier, and I appreciate that. So thank you. You want you want to know something that grinds my gears? Sure. 
So the Super Mario Amiibo got a reprint, right? The, like the Wait, which Mario one? series one? The Mario series Amiibo got a reprint. Okay. They have now upped the price from twelve dollars to sixteen. Yes. Okay. That's that's correct. Amiibo are sixteen dollars oh base price now. Yeah, but like. Why? Inflation. Why right. did they bump up the Mario Amiibo in price? Inflation? I understood. Probably. Um, I understood the Zelda ones because they were more detailed and more. Uh, more detailed and you know, it probably took more plastic to craft those. Can I can I um, jump back to the CDs? Yes. Really quick. You said. Wait, let me finish my let me finish my thing. Um, I I still think it's stupid that the Mario Amiibo, which sold for twelve, is now sixteen. Like, it's, it's like, like the Mario. It is absolutely stupid. I don't deny that, and I think it is kind of ridiculous. And it does make me grateful that I bought the Amiibo when I did. Because I remember when people were giving me a hard time. You spent $30 on a Rosalina Amiibo? I'm like, I sure did. <laughs> Look at it now. <laughs> you do, you think like, the upcoming, do you think the upcoming Mario movie has something to do with it? Yes and no. Uh, I think obviously they want to sell more Mario merchandise. And obviously there are games that utilize the Mario Amiibo. Like Smash Brothers and Mario Kart Deluxe and so on and so forth. Um... And so I think having the Mario Amiibo are kind of think, dying. I think they always want to have the Mario Amiibo out, and I think the Mario movie coming out plays into that. But yeah, Amiibo are not as popular as they once were, and they they're kind of just a novelty now. All right, Madison, what what game has five discs? <laughs> so you were curious about the five CD disc game. Yeah, it's it's Armed and Delirious. Oh. It has five discs. That's a lot. <laughs> how did they get away with that back in the day? 1997. What? That's how. Wait, and how? It's a five disc game, and you're telling me it's only like nine hours? Hot, big Wait, what? what did I say anything about the time of Armed and Delirious? <laughs> Armed and Delirious is not nine hour. Oh. Okay, I was about to say, okay, I was about to say, because I can get more out of Final Fantasy VII with... That game better look like a 2023 game <laughs> if it's five discs. Right. I think I think I'm more curious as to how uh, Tears of the Kingdom is going to look with it being a $70 price point game. It's going to look like Breath of the Wild. It's going to look like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew everyone was going to say that. Which which begs the question: Are they only making it seventy dollars because they're not just like ex it's it could, because it's a Switch exclusive this time and not just Switch and Wii U like it was for Breath of the Wild? Okay. Mm, so okay. So, so I think the reason. Yeah, go ahead, Charles. I think the reason for this is because back in I think a year or two ago, uh, game developers made the initiative, mainly Sony, uh, to make the prices of video games go from sixty to seventy dollars. And them wanting to, hey, that's right, inflation does exist. We should follow the trend. So well, I see, and I always thought it was because I mean, PlayStation Five games and even some Xbox Series S games being priced seventy dollars as they are is because of the production value gone into it. Because those seventy dollars games actually do look really good. Okay. Well, I could say to be fair, uh, Tears of the Kingdom also has a high production value. Yes. Well, yeah, it looks. It, it still looks gorgeous, and graphically, yeah, it's inferior to, I don't know, The Last of Us, whatever. Um, but it also has a different art style, so I wouldn't say, like, the five, six years that they used to spend making this game is worth any less than the five, six years that they used to make a PlayStation game, you know? Ultimately, the answer does boil down to Nintendo is charging $70 because they know they can get away with it. But the, like the the reasoning behind it has has got to be one of the two following subjects. Subject one, the truth of the matter is that games are just becoming more and more expensive to make, and Nintendo's been trying to balance that out by making games more and more quickly. Like, well, if we get games out more quickly, then we can spend more time making games like Tears of the Kingdom, right? But sometimes there's development issues. Sometimes they they become over ambitious. And the seventy dollars is to recoup that price they spend. And option two is it could have to do with inflation. It could just have to do with well, like the, the standard is going to be seventy dollars because technically games were sixty dollars back in the nineties, and sixty dollars was was 
worth more then than it is now. So it, then it, it went to fifty. Yeah. yeah. So ultimately, it, it just comes down to Nintendo knows they can get a few extra bucks if they charge ten dollars more for this game, but the, the actual incentive behind it, it it's either going to boil down to that's what the rest of the industry is doing, or that's our answer to be able to make bigger games. Oh, oh, there is a third one. What's that? The initiative to push uh, the two-game coupon thing. Oh, that's fair. That's that, fair. That's also one. Um, that's... Because if you buy this for 100 bucks and you buy two $70 games, look who's saving $40 now. That's true. Yeah, but that, that that's but that's also on the uh, the account of people actually having the space and the resources to be able to download games like that. Well, I mean, you're I, not I, 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 I say that, game I, on the library. <laughs> well, well, obviously, but I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I looked up how big uh, Tears of the Kingdom was going to be, and that's a pretty hefty file size. So, I mean, but like, if you're if you're going to get into games digitally, like, you should know what you're getting yourself into. So you're probably just used to exactly. Buying. Oh well, sure, I, I I agree with that, but I mean it's also, it, it, yeah it's also you gotta like think of the people who have to like, yeah you can save money by getting the coupons on those seventy dollar games inevitably for the Switch or whatever, but then that's also extra money you gotta spend on the SD cards and the storage and everything, and it's like, well yeah then you'd use the forty dollars on the extra SD card. Yeah exactly. <laughs> Get a nice like I mean, two and, terabyte. And it's not like you're. You use the forty dollars to get what a, a one terabyte SD card, and then there you go. You're set for I don't know it's twenty twenty gigantic games, you know. Yeah, on a Nintendo I guess. Switch. On a Nintendo Switch, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, on a Nintendo Switch, you can you download get that it, on but... the play you know, on the PlayStation Five. Like, all right, well, maybe you can download three quarters of a game. Yeah. I guess. Point being, like it, it is a problem though. Games are becoming more expensive to make. And people want them more quickly, so companies are trying to keep up. That's why, you know, like not, not that I want to like slam the games I'm about to say, but that's why certain games like Mario Strikers Battle League release the way that they do. They they release a game. Uh... To get it on the no, they release a game to get it on the market, and then they do the downloadable content model instead because it makes their schedule look better. While they can develop, yeah, I mean that's why that's why the Switch sold like hotcakes because wow, look at all the games. Well, yeah, even like, though they're not complete, you know. When the Switch first came, well, okay, so when the Switch first came out, but in that first year, everything was a banger, right? Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Splatoon two. I think Arms is great. Think what you want, Mario. Plus no, no, Arms, Arms is great. Uh, don't forget, Bom don't forget Bomberman R. Bomberman R. Uh, there, there was a lot of stuff that first year. All right, so obviously that's what in Mario Kart Deluxe. That's why the Switch sold well at first. Uh, now, like as we go forward, and Nintendo holds these like investor meetings and, and whatnot, uh, you know, they want to avoid having a situation like they had in 2016 where they're just like, "Well, we got." They Zelda. have no games. Yeah, where we got Zelda, so they they're, they got to get games out, but they want to make these bigger games like Tears of the Kingdom on the regular. So they, they try to strike the balance, and they've been doing a pretty good job. I gotta I gotta say. And to comp to compensate for that, because these big games are taking longer and longer to make, uh, they figure, well, easy answer, charge more money. That is the easiest answer. You know, because like yeah. they might there there might come a time in the future, like not immediate future, maybe like five years from now, or they might charge more for Switch Online as well. So I'll be buying like five bucks. Which is kind of, be a it's, huge it's, crazy, it's crazy to think that you're still getting more value off of Nintendo Switch Online than you are for uh, PlayStation nowadays. I mean, on, I, I guess that's on debatable. Face, on face value, yeah. It, it's the, yeah. yeah. To be fair, PlayStation does release uh, monthly games once you download them, and they're like within the same year. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing, too. That comes down to and yeah. They, uh, I mean, no, you'd just, argue the equivalent to that thing. is Nintendo just cranking out the um, the retro services where you get like, no, no. the entire library of stuff. I'm also saying this to play devil's advocate because, uh, you know, whatever, just being able to play games. Sony also made a PlayStation membership where you can play retro games. Right. Um, yeah, but that costs like 
even more, like tons more. Oh, I won't say tons more. Yeah, it's probably Nintendo over Switch Online is the same, the same thing, right? Like you get the basic service, which grants you the online. You, you get some like NES and SNES games, or you get the more advanced one, and that gets you the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, and all the other DLC kits that go with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and that's essentially what Sony's doing now. They they said, oh, that's a good strategy. Let's do that with the added fact that yeah, they're charging more, but they also give you games that came out within that same year every month too free of download and as long as you have the playstation membership you can play them again just playing devil's advocate i'm not saying one's better than the other obviously the switch (laughs) online model looks better the more games they add to the service but you know just just on the same token though like if you don't like playing NES games or SNES games. Retro games, yeah. yeah like, of, co- of course it's not going to be worth it to you. But, like, te- techni- like technically, at literal face value, all right, the fact that they've added 30 NES games and 30 SNES games, like, that literally means what you're paying for the service, like, that cover- that you're getting more than your money's worth. Technically, right? But, you know, I'm yeah. not sitting down and playing... Uh, Gargoyles. Pokemon Crash. Snap every day. Yeah, no. and, like F- Fire and Ice or whatever the other games they have on there. Like, you know, I, I I play some of the games on the service as I as I see fit, and I like I like having access to those, especially on a handheld machine. You have no idea how happy it makes me that I can play N sixty four games on the go. Finally, all right. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's to, to say like one service has more value over the other. Like, I don't know. It comes down to what you want. Because yeah, I, 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 when, when they first announced N64 games, and they said, all right, this is part of a service that's going to cost $30 more, I, I bought it like a sucker. But I, even I was like, that's not really worth it, though. Yeah, again, it's debatable. Uh, let me see here. So we are coming close. We are at two hours and nine minutes remaining. Wow. We're getting there, guys. We talked about a lot of things. Do you remember? Oh, Emma and Platt weren't here. When this conversation started, we were talking about the fact that Wario doesn't have nipples. And now, now, (laughs) we've gone through so many things. So, Wario does not have nipples. In Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games in the swimming event, everyone's in a swimsuit. Mario has nipples. Dr. Eggman has nipples. Luigi has nipple uh, nipples. Uh, even Waluigi has nipples, and we can just assume the female characters have nipples too. Whatever. Um, however, Wario does not have nipples. That's weird. He's not. He's not a mammal. He's not human. He's an. Or at least whatever the. Yeah. Whatever the He's got milk patches. whatever the 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 Mario character we are, are named after our mammary glands, but sure. Wario, he is not named after such a thing. Where he has, Maybe he has... No memory. <laughs> oh, you know why? It's because mammary glands start with an uh, an M. Yeah. So he's probably m- named after Wham- 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 glands. <laughs> why not Waluigi yeah, yeah. then? Well, I don't. You told me he was a. He's a. He's a poser, right? I know. Yes. Yes, he is. He is some poser. He he just wants to be like Wario, but he's all like, "LOL, there is no opposite of L. That's not a real letter. Get out of here, you idiot." Well, point being, Wario is not a mammal. He's a whammel. He's a whammel. He's a whammel. He has it upside down. He has it upside down for we. So you aren't missing much. And Matt and Madison also told me the truth about a kitten is a sentence that I'm not allowed that my supervisor tells me I'm not allowed banned. to complete. Yeah. Yep. Should have banned. Illegal. Yeah, my yeah, my supervisor just yeah, every time I just try to complete the sentence, my supervisor tells me I'm not allowed to complete the sentence on here. You keep talking about how you're not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> you ever think of that? By saying you're not yeah, allowed yeah. to talk about it, you're talking about it more. Yeah. Every time we wow, talk you know about it, you're not allowed to I talk didn't... about it. You keep talking about it. You know what? Good point. What do I know? 
You know what? Good curve. Good swerve. Good, good line. Good, good line. Uh, angle. <laughs> Well, I know it's getting late. You guys don't have to partake in this anymore if you do not want to. Nonsense. So, nope, you're uh, stuck with us. Okay. Japan has soccer trees now. Soccer trees? As in, they're starting to bloom. How does, Yay! How does a soccer tree work? Uh, it's a tree that blooms soccer flowers. It's not a tree that blooms soccer balls? No, it's not a soccer tree. It's a Sakura tree. That's what I said, a soccer tree. You forgot the uh. Uh, soccer tree. You're being racist. I'm not <laughs> being racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soccer tree. That's beautiful. <laughs> I guess they wouldn't call it a soccer tree, huh? They call it a football tree. Yeah, it'd be a football tree. What are you talking about? Sorry. Well, I thought you were with a you. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I didn't watch the <laughs> series. I, I, I messed up. I don't know. I don't it's remember. Okay. I don't remember who won. All right, I gotta check. Who won the World Series? Anyone? Hey Google, who won the World Series? The Houston Astros won the World Series. Wait, what? That no. Hey Google, okay, who won the the football World Cup? Isn't that the Super Bowl? Argentina. On the website Olympics.com, they say Argentina. Argentina are the reigning world champions, having won the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Yep. To it, find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. It is Argentina, and now I remember because uh, a, f a fair share of popular Smash players are from Argentina. They're making jokes. I, I do remember now. Thank you. You can thank Google. Hey, Google! Thank you. Well, I have headphones, um, so Google can't hear. I always try to thank Google or Siri or whatever. I tell it's stupid. I always Aww. think my device too. <laughs> it's just trying to help you, Emma. It doesn't do a good job because I'm like, what time is it? And it's like... Oh, it's this. Oh, by the way, if you ever want to blah, 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 I'm like, I just want to know the time. You think insulting it is going to fix that? Yes. Yes. All right, well, let me know if it works. <laughs> so far, it hasn't, but we'll see. All right. I'm time will tell. Oh, man, oh, I'm getting so tired. You want to know how I'm getting tired? Is anyone still looking at my screen? Uh, I am. This yeah, thing, you still have the green squadron. Yeah, so the thing that's next to the clock, this like little red bar with the gray tube coming out of it, I thought that was like a Sonic the Hedgehog shoe. Uh, like a white sock. <laughs> I can see it. it was, like a white sock and a red shoe. Like, I guess I can. The shoe's yeah. facing, like you're at the heel of the shoe? Yeah, and the shoe's facing away. That's what I saw. I'm focusing too much on like the sand that I'm driving past, like this darker sand that that's here before the brighter sand. That's starting to Don't lose your shoulder. shoulder. What's up? Don't 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 lose. I'm not gonna lose. Alright. I'm gonna we got two hours and two minutes to go. Don't lose. What do you guys normally do when you try to pass the time on a, a long Uh time? I work and then time disappears. And then I'm saying, like, why time? Why are you doing this to me? Just the fastest time? I take a nap. T good, I'll take a nap. Good idea. <laughs> good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Good answer! Show me! Take a nap! And... Ding! <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe a ding. Isn't that always how it goes? They always go, good answer, good answer! And then it's always, eh. Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Sorry, not obvious, but definitely. Show me Nicky Graham. <laughs> 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 and then insert uh, what's his name? Steve Harvey looking at the camera, all disappointed. Yeah. But the fact that it is a good answer. Yes. Well, <laughs> not, I, not so much that it's a good answer, but the fact that it's actually up there. The, the other, the other famous one is like name something you would do for sex, and someone goes kill, 
As Steve Harvey goes, yes! Yes! Kale! <laughs> and then that's it. It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was one where Steve Ar Steve Harvey asked someone name something you, you want your girlfriend to do to your face. <laughs> oh <laughs> and, my gosh! And the and the dude was like, "I'm gonna say sit on it." Steve Harvey was like, "Yes!" <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, should we complete that? <laughs> fine. It's fine. Sit on it. If they, if they said it on television, it's fine. They, they did. Yeah. It was it was, it was so funny. The one that the, the thing that makes me upset about that show. It's the same that makes everyone else upset, where they have a question that's clearly set up for a sexually explicit answer, and someone says it, and then Steve Harvey, like, berates them. <laughs> it's like, you do not want me to get it right? Name something you want me to lose the game? <laughs> about if you left home without it. My clothes! What's the matter with you? How could you say that? Ba -da 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 -da. You know. <laughs> Name something you wish you brought to the shower with you. My significant other. What's the matter with you? Blah, blah, blah. Like it, it's, it's like you're clearly that setting is, that these up. Seem like a, yeah. That doesn't For, seem like an answer that would warrant a what's the matter with you. I don't know. But it's just like they clearly set up these answers that have like a sex joke in them. And then he gives them a hard time. No, no I guess to be fair, no one, no one ever really has to follow up with answers like that. Yeah, they but if, it, if you want to win, you have to. I mean, some of the time they're not like, even up there, to be fair. Yeah, but but when they are up there, you know, it's like, well, then I guess if I didn't answer any crude answer, I would have just not won. That, that, that's, what, that's what makes it even funnier. Navy ground. You think... <laughs> think we could all go on Family Feud as one big family? I'd be down yes. with that. I'll be, I'll be Bradley Bernardo. What the? <laughs> we have to have the same last name. Listen, I'll, I'll listen. You family. said earlier you didn't have a husband either. I mean, we could do Celebrity Family Feud, but I'm not that famous yet. Or do you guys want to go on Wheel of Fortune and guess, and guess some... That's three people only. Well, looks like two of you are gonna have to leave. Wheel of Fortune would be good. Just two? Well, there's five people in here, right? One, two, three, four, four five, six. There's six people in six. here. God, I really am tired. Frick. Yeah. Uh, you ain't got numbers. I ain't got numbers. Well, then three of you are gonna have to leave. Or we can just double up. Is that allowed? Teams. All right. Well, let's use the uh, let's use the Patara earring to fuse. All right, Platt, you're with me. Gotcha. Right. Uh, your show can finally be black. Yeah, I can. I can. Platt, do you still have dreadlocks? Yes. I can have dreadlocks. Cool. Yeah. Hello, your show black. Who was actually? Hello, your show black. Who was actually black? <laughs> your show black. Who is actually black? <laughs> I just heard what you said. <laughs> Can I just say you know you know. Can I just say Charles laughing is the greatest thing ever? <laughs> what do you mean? It's good it's good vibes. For the record, the audience at home knows, there's, a, there's a famous line in Dragon Ball Super where a character shouts, Stop! Don't shoot him. This man isn't black because the name of the character is black and not because. Or Goku black. Goku black, yeah. But they, they just, yeah. sometimes just call him black. So. They, 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 call, they, they call him black as to not confuse him with Goku. Right. <laughs> before, before people think we're making racist here. <laughs> we're not. It's okay. A, a third of the room is black. We should be fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm getting a lot about it. So I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's okay. true. I, I joked about the, the Jewish grandpa from Rugrats way earlier. It said, Stu's the best character from the Rugrats. But the Jewish grandpa is probably like second or third best. Boris. Ooh. Yeah, Mr. Oh. Boris Kropotin. 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 He's great. Yeah. 
But Stu is the best. Did anyone ever play that? Uh, play that new SpongeBob game? Oh, no. which one? Uh, Cosmic Shake. Yeah, I didn't play it. I saw people. I have. I follow people on Twitter that played it. Uh, and apparently it's like buggy, but it's otherwise okay. Because I did hear one. Uh, some some people say that it's better than Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh yeah, mm. I guess I wasn't sure how it stacked up. I was not sure. Yeah, I was just wondering if there was any first parties that have played the game. I have not played it yet. And it's only a forty dollar game. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Once again, thank you for joining me for this. You didn't have to. Like this is this is my bear to burden. Should <laughs> bear to burden. Your bear to burden. <laughs> this is this is for me to deal with. I'm glad that I've had company for most of it though. I was afraid there was gonna be a long shift right about now where I'd have to make up commentary for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Was That'd be awesome. Awesome. What's up? Are we there yet? We are. I'm afraid we are not. <laughs> Crazy. We are a little, a little less than two hours away. Are we there yet now? We are not. Are you sure the wipers don't work? You should smear the bug. I'm scared to like pretend he wins. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> oh, that was the horn. No, what about I can, that crank? I can, honk, I can honk the horn. We still can't hear it. Okay, well I honked it just for you. Thank you. I know I did. I appreciate it. I definitely heard it. At least on at least on your end. Yeah. You can hear it. I'll hear I'll hear it in my soul. I hear the slight humming of this vehicle. And the and the horde. I don't know if the bug made a sound effect when it splattered though. Probably <laughs> probably did. I remember making this some kind of uh You're I remember just kind it did of make hearing kind of loudly. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because we were just actually hyped that something actually happened. <laughs> the the real reason I'm playing this game is it really is for bragging rights. I want you guys from now on, like when I'm done with this, I want you guys to be able to say like, "Oh, I have this weird idea." Oh, you know who would do that? Probably your Schiller. That's, <laughs> well, that's what I, want. I, I know you would do it. Yeah. I've known you for how many years? Uh, potentially my entire YouTube, <laughs> potentially my entire YouTube career. So at least nine. Did I meet you in 2011 or 2012? Uh, 2012? I don't. Know. Maybe 2013. 2012. No, 2013. I was in college, right? So it might have been 13. 2013. 20 for 10 years. Charles, I'm sorry. Maybe longer. What the? <laughs> how did you? <laughs> how are you? How are you, how are you still? How are you still alive? How are you still putting what? up with me? <laughs> <laughs> I should be dead? No, just like... He's oh, been absorbed your yeah. soul forever. I'm sorry if I had any negative effects on your on your mental health. What the? Uh, We're still friends. Okay, good. We've, we've seen each other in person, like, multiple times. That's true. I saw At you in Vegas. Three. You saw me in Los Angeles, and... and then I saw you, you at E3. That's still Los you Angeles. <laughs> yes, you did. So that's at least three times. Yeah, I've I have not seen Mara, Madison, or Platt, though. You'll be seeing me in like two weeks, though. Hi, Mara. Yay! I, I wish I had the ability. To, I wish I had the ability to travel like that. That's okay. Look, I'm living paycheck to paycheck because of stuff like that. Save up, go to a convention, and then friggin' die for a month afterwards. Mood. Yeah. Except yeah. without the conventions. But Nera. Yeah. Hello. 
Or are they going in two else? weeks? Hello. In two weeks. Hello in two weeks. In two weeks. Real. Nara, I want you to see how tall your shiller is. Am I tall? That's it. That's a sentence. Am I that tall? He's you're tall. Did you were, you, like you a, were you looking up at me and you're like, yo! I'm like, it's like a flip, hello. It's like a flip out of I'm, I'm How's the weather up there? We're <laughs> about the same height. Scooter, scooter. You were taking it. Yeah. I'm 6'4". Well, no. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm Nintendo 64. Is that nice to lie on video? <laughs> I'm not lying. Alright, alright, alright. Here's what Charles is getting at, alright? Charles believes I'm 6'3". I believe I'm 6'4". Now, just recently, I went to the doctors for a checkup. And they had to, you know, take my height. And I asked, I said, what's the exact height? And they said, six feet, three and a half. Now, I believe you're supposed to, you're supposed to round up. Charles believes, no, you're six three and a half, which means you're not six four. And I go, well, yeah, you're six three. A lot easier. You're to not say. six four. I'm not with six four. That's something my dad does. He's always like, oh, I'm five nine and a half inches, <laughs> which basically makes me five ten. And I'm like, okay. No, you're five nine and a half inches. No, I'm six, exactly. <laughs> Charles, you're six three. I'm not six three. <laughs> six three? I'm not. I'm six four. Okay. Minus a half. This bit forever. You know, I've been slouched in this chair for so long. You, you might be right, Charles. By the time You're I'm done with, this, by the time I'm with this bus drive and I stand up, I'm probably gonna be six three. You are the Nintendo. You, you literally <laughs> shrunk. Yeah. Are there any Pokemon oh, there? Okay. Are there any Pokemon that are Yo, Shiller. Uh, let me think about that. What's your answer, Charles? Oh, well, I was gonna say, what would happen if you were six? You know, you're you're six three and a half. Yeah. Have a growth spurt and you shoot past six four and just hit six five. Ah, oh, boo! <laughs> it's gotta be six four or six nine. Like I can't, I can't do the other one. <laughs> six, six nine's too tall, though. That's too tall. Six nine's really tall. I think the only person, even basketball basketball players at six nine are freakishly uh, freakishly huge. Why yeah, I, I... I'm not used to meeting people that are taller than me, but as a result, I kind of take note of the people that are. And I've been in the same room as Shaq before. Now, I don't remember if that was E3 or if I, like, saw a basketball game when I was younger and he, he like, walked by. I don't remember. All I can remember is that he was tall because Shaq is, like, seven seven feet I swear he was at an E3. I swear this isn't like a false memory. I swear he was there. Um, and even uh, like when I saw him walk by, I remember thinking, that is a tall guy. <laughs> now the only, the, in terms of like an actual person that isn't a, uh, like a, a, an athlete, uh, Stephen George of Stephen Vlogs fame is taller than me. You are as tall as an Arcanine. <gasps> Arcanine 6'4"? Arcanine 6'3". Well, I'm, I'm than there are no six fours. There's two fours. Okay. But and I know that I looked through the entire Pokédex but, for a five two. Yeah. Because someone was like, "Oh, I'm five two. There's no Pokémon as tall as me." And I'm like, "No way. There's like a thousand of those guys. There's no there's no Pokémon that's five two. Arcanine is one of my favorite Pokémon. I just wish it was the same height as me and not one inch shorter. But oh well." Can't uh, you are, you are half an inch taller than an Arcanine. I am. Meanwhile, I'm exactly the height of a Charizard. Yo, how tall is Charizard? Five seven. Five seven. How is Arcanine <laughs> taller than Charizard? <laughs> that can't be right. And you might say, oh, it's because Arcanine goes on its hind legs. Yeah, but I'm also, as, I'm also as tall as a Victory Bell. Victory Bell makes more sense. That's kind of concerning. Like, wait, Victory Bell and Charizard cannot be the same. And Rapid Dash. <laughs> You're telling me Victory Bell is the same- wait, I'm sorry, rather, Charizard is the same height as a Victory Bell? Charizard, Rapidash, Golem, and Victory Bell. Okay. All right, and Galarian Rapidash. 
Oh yeah, okay, that should be And Dugong. Dugong. What a silly Pokemon. All of us are <laughs> shorter than an Onyx. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean of course, it's a giant rock Onyx is It's a giant rock big. snake. Yeah. Onyx is like 10 feet tall. Yeah. Is but that... basically, everything ends in like 3, 7, sometimes 4, and sometimes 11. How tall is Onyx? Mind you, this is this is always the average, because there are, Pokemon do come in different heights now, but... Oh yeah, now that, they do. Yeah. How tall is, is the you? average? What How were you tall saying? Is Onyx? 28 feet and 10 inches. That's... I could beat that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You're trying to have a growth spurt all of a sudden and get to 29 feet. Oh, you're also as tall as a Rhydon. I'll be, I'll be an Onyx. I'm as tall as a Rhydon? Yeah. 6'4"? Six 6'3". Four. Six three. Nah, then I'm taller than it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there hey, good news. I'm as tall on... as Articuno. That is Rhydon five, is bigger ten. than Articuno? That's not right. I know, right? Insane. That's not correct. Dragonair is oh, 301, Dragonite is 703. Dragonite. There's no Pokemon that are 510? What the heck, man? What? It's 511. Meganium's 511. Yeah, 5 but I'm not 511. You're just and a I'm very not gonna small I'm not gonna boost my height. That's okay, Bailey's better than Meganium. Hey, so bad news, Furret's taller than you. How tall is Furret? 5'11. Well, it's also, oh. it's by its length. My uh, roommate, the, the head to its tail. My roommate used to be Pokekels. She bought the real life Furret plush. That thing. No, you... That, that, or sorry, the life size Furret plush. That thing is big. That thing, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, 11. yeah. It measures it measures the tip of its head to the tail. Its body height isn't actually five eleven, but when Pokemon have it wingspans and tails, really should be. Furret's really cute. When Pokemon have wingspans and tails, they uh, include that as well. They're just a very small Caesar. Okay. Are there any Caesar. Pokemon that are exactly six feet? Exactly six Dude. feet. Yeah. I have to look through these like manually. It doesn't. There, work. It there is, is none. The option. There is no. Uh, there's there's a lot that are exactly two feet. Well, okay, name name one. That are exactly two feet, Larvitar. Yeah, just just one, Larvitar. Ha! I'm telling you, Larvitar. Elekid, Pasha. Celebi. What a baby. <laughs> Do you know his Suin Arcanine is four inches taller than regular Arcanine? Yes. So... I looked immediately at that. So it's six seven. You're as tall as Blaziken. Yes. I am. Yeah, 6'3". No, I'm taller than Blaziken. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a slightly larger Blaziken. I'm an inch taller. No, You're also a slightly larger taller. septile. So, Sorry, a slightly larger mega septile, mega, specifically. How tall is mega septile? Dude, Six, wait, Blaziken, mega septile, uh, mega Blaziken, mega septile, and mega swampart, swampart are all 6'3". That's funny. I'm taller than all of them. That's really funny. I'm taller Especially than all these four eleven. Well, yeah, you're taller by half an inch. I'm taller by a full inch. Half an inch. Let's find a Pokemon that's exactly six. That's almost, that's gotta be one. Uh, Azurul is eight inches. Eight inches or eight feet? Just, just according to Boldopedia, oh, there is none. Sorry, I was thinking of Azumarill. You know, yeah, Azurul, the baby. That ba baby. The little baby. Oh, they have human characters by height. Oh, that, wow. let's go. Who's six feet? Cheating. Cynthia? Cynthia? Uh, let, let me see. Cynthia like six hey, feet? you're you're the same height as Volo. Who's Volo? Oh, the not Cynthia. Not Cynthia. Yeah, yeah the, the guy that's like... Six Cynthia, three. The ancestor, the ancestor to Cynthia. Six three. All right, well, then I'm an inch taller than him. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with this. So you can't keep getting away with this. So can, you know, I can use him as a as a coaster. <coughs> like, thanks, because I can see above your head because I'm an inch taller. Milo took us twenty oh four. Twenty feet. Mhm. Mm that's a big. That's a big serpent. And that's why I love it. Okay. But what other human characters are six three six four? Uh, Volo's a. Oh, uh, I guess there's someone who's six feet, Molane. I don't know who that is. 
He looks like you, but if you were blonde. Well, you're as tall as a registeel. I am. Is it six four? Six three. He's in the Alola elite. He's he's in the uh. He's in the Alola Elite Four in Ultra Sun and Ultra. Oh, Ultraman. I do know him. Yeah, he's a steel type trainer. He's the brother or like the cousin or something of uh, the electric guy. Oh my god. Yeah, your shoulder. You five look... seven. He looks like you if you were blonde. The ox. Who? A little manlet. What? <laughs> manlet gender neutral. Who? Who's what? The oxus is five seven. Yo, I'm taller than Deoxys. Deoxys I'm taller little man than Deoxys. Little oh my Mac god. Little could box a Deoxys and be like... Well, Mac's not even little. He's like average Mac. He's, he's average That's like average Mac. Max. But like 5'7", dude could box a Deoxys <laughs> and be probably Mac. in the same weight class too. Infernape is 3'11". That's messed up. That's a lot Look at this guy and tell me he doesn't look like Yoshiller if he was blonde. I can't look. I can't see it. Well, I was asking Nera and I guess Platts. Um, <laughs> right, let, me, let me see. Emma, can you see it? It was a blonde dude wearing a Yoshi hat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely would be him. Okay. Is it a blonde guy wearing a Yoshi hat? Can I see it? I can see it. It's it's Yoshiller if he was blonde. He's lanky too, and he kind of has like your posture. But I, I do, I do. Remember what he looks like. Briefly. Garchomp is 6'3. Yo, I'm taller than Garchomp. So hang on, Golo has a as tall as Cynthia. So how tall is Cynthia? Uh they don't have an official height listing, but uh -oh. we can assume that she's six three as well. Oh, Cynthia and I are gonna get along. And that's one tall woman. <laughs> I love that the Necess necessary uh, requirements for getting along is the same height. The same height. Well, isn't there like a thing that like girls like Jan tall Mega. guys and guys like shorter women? I don't know. Oh. Jan Volo Mega is the, t the tallest character on record like to actually have an okay. official height. So you're, you're telling me I could waltz on into this Punk 1 universe and I'm, I'm the giant. Alright, I'm... Yeah. I will mow down that world. <laughs> Apparently, blue oh, and red are 5'9 and 5'8. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, according to the Pokemon manga. Okay. Well. What Gallate about, is what about three. Lieutenant Surge? It, wasn't he like the biggest character they ever made? I feel like that dude's like 10 feet tall. Uh, I don't think they have a official height listing for him, so it's not with Or he's like 8 feet tall. Alright. I mean, Wario's 10 feet tall. Yes, he is. He's also as tall as he is wide, so yes, he's he 10 is. feet wide, too. Yes, he is. I remember that. <laughs> Dude doesn't have nipples and is 10 feet wide. <laughs> what, a freak of, what a freak of nature. For context, uh, for the viewers, um, it, it's because this YouTube channel, very, very, very small indie YouTube channel called Game Theory, yeah. <laughs> uh, theorized that Wario is as as tall as he is wide, and they assume that he is 10 feet tall, according to the blocks in Super Smash Bros. Brawl? Yes, and the, th and the thing Brawl. is... When you, when you blow up, because it's going off of a sprite. And in sprites, sprites are obviously drawn into squares. And therefore, war, like the top, the very top of Wario touches the topmost square. And the very left and right of Wario top, touch the sides of the squares. And therefore, they use that to believe. And it's like 10, 10 pixels was one foot in each. Yeah. So they use that to calculate that Wario's height is the same as his width. And therefore, if his height is 10 feet, then his width must be 10 feet. Which... He could have just said five feet. I know, I know. That, <laughs> that would have been way more believable. But they have, he, it, they have something else that he goes off of. It has to do like the distance he's traveling, or like a sign, or something like that. So, Anyways, so why was ten feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> that dude would walk. If that dude was short, shoulder thrusted in the Pokemon universe, that dude would have the ability to use strength, rock smash, cut. Probably waterfall all by himself. 
That dude is destroying everything in his path. Yeah, <laughs> He'll just take one step and everyone gets hit. <laughs> Mario will be playing Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, and these people will be like, "Sorry, there's a tree in the path, and we don't have the Squirt Bottle to get it to move." And Mario will just like pick it up and throw it. Goodbye, pseudo Wudo. Goodbye, pseudo Wudo. Wario would shoulder thrust Snorlax and probably win. And probably like move it over. Nice. Oh, that's why. What? The reason why everything is. <laughs> the reason why everything ends in like 3, 7, or 11 yeah. is because they measured everything in meters. Nice. Oh. So in translation from meters, um, that that's why so everything's like a weird number. Run. Oh, hey, you know what? Six three. What's that? Garbador. Yo. Was tall. That's a tall oh, pile of garbage. Tall, like, trash, I don't. Trash, I don't right? <laughs> that's a tall pile of garbage. So yeah. So you have the one point like, five meter Pokemon. Oh, hey, Sawsbuck. Then you have the one point six. Sauce book is 6'3? Like you know how tall Jellicent is? 6'3? 7'3. Ugh, I lost to a jellyfish. You lost to a giant I, I, jellyfish. I lost to the Pringles man. You <laughs> also lost to Tyranitar. How tall is Tyranitar? You lost to the hat man. 6'7. Well, you know, Tyranitar, you can punch it and it'll shatter into a million pieces. Oh, you won against Joltik. Because <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> Before time we get fighting. Well, I mean, it's like you can throw an ice cube at, at Garchomp and it'll explode. It'll die, yeah. <laughs> if you're fast enough. That's <laughs> yes, true. Weavile is. You can also punch Weavile and uh, it'll also shatter into uh, a million pieces. Great, gr great news, Gudra's also 6 7. Gudra's 6 7? Yep. I, I want Gudra to be big taller big than me. I want to hug it. I just. I don't want to get stuck to it. It's like hugging Barney. Terrakion is 6'3". Why are they all the same? Why is Terrakion and Rhydon the same height? Verizion is 6'7", and Cobalion is 6'7". <laughs> Bless you. Bless. 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 This is Thank so you. fascinating to see. Well, Coridon's 8'2", I believe it. He's like a horse. Zekrom is a full foot shorter than Reshiram. 1006 to well, it's, it's because of the little hair antenna thing that Reshiram has. They both have a hair antenna thing that goes up. But Zekrom's is shorter. But it goes up more. And oh, it, it's it's also the tail. Uh, like I said, Thanks. since this Pokemon has a, a longer tail span, uh, and they measure Pokemon. Based off their tails slash wingspans, it's weird. Weird. Like Arbok, it's eleven feet. <laughs> That's terrible. <terrifying. laughs> eleven. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, eleven six. But... Oh, that, that's not helping. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that's not helping either. That's oh, very wait, helpful. Guys, I'd like to make an announcement. <gasps> I'd like to make an announcement. <sighs> we are about to pass that's... four thousand miles. Yippee! I hope that you'll all join me. <laughs> Miles at the something and a half hour mark. Right, so basically, yeah, we're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna make, make it. it. We're, gonna do it. we're doing it. Alright, I hope you guys well, I will me. walk 5,000 miles and I would walk 4,000 more. more. I hope you guys enjoy this momentous occasion. I'm so glad you all chose to stick around. What's your bus called? What's the bus called? What's the your name bus, of the bus? Your bus company. The bus of your, us. The bus of us. The bus of us? Okay, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's what you get when well, I've been on the job for six hours, alright? <laughs> the bus. Alright, guess how big Eternid Max Eternus, Eternatus is. Uh, oh, well, that was, that was close. I was almost driving too far on the right. I heard it scraping. Uh oh. I could see it about to happen, and I was, I was, I was like, busy looking oh, at the no. odometer. Up oh, here. Wait, I'm gonna say like Chris Pratt. Here we go. And oh! Here we go. 
Wahoo. Alright, how tall is the Turnamax? Yeah, 184 do you know? and eighty four feet. No. How big is it? Three hundred and twenty eight feet. Okay, I was close. <laughs> How big is Waylord? He should be here, right? You ever think about like just being a foot long, a subway? Yeah, foot Whale long? Lord, I think is an outlier. Okay, I have a question. You ever see a subway mean. foot long and you're like, this thing is one sixth the height of my body, and I am consuming it into my body now. You ever, you I've eaten like... half of one and saved the rest for later. Okay. I just like when you talk about like the height of foods. You ever compare it to how tall you are? Sometimes. No. And you're like, no. I'm you're like, I'm eight. I, I'm I'm five and uh, three quarters. Wait, why does Pokemon D have a Pokemon? That's weird. It's like this this whole this food is I'm it's one sixth of my height. And yet, it's all going to fit in my stomach in just a moment. It's called chewing your food. It's called, it is called chewing your food. I was looking for what it was called. Alright, guys, welcome. with any luck, I'll be done in an hour and a half, okay? Why is Cosmo one so frickin' dense? So, in theory, in an, oh, in an hour and a half... Star. What's up? It, oh, she's asking why is Cosmo so dense? Because it's literally a star. Oh, it, it is a star. That's correct. Bruh. Star, stars are dense. That's why it's so heavy. It has yeah, its own it orbit around like, it. Little, like, tiny weighs nothing to super dense to weighs a fair amount. Well, because uh, after, it, after Cosmo, it turns into a supernova and turns even into a bat or a lion. So it explodes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it becomes energy. Okay. So it's 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 converted. So it's it's not just matter that spawns into existence. Solgaleo is really good competitively. <laughs> good to know. It's so funny. When I first saw it, I was like, "Yo, he's gonna be a fire type, and he's weak to fire." Yeah, and Lunala. And then gonna Lunala, dark. he's and gonna be a dark, dark type, type, weak to dark. Times weak to dark. <laughs> <laughs> they got me, man. Yeah, Solgaleo. Sun and Moon got me. Solgaleo's they they trolled me. Cause I, I, was, I, was, to, I was caught. I used to compete with Shedinja, which is a Pokemon that can only get hit with super effective. I love moves. Shedinja. I love that little bug, alright? And then they made all it's these legendary Pokemon that had all these moves and abilities that were like, screw Shedinja. Like, like okay, Zekrom and Reshiram, their ability... Makes it so that they can hit any Pokemon regardless of their ability. So if they have Levitate, you can still hit them with a ground move. Right? If they have Water Aww. Absorb, you can still hit it with a Water move. They got Flame Body, you can still hit it with a Fire move. You, you get it. So that means they can hit engine with whatever they want. That hurts me. And then, uh, Solgaleo learns Sunsteel Strike, which is a steel move that can hit any Pokemon, including Shedinja. So my Shedinja mind That's games... A bummer came to a very quick close and not helping was the fact that Gigantamax Charizard was also becoming more and more popular on Sun Teams in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Because when you play Shedinja in, in an actual competitive setting, your win condition comes to defeat anything that can hurt Shedinja. So if your opponent has like a Kyogre on it, you can just leave it. <laughs> I don't want to worry about Kyogre. I gotta worry about everything else. But, uh, Solgaleo, man. Messed me up. That's rough. Yeah. That poor little bug. Yeah. It was fun. It was funny. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> Berserker is 2 7. <laughs> Surfetched is also 2 7. Even with that sword? Well, it's, uh, it's the uh, measurement of. Well, because that's a disjointed item. It, probably. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the sword is disjointed, so it's not counted. It's not actually a part of him. He can throw it on the ground and walk away. Okay. But wings, you can't get rid of a Pokemon's wings or tail unless you cut it off and eat it like slowpoke tails, oh, which is yeah. a delicacy in the Pokemon universe. That That's I've right. Heard. They cost one million Poké dollars. 
Only if it's Team Rocket selling it. Right. Well. I don't think any of these guys are six feet exactly. Oh, it, did we ever guess Eternatus' height? Oh, he, he said it was 385, and I said I was close. Regular Eternatus is 6507. Nice. That boy gets a big old growth spurt. Fat. Chunky. Are you telling me Calyrex is 37? That's horrifying. Worse is that when it gets on the back of the uh, horses. Wow. Yeah. Then it becomes a big one. Last year is 7 3. See, I like fighting Ice that. Spider is 7 10. I liked fighting those because Glastrier didn't have a move that was often didn't come with a move that was super effective to Shodinja, and Spectrier would often get one shot by Shodinja using Shadow Sneak. So I loved fighting them. That was, nice. That was great. But yeah, I. Uh, people stopped bringing them. Because other legendaries were exploiting their weaknesses. Yeah. It checks out. And now I haven't really been keeping up with Scarlet Violet competitive, but I'm, I'm I, I wanna I wanna get into it, but I gotta commission some assets and finish driving this bus first. <laughs> now ever since I saw Saru Ledge, I've been thinking about spiral lights. Yeah? Looks like Spiral Knights. Which is that your favorite Gen 9 Pokemon Server Ledge? I wouldn't say my favorite. I mean and I guess I guess I like it. Who's your favorite Gen 9 Pokemon? I haven't played Gen 9. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, are you still here? Yes. Who's your favorite Gen 9 Pokemon? Oh, is it Grafai? Oh, there's so many good ones, to be honest. Is it Palafin? Uh, I haven't used Palafin. Is it Dedun Sparse? No. Tinkaton's a monster hunter. That's funny. Is mm. it Sprigatito because it's a cat? I do like uh, Sprigatito's evolution line. Masquerade is really cool. It doesn't have to Honestly, be Masquerade. It can be Palafin. It's fine. I need to. <laughs> I need to look at. Oh, hold on! I just deafened myself. Dang it! I have to look at the Pokedex. I'm looking through them now. <laughs> Is it Claude Sire? That's a pretty popular one. Claude Sire is pretty good. Claude Sire is my derpy son, and I will. Mouse like, hole? I love Mouse Hole. Like, I love Claude's fun. Like, I've only Fair had Claude Sire for about nice. a year, and if anything bad happens to him, I will kill everyone on this bus and then myself. Oh my nice. god. <laughs> you ain't killing me! Not when I'm this close, Bob! <laughs> <laughs> If you kill me now, my corpse will come, or my ghost will come back and keep driving his bus. I think the Dunsparce <laughs> is funny. The Dunsparce is funny. But I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite favorite. Okay. Uh, <coughs> some of the legendaries yeah, are good. Alright, which, which one do you like? Do you like the... The... I, don't even know I like the bicycles. Oh, cool. The bicycles. Nice. bicycles. Mm -hmm. and then whatever the uh, quartet is called. They're pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Man, they just did a really good job with these Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, actually, I think outside of Claude Sire, I'd, I'd have to say Smoliv is one of my favorites. Smoliv? <laughs> Round. Smoliv. They're like friend shaped. You want to know friend shape? Kirby. Yeah, he is pretty friend shaped. Let's say Gudra. That's not Gen Nine. 
Honestly. Yeah, I don't know. I like either Tandem Mouse just because their concept is really cute and they're super adorable. Or Several Edge because he's awesome. Several Edge is pretty cool. Alright, I've had this bag of Starburst beside me for too long. Or Masquerade because Cat. Oh my god, you haven't eaten anything, have you? Uh, no, I, I had a- I had a- I had a sandwich before I started, but... That was eight hours ago. Well, seven hours seven, ago. Seven hours ago. Seven. Yeah, I haven't eaten in seven hours. That's bad. Well... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't so play this game because I wanted to be healthy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fair enough. I still laugh at what Charles called his squawkabilly. What was it? Uh, I don't know if he wants to be here. He's not here right now. But it was, uh, he was trying, he got the blue one because it comes in different colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was trying to name it Blue Pomp, which is short for. Like, oh! <laughs> Instead, he called it Blue Pimp. I forgot about that. Surprised it let him. Yeah, right? I'm surprised too, actually. So you can't name something Hump. <laughs> so if you're named Humphrey, I got some unfortunate news for you, buddy. <laughs> Blue Pimp. That's the name of his bird, and he hasn't changed it. Whenever he makes a typo, he fully commits. Kind of sad they never introduced for the uh, Galarian fossils full versions. Yeah, like they're just doomed to be misshapen atrocities for their entire <laughs> lives. These poor little creatures. <laughs> it's kind of funny that way. <laughs> it's kind of funnier if you just like left to your imagination what it's supposed to look like. Instead, we have <laughs> the complete opposite. But you know, uh, what was I about to say? We're at that time of the night, folks. Uh, the, the thing with the fossil Pokemon, though, is I, I really do respect the fact that they're not rock type in Galar. In Galar. I that like, is pretty nice. I like that the types like mix and match too, depending on the way you put the fossils together. So you either you get water, ice, dragon, right? But then depending on how you match it, you might get electric ice or electric dragon. I should do a region that's just fossils, and you just create horrible hybrid abominations the entire time. That's called fossil fighters. No, it's not. You don't make you don't make hybrids, but you do dig up fossils and then compete with them. Also, also, I was Same. gonna say, isn't it, isn't it that weird Pokemon Fusion game? That weird Pokemon Fusion fan game? Yeah, I was gonna say it's not official, but yeah. Oh yeah, well that yeah, that's a fan game. I haven't played that yet. <laughs> I was gonna say if you want to, if you want weird abominations, go play that. So. Yeah, but it's not the same. It still makes just as weird abominations. They're just as weird. Hmm. That's fair enough. And I and I've seen them. They gave me nightmares. Wow. Some of them gave me nightmares. Thanks, Alex. Where is she? Is she pinker? Bring her in here. <laughs> in the middle of the night. Yeah, tell her I'm playing Desert Bus. I like Dragapult. Oh. That's Gen 8. Mm -hmm. Dragapult's Gen 8, but it's a very good Pokemon. Yeah, it's like 5 o'clock. She's probably out. No, she's probably awake. It's 5 o'clock. Actually, you know, it's Alex. Who am I kidding? We're nearing the final hour of our journey. Now is the time to Actually, bring anyone and everyone into this call. Ping them Actually, up. wait, no, she's not... Wait, never mind. She's not even. Ping them all. Bring them all. <laughs> I'm still mad to root can't learn Sandstorm. Okay, at everyone. <laughs> Zerude cannot learn Sandstorm because it is a monkey. It's a grass monkey. It should be able to learn Sandstorm. Okay. <laughs> I wish it could. It cannot. It can learn other ground moves, like Mud Shot. 
Yeah. <laughs> Still can flying types, though. They're not sandstorm. Why well, would it want to learn a move that only hurts it? Because, because, because it's funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. Alright, I have a question. I have a question. Yes, yes. We shall soon be approaching the 1 hour 15 minutes remaining point of this desert bus experience. And so I think it's only appropriate that we now start planning for the future. So the question okay. is, when this is done, when I've completed this desert bus drive, when the 8 hours are up, when I finally arrived in Vegas, what are you going to do next? What are you going to do? Like, when I'm done with this, Emma, what are you going to do? Go to bed. Um, I don't know. I might sleep, to be honest. Yeah, and after, exactly. after Go to you bed. sleep. Like, what are, your, what, uh, what are your plans? What's next in your life? I'll wake up. And Desert Bus 2, the sequel. <laughs> Desert Bus 2, the sequel. The Desert Bus VR. I don't know, man. I'm pretty tired. I don't know if I could do this again. I, mean, I do it now while I'm still young. Drive a bus across the desert for eight hours. But you already did that. Well, not yet. I got an hour. The bus with no name. Welcome back, Charles. Charles, we're nearing the end of our journey. We got an hour, fifteen minutes remaining. Yes. When I'm done. Yes. What's What's next for you? Like, why Why are you here? Like. Are you really just waiting for me to finish this so you can go to sleep? No, I'm working. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm also what working. am I going to do when you're finished? Yeah. Probably still be working. <laughs> am I really going to go to sleep before you? Maybe. That's absurd. That's not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> what about you, Nara? I said I was going to sleep. Same as Charles, working. There's no way you two are going to keep working after I'm done driving this bus. It's the art grind, man. Yep. Oh, yeah, I've been painting this entire time. Not painting, painting, but, like, you know. The art grind, I'm telling you. Are you guys actually art grinding, or are you guys really playing, like, poker in the background? I'm, I'm art grinding. I don't know how to play poker. You guys have been playing poker this whole time, and you thought I wouldn't catch you. Well, I caught you red-handed. My name's Ash, not Red. Mm. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Ash Handed. You're under arrest. Well, I mean, he might as well be. His story's about to end. Mm. Oh, favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, Charles? Uh, I think Pelican. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer. I said either Tandem Mouse, Serulage, or Nesperita. I I really like Palafin. And especially since he was my first shiny in that game. Yeah, that, I'm jealous. That's really cool. I, like I was that. like, there's a dolphin! There's an outbreak! There's a shiny! <laughs> <laughs> it all just worked out. That's pretty darn lucky. So much dopamine, just because I, I um this is when I was that far in the game, so I hadn't encountered it yet, and I was like, oh, I wonder what this outbreak is, and then you know it was Palafin, like, ah! or sorry, uh, yeah, Palafin's the first one, right? Yeah, one of is the first one. Yeah, <clears throat> so I I would go up to that raid area or uh, outbreak. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what it is. And I'm like, oh, it's a dolphin! <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna catch you. And then, um, you know, while just walking around through this outbreak, just defeating it, uh, all of a sudden, a purple <laughs> appears, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> and I caught it, and became my favorite. It's also a really good water type. Mm-hmm. It really does. Alright, 
right, guys. Question. Hmm. What's the worst movie that you guys have seen but is still a guilty pleasure to watch? Oh, God. Um... And you can't say The Room. Out of the room, we'll just say the room. I had a feeling like Nico well, was gonna finally come running back in here. He's gonna be awake. He's like the room, the room, the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, to answer that question, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three, like the, <clears throat> the whole live, the whole live, like uh, the turtle the live action trilogy, back in. Yeah, that is a pretty bad film. It yeah, it's a good guilty pleasure. <laughs> for me, oh, like the only thing good about it are the fights. That's about it. For me, either Dude, Where's My Car? Or, like, Good Burger. <laughs> oh, Good Burger! Good Burger? Not, those oh. are not good movies. <laughs> they will still make me laugh. Yeah. I have no idea. I don't watch a lot of movies. What's your answer, Charles and Emma? I'm trying to... I'm trying to think right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, Dude, Where's My Car is still a very quotable <coughs> movie, though. Lest we forget the and-then scene. But... And the good burger house. Oh, I, I got one. Yeah. Uh, grown ups. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. Actually, okay. <laughs> I, want, I want to add one more answer then if we're adding Adam Sandler's movies into the mix. And my, my answer is actually Click. Click? Yeah. I do actually like that one too. Like the, the, first, <laughs> the first two thirds of that movie is your kind of typical Adam Sandler movie where like half the jokes hit. And are, and are genuinely very funny, and the other half are like kind of cringe. And then the third yeah. act of that movie is like a so heart touching. Yeah, it's like a surprisingly whatever. well done, heartfelt movie. It pulls out your heartstrings. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's like, are these the same movie? I guess so. But yeah. Click in that case. I, I do genuinely like that movie. And, you know, I think a lot of people actually do like that movie, too, for the third act, but, yeah. I'm trying to think of what other... Definitely not Cats. That movie's trash, and I regret watching that movie. Oh, you know what? Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. A lot. Okay, so a lot of people don't like the Hulk <coughs> movie, not the original one, but the one they made after Iron Man com came out, like when they were starting to do the MCU. There's that, oh, yeah, there's that, that other Hulk movie where the actor eventually got replaced with Mark Ruffalo. But it's still part oh, of the Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's still kind of as MCU. Yeah, I actually do like that movie. I actually think that's, that's a pretty decent movie. The ending from that movie, I think it, it came out before Iron Man. It came. Okay, so that movie came out right after Iron Man. But Iron Man 2 was not Did out it? yet. Uh, it came out like the same year, I think. Yeah, you're talking about like when Robert Downey Jr. walks into the bar and he goes, We're assembling a team. Iron Man, Iron Man came out two thousand eight. The Hulk movie came out two thousand three. No, no. The, the, so the other, the other Hulk movie, not the first one. The the, the MCU one was not two thousand three. MCU the MCU one, one was two thousand three. No, the MCU one was absolutely not two thousand three. Don't make me have to look this up myself. It is not two thousand three. Nope, I'm 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 a hundred percent sure the MCU one was two thousand three. That is the, and it that featured, is the original, um, that is the original one. That is not the MCU it, it one. Eric Bana, didn't it? And then it has that whole walking scene? Walking scene? Yeah, where he's like walking away and then he does like the little thumbs up. Oh, wait, I just... The one that's labeled Marvel, Studio... Marvel Studios? It should just be called The Incredible Hulk. And it should also be 2008. Okay. Am I crazy? 
<laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right. Okay. I, I searched it up. Yeah. yeah it should be, it that should one be came out before or after Iron Man? I thought it was before those. No, it was it was it was after, and I knew it was the same year because that was the film that solidified like, oh snap, like this MCU thing is actually going to happen, huh? Because Robert Downey Jr. showed up at the end, and the the general says, "Mr. Stark, you always wore such nice suits." And then Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man goes, "Yeah, we're assembling a team," and then it like cuts the black. And, and it, actually, at the end of The Incredible Hulk, it showed Phil in the desert with Thor's hammer. No, that's at the end of Iron oh. Man Two. Was it? What yeah. was the end of? What was at the end of Incredible Hulk then? Uh, Isn't that the Iron Man? Yeah, where Iron Man goes into the bar with the, with the, the, the general. The general oh. is like downing a whiskey or something. And Iron Man says, hey, we're assembling a team. And then the general oh, goes, okay. what kind of team? And then he gets recast. Yeah, he got recast to Mark Ruffalo anyway. Yeah, the, the Thor's hammer was Iron Man 2. Then we got Thor. And then we got Captain America. And that ends with Nick Fury. Okay. Seeing Captain America. That, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. So the 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 movie I was thinking about, the one that made that iconic. Oh, you know, I'm actually a monster now. I'm gonna walk on a highway, and everyone kind of parodied it with the ending song, and then he's like, like walking on a highway, then holds his thumbs up for passing cars. They don't pick him up, then he starts walking again, then holds the thumbs up again to see if he could hitchhike. Mm -hmm. That was a 2003 Hulk. Yeah. Which is just called Hulk. Right. Yeah, that one. That one's not as good. I like the Incredible Hulk, the MCU one, because I don't know. That just feels like a pretty good nonstop action movie. Well, it's not nonstop, but it, like I feel like they did the action pretty well. And that's kind of before we started getting MCU fatigue, you know. That's kind of like that, that movie. I feel indirectly set up the foundation of what makes a good superhero movie. That all these other movies are using as a template. Whatever. In any case, that's that's a guilty pleasure movie of mine. Uh, and Click, by Adam Sandler. <laughs> Frankly, I need to watch more movies. That's something that my uh, colleagues kind of get on my case about, and, and and they're right. I should I should watch more movies, shows, whatever. Oh, we're almost in the last hour, you guys. Yay! Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Can't believe they made this. We're about to release it, and then someone said, you know, maybe this isn't a good <coughs> idea. Maybe we shouldn't release this. And then they got cold feet, and they didn't release it. Well, wasn't the CD-ROM also, like, declining at the time? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if that was the reason, though. But, like, the Sega CD was out. Like, they made this game for the CD. Like, they still could have just produced it. And then somehow, someway, someone got a hold of it and then released it for the rest of the world and made reproduction cartridges or whatever. <clears throat> so there's this voice actor in Canada named Simon Hill, okay. <clears throat> and he uh, is the nephew of Matt Hill, also known as the voice of Ed from Ed and Eddie. Yeah. Uh, oh. But in, yeah, I didn't know he had the nephew who voice acted too. Um, but he, he did some roles that Matt Hill couldn't do when Matt Hill was busy. Okay. Like uh, in <laughs> Gundam Warriors 2, the voice of Kira Yamato is Matt Hill, uh, but he was busy and he couldn't voice act for him, so he instead took the role, and I was convinced that he was Matt Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, but but it's just That's funny that like, his nephew, like like Tom Hanks and Jim Hanks, right? Yeah, uh, yeah I was about to just get a voice double for him. Yeah, I was just thinking like, um, is this like a like that kind of situation? <clears throat> But he's his nephew. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, just randomly saw that. I'm like, oh, that's neat. 
completely run uh, tangent, but yeah. That do be pretty cool. Well, as we approach the final hour of our journey, I think to, to finish things off, this should be our most exciting and engaging hour yet. Wah, 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 wasure mono. Bam, 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 Hello, What's you are thing? listening to Yoshiller FM. Now that you are one hour out of Las Vegas, you will now have stable radio connectivity. So you, now you can actually attempt to listen to music. But it's about 50-50 whether or not we're going to play a song that you actually enjoy. I know Good the luck. song. It's <laughs> on everybody's nerves. Everybody's nerves. Stop. Everybody's All nerves. Right, that's it, I'm changing Stop. it. Stop. <laughs> And so that's why I was just like, I just gotta buy this ointment. Nope, changing that. Darn it. That's all four available radio stations. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Hmm. Yeah, you need more radio stations. I'm not buying Sirius XM. <laughs> oh my god. This oh my god. The <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh my god, it was the speaking channel. Oh. It was so loud. <laughs> Song that will probably get this video copyrighted or something. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Come on, we're seven hours <laughs> in, and then I finally get it with the copyright claim. <laughs> I was like, thank, God, thank you for stopping me because <laughs> I was about to get this video copyrighted. Can you get a copyright claim for humming a tune now or something? You can. It's unfortunate. The, yeah. What song yeah, like, are you going to sing, Nara? If you don't mind me asking. Man, I forgot. I forgot. I was so off. I was so thrown off. I was so thrown off guard. 30 seconds ago. I was so thrown off guard, but I thrown my bat to the bone, man. Uh, can you do the alphabet backwards? <laughs> Congratulations. I'll do the alphabet backwards, all right? I'll do it for you. All right, sing it with me. Z Y X W V U T A B C D E F G H I J K L M N L K J O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Hang on, I need you to go through that elemental P part again. Elemental P. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. You sing the alphabet. Okay. You rhyme on P. Okay. You dash through like five letters so you can immediately get to the next closest rhyme. Okay. What are you doing? You should have just remembered. You should have just remembered. I was gonna. I was gonna sing Despacito. Oh, yeah, let's not do this. I'm busy, I'm busy quoting Charles in the alphabet. Alright? You rhyme on P. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. O, P, Q, R, S, P, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. <laughs> so, it's, not, it's so cursed. You are supposed it's to. So it doesn't. You you can't just randomly skip out on a rhyme halfway through the song. 
Sure you can. No, you cannot. We have letters that rhyme. You gotta speed through Elemento and no, go, go straight to P. Elemental P. Elemental P, right. Remember when you were joking about that <laughs> at the start of the video and when I asked you what your favorite letter is and you were like, Elemental P? That's what that is. For the record, I was also gonna sing video, video Kill the Radio Star. I was, and thank, and thank you for stopping me there too. <laughs> if you want, if you want the alphabet to not rhyme so badly, you sing it backwards. Yeah, the people who sing the alphabet backwards still, still do it with the the musical intonation. Hey, I mean, I know, but see, the issue is singing the alphabet forward. You got to get it to rhyme. When you skip out on the rhyme, you take the fun away from singing the alphabet, and you may as well go back to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, because it's the same melody. I'm going to sing the first two lines of Baba Black Sheep. If, yeah. Because that's Baba all Black anybody Sheep. knows. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. It doesn't even... It's, like a, it. it's already like a forced rhyme. <laughs> wool and full. <laughs> I mean, the way you say them with your accent makes them rhyme. Yo, you like my accent, it's like, bro? It's like, it's like when people use the word again to force a rhyme. When, when people don't say again. Yeah. Or like, there's a famous poem that rhymes the word like try or like sly with symmetry. Symmetry? Symmetry. <laughs> it's like... It's like in that uh, one Imagine Dragon song during the rap, the rapper says catastrophe. Wait, no, Catas it, It's catastrophe, right? Yes. But he says catastrophe to make it flow better. Oh my god! It wasn't sly. It was okay. I. Uh, but I don't think it was supposed to rhyme. Well, never forget the most infamous rhyme: "Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal." Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. That's terrible. Do you know? Friday, yeah, Friday. Friday. Tiger, tiger, that's. Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. Everybody's Russian. Wait. I am Russian. Everybody's Russian. <laughs> you know, actually. It was oh my god, fairness, wait. Though. That, so that song isn't great. formatting is bad. That, that song isn't great, but Rebecca Black. Kudos to her for, like, pulling through, you know? Heck yeah, she got bullied so hard. I'm still yeah, amazed at her. Terrible. She's okay, you know? Yeah, I'm glad she's okay. <laughs> it was an awful song, though, but, like... Oh, yeah, I'm not defending glad, the song. Like, like, I don't she didn't do anything like, bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, you made a bad song, you don't get to be declared the worst person alive. Like, it's like, come on, you guys. Boy. It was a... 14 year old girl who spent like it was just so to career. make a song. It was just so easy to make fun of it. That's all it was. <laughs> Kids these days won't know. Guys, back in my day, uh, there were bad songs. Nowadays. Back in my day, we had Lincoln Park. There's, There's a new yeah. Lincoln Park song. There is. I still haven't listened well, to it. Well, it's an unreleased Lincoln Park song. It's un. It's well, I guess not unironic. It is just ironic. It's ironically called Lost. The song is called Lost. It's a Lost <laughs> song. It, it, it's called Lost, and it was an unreleased song because it sounded too much like, or I guess the theming of the song was too similar to In the End. So they yeah. ended up scrapping it. That's fair. And it, then they said, oh, let's, re -re let's release it. It's been enough time. Mm -hmm. They did release a lot of uh, demo versions of songs as well. Oh. Yes. I didn't know it was so complex. I didn't know that it took so many attempts to like make a song. Oh, it's just like making art. It does. I, did, I, didn't know, I don't know like the song making process. Also, have you ever seen Nico make music? Well, so that makes a little more sense to me, because he's, like, making it purely through a computer. But I was, like, I'm so used to people just, like, doing a few strums on their guitars, and then, like, singing, like, a romantic song, and they're like, boom, that's a well, song. Well, they had to get to that point. 
Well, practice. yeah, because it's fake. That's not that's not real. It's all scripted. Yeah, I guess. So. What the strumming? They're tuning. That's tuning. Uh, okay. They're figuring out the tune of the instrument. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know the music making process. I just, I make videos. I don't make, I don't really make audios. You know. That's fair. Oh yeah, if you make videos, you'll go through a video, then you're like. You'll look at the the video, then you're like, oh, I can edit this better. Then you'll end up taking ten more minutes. I mean, making it yeah. better. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, like I mean, obviously, it's not all. It's not always all the time, but that's essentially the same thing. Yeah, as yeah you're right. You're right. No, I, I know demo. what you're getting at. I was just being like, well, sometimes it's like, uh, well, this is how the video has to be. <laughs> sometimes it's first try, and I don't have any more time to work on it. Yeah. Sometimes it's okay. Well, this this like Pokemon match has got to go out now, or this Mario Kart video has got to go out now. But yeah, like I've been I've been working on some videos that have like just not come out yet because I I keep going back and I'm like, there's a better way to explain this. There's a better way to show this. There's a better way to do this. Yeah, I th I've got on record saying this probably a dozen times, but I don't like probably eighty percent of my videos. And then wow. in a year's time, that statistic will probably still remain. I don't like 80% of my videos. But I, I'm glad that I make them because it's one I wanted to make at the time. And I hope that it shows my growth as a, as a creator. So I get it. It's just, I just think it's cool. Like, for songs, though. Like, I didn't know there were, like, other drafts of songs or other there's, cuts yeah, of songs. Yeah, there's a process. That's crazy. I am now trying to drive in a way to where I keep the bug splatter perfectly, like, perpendicular to the to the yellow lines in the center of the road, and it's, like, hurting my eyes. <laughs> oh, you know a game that I don't... Uh, that I don't like that a lot of other people like? What's that? Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh! I feel like... I feel like it's too slow paced. Like, um, they make it too realistic. It's too slow paced. And I I don't really vibe with the Western aesthetic. That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> what do you think of Grand Theft I'd rather just play GTA. I was going to say, what do you think of Grand Theft Auto V? Oh, GTA is great. Yeah. I love GTA. It's so fun. I like the times when we would like drive in a car and drive. Uh, we would be on the way to a, a what is that thing called? A heist. A heist. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And then you would just drive very properly. I would drive and according to the get out of the car. And then, and then while he's driving properly, you're on the shooting people in the back seat. I'm like, yo, Schiller, get out of the car. Yeah, and someone would <laughs> my car. Like, oh. Yeah, someone else would run into my car and I'd be like, oh, all right, hang on, I gotta go exchange insurance. And then I get a, yeah, and then whenever I'd make a little turn, you would get the star. Yeah, whenever I'd make a little turn, I'd you. wait for the light to change. Yeah, that was great. That's great. Can't wait for the next GTA game. That'll be fun. Yeah, so you see the odometer. Mainly because of playing multiplayer. You see where my odometer's at right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when the next GTA game's coming. Nice. Forty-three twenty-nine. <laughs> Oof. Alright. Anyway. Do you think we'll make it to 5,000 miles? Do you think this will stop at exactly 5,000? I feel like it's scripted to end at 5,000. It, it might be. That's some that's some pretty fancy timing. Well, the time on the bottom right's not real anyway, either. No, well, I think it does count up in real time. It's just not what my actual clock is saying right now. Oh, yeah, but, like, if we were to measure the approximate speed, yeah. um, you're going up. I'll start once well, that. Well, okay, yeah, like, this is not a 5,000-mile drive, if that's what you're getting at. This is, like, 300 miles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll start once your clock hits 244, then I'll count how many miles you drive. Okay. And I'll do some math. There's right. 244. So you're at 6. At 436, yeah. 4336. Well, in the meantime, Madison, you and I can still talk. Yeah. What's up? What's up? 
What What's we, up? We are in the last hour. This has to be the most exciting hour yet, because this is the part of the video where people are going to be jumping ahead to, to see what happens, to see whether or not I make it. Nice. And as, and as much as I'd love to do a bit where I'm like, hmm, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tired. We've and already start, spent just, so long, we can't. And I just can't. start derailing. Yeah, I, I can't, can't take any chances. Now. Yeah, can't take any chances. Gotta, I gotta make it. I gotta get back to Vegas. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. Gotta get back. Back to the, the viewers Vegas. who spent all eight hours watching this I are just, the only people I respect. Yeah, well, do you respect me? I spent all eight hours watching this. Yes. Thank you. The, you by inherent nature of, like, driving, yeah. you already have the respect. It's 245, Charles. How many miles did I go up? All right. You're going about, you're going about 80 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, should be, I should be there in like six hours. Wow, I should have been there I'm already. like flooring it, dude. You're, you're like you're zooming it, dude. This I just, bus, yeah, I just did some quick bus, math. Dude. I'm gonna hit like one pebble, swerve slightly like this, like ah. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna like turn over. There'll just be a banana in the road. <laughs> well, like, what is it? Are you driving in Texas or something? You're driving at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> no, that's that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, this does make sense. That this is about the well, yeah, we're for, all going for, for desert when I drove to Vegas a couple it. weeks ago. Yeah. Well, well, the average speed for the freeway on Vegas is like 70, okay. 75. And I figure if everyone else is going 80, and then you, you're you're going with the speed of traffic, you can probably go 80. But like any anything beyond that, it's like dangerous, and a police officer can legally pull you over and all that. And I, and I saw the, them, the I, when, when I was driving, I saw people get pulled over by police officers, and I was just thankful what, it wasn't what, me. Uh, what is it? The 80? I-80? Is that what it is? Uh, they get to uh, Vegas? I think so. I thought it was like 50. Or is it or like 255 or something? I thought there was a 5 in it somewhere. But the drive is only, like, from Los oh, Angeles okay. to Vegas is only like 4 hours, and it's like... It's like 250 miles or something. Oh, it's I-15, yeah. I so... So how's the drive going? Platt, we're in the last Wait, hour! We're in the last hour! This is the most exciting hour of the video because this is the part where people are gonna be dry- are gonna be like jumping ahead to see how things played out. So we need you to help us engage and make things as exciting as possible. Just play the piano. I-15, I-15 is at 70 miles per hour. Megalovania. You're going 10 above speed limit, sir. 10 of each. Do you have portable? any movies that are a guilty pleasure for you? Like movies that are bad, but you like them anyway. I don't, Ooh, watch, yeah, that. Yeah, that's see, I don't watch that much movies. See, I don't Mood. either, but I still put Dude, Where's My Car, Click, Good Burger, and The Incredible Hulk. Movies that are bad. I said, I said Grown Ups. That's fair. <clears throat> an Adam Sandler movie? <laughs> yeah. Do you have an Adam Sandler that movie? Isn't, that isn't. <laughs> the, the, only Adam, the only Adam Sandler movie I'm aware of is, uh, oh God, what was the... What was the, what was the golfing movie? That's Happy Gilmore. Oh, that Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Okay, Happy Gilmore. Do you yeah, like I, Billy I, I Madison? I don't remember much about it. That uh, movie. That movie's a classic. Like genuinely, that movie. That movie's great. <laughs> that movie. Yeah, I always thought Happy. Very I, cool. I always thought Happy Gilmore was a TV show, and not a movie. No. You might be thinking of Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Maybe. And then Adam Sandler named his company after Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore and called it Happy Madison. Ah. Uh, give me a moment. My Discord is slowing up and I need to reset it. Okie dokie. I'll be back okay. shortly. No, Billy Madison's great. Classic. What a nice young lady. Uh, what a nice young lady. What a nice young lady. <laughs> What a nice young laddie. Laddie. Right, I, I know how about laddie. Hey, boy. 
<laughs> After this, though, I really do want to go sleep to do. Me too. Yeah, what she said. Have you, have you held it in for the past eight hours? No bathroom breaks? I haven't gone. I haven't gone to the bathroom. Dang. I haven't. Well, that's also because I haven't eaten anything. Until like this. The oh, have you seen hydrated. hydrated right now? Uh, I have a sports drink next to me and a water bottle, and you guys saw me take a couple sips. Although, frankly, I should have gone through more of that bottle. Probably when I'm done with this, I'm gonna chug it. But I, I have a, <laughs> I have a water bottle here. I always keep a water bottle at my desk. But I I brought a sports drink up because I figured that was like purely for hydration. I'm actually surprised at how much I've been talking, and how little I have been hydrating. <laughs> I am as well. Like you burning. have. Wow. Hey, man. Holy crap. That's why I gotta do going... these things while I'm still young. That's why you gotta succeed. Do my best. Makes all that effort worth it. I hope this is worth bragging about. Be like, yo, guys, I played Desert Bus. I, I got a point in With Desert no Bus. No interruptions. I, like, go to my Twitter bio, played, got a point in Desert Bus. Oh, my job resume. <laughs> Got a point in Desert Bus. Got a play. Got a stellar point. Got to say. One point. Got to do it so in I can Desert say I did bus. it. In Desert Bus. Yeah. Got to do it so I can say I did it. Cross this off the list. And then I can start playing. We're going to be. Some, I can start playing some other games that I want to play. Like, I've, I wanted to do. Like Desert Bus VR. I, one day. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta finish uploading Zelda Four Swords. Hey, that's a good game. I hope that game comes to NSO. I gotta, we gotta yeah. get ready to do videos. <laughs> There's so many other games. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a rerun of that, are we? If it gets in, so. Sure. I mean, I mean we can see if we've grown as players. Probably not. We'd still probably. all probably be immature. <laughs> probably not. We and we'll still be at each other's throats. Oh yeah. Mood. But Kirby and the Amazing Mirror! Kirby and the Amazing Mirror! That's yeah, potentially that's coming out next month. Kirby! Kirby. I'm allegedly! The Amazing Mirror! I once 3D modeled. Oh, allegedly! Allegedly! It didn't go very well. You 3D modeled? Uh, not very well. I didn't know you did 3D modeling. Uh, Autodesk Inventor when I was in school, but yeah. now I don't have uh, access to Autodesk Inventor. What if I gave you access to ZBrush? I don't know how to use that. I'm intimidated. Or just use Blender, because it. Works the same. What if I buy you yeah. a blender? Yeah, it's free. <laughs> what, if, what if you buy me a blender? I'll make a smoothie. That's a, that's the best answer. Oh, you and Emma have the same brain. You, that's the best answer. For you. What's in your smoothie? What's in your smoothie? What is in my smoothie? Yeah. Fruits, I hope. What type, say, well, say like, what, what type of fruit? Probably, probably Better strawberry. Say strawberry. Bananas. Uh, okay, that's good. Smoothie. That's already good. That's already a good smoothie. Okay. I don't know. Kiwi might be too much. I think. Okay. All right. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. All right. Charles, Emma, what are in your smoothies? Maybe some star fruit. What's in my? What's in your smoothie? What's in my smoothie? What's in your smoothie? I'll have. Berries, bananas, mango. Mango. Same answers. Oh, you're wrong. <laughs> Blueberries. Blueberries. I agreed with you up until mango. Mango. Hey, <laughs> stop being racist. That's the Filipino fruit. Oh. You can't keep it. It's <laughs> just so weird. It's so weirdly sweet. Charles, well, I don't know how to tell you this. It's delicious. Huh? How was a watermelon? Watermelon. A watermelon. A watermelon's a Filipino fruit. But no, it's not. Mangoes are fruit, yo. Charles, I don't know how to tell you this. It is. Well, I'm very indifferent toward what? the Philippines as a result of your, what you just said. As I am very indifferent toward right. mangoes. Well, they're not like my favorite fruit. fruit. They're okay. What's in an orange like dream machine deer. from Jamba Juice? Uh, orange. Okay, I like that. And cream. I like that. Yeah. I like creamsicle. All right, that's, that's my that's, that's that's straight up orange cream. That's the Yo Schiller smoothie, guys. You know what? Fair. Which orange is, and cream is pretty good. The orange yeah. the orange smoothie from Jamba Juice is orange and cream. The Charles smoothie is the. Pink Starburst drink from Jamba Juice. Sorry, they're just called Jamba now from Jamba. That's right, that's right. And I told you guys my the Yoshiller combo at McDonald's, right? Yes. All right, it's a twenty piece nugget. It's a twenty piece nugget. nugget. And high C. 
or yes. the chicken. <laughs> I, need, I needed to do the pause. That's, I just need to do this. There's a 20-piece nugget. <laughs> or, or a plain chicken sandwich. A plain grilled chicken sandwich. Sorry, plain grilled chicken sandwich. Correct. And an orange icing with no ice. Yeah, if this desert bus was actually a simulation of real life, I would have stopped at a McDonald's and gotten an orange high sea by now. Or even Eddie's World. What about Eddie's World? For context, Eddie's World is a famous candy shop that you can stop on the way to Vegas. Is that the one that has the, the roller coaster? Yeah, it's the giant ice cream thing. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, not the roller coaster. No, never mind. But they have, like, that giant ice cream in front of their... Store. I'd have to recheck. Because I only stop once on these trips. It's usually to re -get, it's usually to refill gas and then I get moving. Because usually the we drive is... stop once on this yeah, trip. Gas station there. Yeah, because well, usually usually the drive is four hours, not eight. It's a good thing I have enough gas to get there. <laughs> also, uh, oh, sorry, it's just Eddie World. Eddie World. There's no S. Eddie World. Weird. Well, you've seen this, yeah, Shiller. You've. Oh, wait, you can't take a look. Can't take a look. <laughs> Why must you torment him in this way? <laughs> it's like because an hour we're... before reaching Vegas. I think we are going to hit exactly 5,000 miles. I'm telling you, man. They're making you go at 80 miles per hour to make it end at, like, the exact time. I would, I would sing the song, but I don't want to get you copyrighted. Please don't. We've come Didn't so we sing far. it earlier? We've come so far. Half of it. We've gone so far. And in the end, half it's not even so hard. So far. In the end. And I'm lost. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Sing it out of tune, just like you sang the alphabet out of tune, Mr. L M. No, 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 it doesn't matter now what happens. I will never give up the fight. We're at that part of the night. It doesn't matter now what happens. I will never give up the fight. <laughs> uh, now, which one's the right one? The second one. Honestly, yeah, which one's the right one? one. Alright, I have Honestly, a question. I, just... I have a question. You might have an answer. You might have an answer? Okay. If, if I, who, which of my windshield wipers would win a fight? The one on the left or the one on the right? <laughs> the left one because it's taller. Yeah, which of my windshield wipers would win in a fight? The left one or the right one? The left one. The left one because I left like, is always right. I like the way you think. Now, the left it's taller. Because, it, because you can reach the left one from the driver's seat. You can just take it off and whack the other one. <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> now, I, have another, I have another question. Am I driving an empty bus? Or am I driving a bus full of people dressed in these red tight suits, all standing claustrophobically close to one another? Clearly, we've been the entire time. Maybe they're going to Vegas. Maybe they're Vegas performers. Yeah, maybe they're all like Among Us characters. Oh wait, guys, we're gonna be at four, 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 four in just a sec. Uh, nice. Oh my God. Oh, that means death. We're so dead. Oh, thank goodness I made it through that. Guys, we're going to be okay. We're so bad luck. Oh, I made it. We're almost done. I know I am. We will survive. All right, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get to Vegas, Nera? What's the... <laughs> going to... Party hard. And... Yeah, party, party hard. Gamble my spending the way at... at... And just run out of money. Yep, that sounds As, not right. Because when you run out of money, saying. you know what you do? You take the bus home. You become a hobo. <laughs> well, no, you become a hobo and live on the streets. Oh, man. <laughs> how, can I take, how can I take the bus home? I don't have any fare. Yeah. You gotta earn it. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, but what I said is actually the truth. All right, well, Charles, what are you doing this When we get to Vegas, what's the first thing you're doing? Um, I am drawing. Okay. Alma, when we get to Vegas, what's the first thing you're doing? <laughs> um, I'm going to take in all the sites. Taking all the sites? Like every nook, every cranny? Yeah. Every even the even the corner people corner. who live in the underground sewers. Yeah, I'll go to the sewers and see um, how bad the homeless people are. Are you gonna look yeah. at every every room of every hotel? Yeah. Every meeting room of every hotel. Yeah. That's every, way too every much. Every dining room of every hotel. Yeah. Every bathroom of every hotel. Oh. What was that? What's up? What, what were you saying? The, every bathroom of every hotel. Yes. That's the most thorough inspection of Las Vegas I've ever heard. Yeah, well, it take me in all the sites. Alright, well, can you do me a favor, then? Yeah. Can you let me know how the luxury suite on the 61st floor of the Mandalay Bay is? Um... <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know, for sure. Okay. Don't worry, I have pictures. <laughs> yeah, I can I, show I do, you. I do have pictures. So I'll, kn I'll know if it's the 61st or not, Emma. <laughs> All right, just uh, let me break in real quick. Can you let me know how room four oh eight in the Luxor is? Four oh eight in the Luxor. What about? Can you let me know how room one three one eight at the Rio is? You Actually, you know what? I think I just remembered, like, the suppressed memory, like, that's not suppressed as in, like, a bad which is a memory I've forgotten about. When I stayed at the Rio, we actually, you I know, actually did stay in room 1010. Hey, did you save a picture of it? I think I have a picture somewhere, yeah. Uh, yeah, because my birthday was 1010 and I was there for my 21st birthday. I'm pretty sure I was yeah. in room 1010. I checked my phone right now, so... Yeah. You should have been like, excuse me, sir, can I stay in room 1010, for it is my birthday on today's day, 1010. Why did you give him the accent of a little, like, Victorian boy? Yeah, I'm not that tired, Charles, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, I'll, I'll make it, because I know I get to go to sleep after this. You see, when your show gets tired, he turns Victorian. Into, like, a little Victorian boy? Please, when sir. I tired, Can I have some more? I sound like little boy. And when I'm wide awake, I sound like whatever this is. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say, you sound like a Yankee. Yankee mm -hmm. dude went to town, riding on a pony, no less. If she was riding on a pony, that's a really tiny horse. Yeah, I don't know how he can roll into I, town on a pony. I thought a pony was just like a female horse. <laughs> That's a mare. Well, oh. I thought like when girls said they wanted like a pony, that just meant that they wanted a girl horse. No, no they it's, just it's, a, it's a like a tiny horse. horse. Tiny horse. It's like a little like mini horse. Got it. It's like a teacup horse, but not a teacup. <laughs> I understand what that means already. All right. Small. Well. Yes. Folks, we probably have time. They want a pony. They want a dog-sized pony. Uh, all right. Sorry, a dog-sized horse. Dog can be so many yeah. different kinds of size. I like so. the big dogs. Yes. But they're all still smaller than horses. Folks, we have time. I feel like there's at least one breed. That was used to hunt bears and shut down prison riots, but I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, but about, like, horses are bloodhound huge. Or like. Bloodhounds are small. Bloodhounds are relatively. small? Oh, okay. Well, they're pretty big. Uh, you might be thinking Great Dane. Maybe I am thinking Great Dane. Because Great Danes are, are big dogs. Well, folks, we've got time for maybe one more really hard-hitting, massive conversation that will enlighten my viewers on a spiritual level. So tell me. TELL oh, ME! Like minutes according to this we time. 26 minutes, Charles. 26. Well, the timer just went up while you were saying that sentence. I know, which means my sentence is more accurate than the one you just said. 
Which sentence? That we have 26 more minutes? That's what I said. 26 more minutes. Why? Right on the top. Why are you delaying? I'm, but delaying what? I'm saying we have time for one, time more, you're saying one more perfectly good conversation for the remainder of this video. What would you like for that conversation to be while we chat for the remaining... Great question. I don't know. Who's the question? He wants to know what should we talk about for the last 26 minutes, even though he delays the sentence. So I can, he can be like, no, 25 minutes when it hits 305. 25 minutes. It's 5.51 for me. Yikes, are you going to make it? Are you going to be okay? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Not strong, but I'm going. Yeah, she has to feed her cat. That take that okay. I feel like that only takes like a minute. I mean, I no, I, I, gotta brush my to feed I gotta brush my teeth and put my retainers Hill, in. Singular. I didn't want to put my retainers in before the video, uh -huh. but then I would have sounded like I was slurring my words at least more than I usually do. So mood. Does it sound like I'm slurring my words now? Do you have your retainers in? I put them in when I went to the bathroom. To me, you don't sound any different. Haha. Uh -huh. All right. All right. What's you know what's a great game? That... Oh, never mind. Oh. Sorry. Quick, we'll do them both. What do you go got? Madison, you, you go do, first. Do you draw? Do you draw? I used to draw. I I want to get back into drawing. What's your but... favorite method of draw? Uh, not drawing. Shading. Shading? Well, yeah. I like the the type cell. of shade. Yeah, cell shading. I like the type of shading that where it's like a hard, solid color. I like looking at natural, like watercolor shading, like natural. Cool. So you guys aren't insane like me. <laughs> I like, Good to know. I like seeing it, but doing the shading myself, I do. I do full on cell, like full on hard color. Cool. It's I like. like well, if you want to do fancy painting shading, mm -hmm. then you gotta go with three D art. That's where it'll excel. It. But if you're going 2D, make it easier on yourself. Do you no. self shading? Okay, well, I can. <laughs> Charles, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say what's a game from your memory that everyone hated at first, then became well loved years later why is it because i mentioned super mario sunshine earlier that you're like That's no crazy. it's because i was thinking of the game the wind waker everyone I hated, it. hated it at first but i was all like yo this is a cool adventure and then you know the game comes out and i'm like yo best zelda game ever okay because i remember, I remember all people people hating up. sunshine but I'll, I'll see if i can come up with a different name. oh super smash brothers brawl People, oh yeah, people love that now. They they love it now, but at the time, like people were like, it's oh, new well, melee. Yeah, people were like, oh, well, melee is better because brawl has tripping, and they got rid of Mewtwo, and uh, like half the stages aren't competitively legal and whatever. And now, everyone's going back to it, like, oh, I love subspace emissary. I wish we had another subspace emissary. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, you want the cutscenes. You you did not. You don't, you don't want like the the beat 'em up like platformer levels. Now, I would have enjoyed Subspace Emissary more if it played a little more like the Adventure Mode in Super Smash Bros. Melee, where each of the areas was, like, appropriately themed to a game universe, but the only game universes we kind of got were, like, a very loose Kid Icarus, I guess, and a, very, and a very loose Donkey Kong and a very loose Ice Climber. That was it. Yeah. All right, oh, and, uh, and some, some weird space... Yeah, carrier so, thing. So, yeah, so we got to you got to go on. Okay, yeah, that's true. There is the halberd, but uh, you know, like I was hoping we'd get like I don't know, we get to go to like an Earthbound location or an F Zero location or you know even even the newly represented franchise. Like if we could do like a WarioWare location or a, a Pikmin location, and we didn't really get that. And the bosses they picked were cool. 
obviously I wish we could have gotten more, but uh, all right. And I don't know. They, I know they had to cut like a ton of cutscenes, and they were they were really like scrapping at the end and whatever. But people like when people were like, "Oh, I love Subspace Emissary." I'm like, "No, you, no, you didn't." <laughs> The people, people Isn't were one like, of the longest fan fictions in the world written about the subspace emissary? Yeah, I did actually know that. I did. But yeah, nice. like, it conceptually was cool. But when people say they remember loving it, I'm like, no, you love the cutscenes. You love seeing the characters interact with each other. Which is what we got with the Smash Fighter revealed trailers. And, you know, I, I get the feeling that it, even if, even if uh, you know, like people... People are still going to be mad at Brawl because it wasn't competitively designed or something like that. So, whatever. Anyway, Super Smash Bros. Brawl is my answer. How's that, Charles? Good answer. Thank you. Thank you. Nara, Madison, do you have an answer? For, hold on. What's a game you Can recall people the question? What's a uh, game you recall I... people, like, hating that people wound up loving later? Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> good answer. Oh, that is a good mm. answer. Weirdly enough, Golden Sun Dark Dawn again. <laughs> do people do people like that game now? For some reason, everyone's like, "Well, we should have gotten the sequel to the you know the cliffhanger they left us on." After they opened up a completely closed story and said, "We're going to ask a whole bunch of new questions and answer exactly none of them." And I just, I don't understand. <clears throat> it didn't need to exist. And now it does. And people are like, they should at least finish the cliffhanger. Yeah. We don't need a fourth one. It's just going to be disappointing. And then we're all going to be like, oh, it sucks. And then like two years later, people are going to be like, mm, maybe it was okay. Do we need that? No. Now, Charles, we can move on with our lives. Before you ask the inverse... Uh, what's a game you recall people liking that everyone now hates? My answer to that is already ARMS. I love ARMS. And I know people liked ARMS when it came out, and now everyone's acting like it sucked. I'm like, you guys were, like, so hungry for Switch games at first. Whatever. Whatever. Well, and also, 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 <laughs> a lot of Sonic games fit into that category, too. Where I swear people liked them at first, and now people just hate them. Sonic games are just the easy answer in general, though. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Always bully the blue hedgehog. That poor little man. <sighs> he will never know peace. He's not a man. He's a hedgehog. Okay. I got, He's a I featherless biped. He's a man. I got a question. What's a game you? What's a game sequel you really want? What's a franchise you really want to see a sequel in? Does it have to be a sequel? Why, you want a prequel? Well, either I feel like Legend of Dragoon could probably do a prequel pretty well, but they can't open it up for a sequel. Okay. That's it's a, just a, not possible. That's a fine answer. I'll take a prequel. Alright, Charles, mm. what's your answer? I'm thinking. Okay. I want F-Zero Wario Land. I'll also take a Mega Man X9, if they make it more akin to the original Mega Man X games and not more like 7 or 8. And I eight was a good game. I don't know what you're talking about. Was eight good? I, I actually haven't played eight. I thought people eight was good. Eight. Okay. Eight was good. Seven was awful. Okay. <laughs> but eight, eight <laughs> went back to its roots. Okay. And then I could. Do, uh, remember, everything was two D. I could do. Uh, trying to think. I kind of already got a lot of the stuff that I wanted. Honestly, I got I got Pokemon Snap. Like I'm gonna be fine. I don't need another one of those for a while. Uh. F-Zero Warrior Land. Mega Man X9. Emma, can you think of one? What? What's a game sequel? A video really game. Really want? A game sequel that I want? Yeah. Some of that life too. Which one? Hear her. Tomodachi Life 2? Tomodachi Life 2. Would you settle for a port of the original? Um, isn't that what Tomodachi life technically is? Would you say well, no, like he's saying, would you, 
Would you settle for a port if they brought the 3DS version onto Switch or something? Uh, yeah, I guess I would. Enhanced yeah. port, like an enhanced port would be awesome. Just add the stuff from Metopia. Oh, that would be sick. If it had the Metopia Me Creator, that'd be busted. That would be so. That would be if that'd be it. You don't need a Metopia, or sorry, Tomodachi Life to you. Just use that. All right, all right, all right. And then Nera. Yeah, that'd basically huh? be a little. I th I'm sorry, I don't doubt. What's a game sequel you really want? All right. If anything, with how much I've been hearing about it being being in rumors, yeah. Final Fantasy X three. All right. All right. Now I have to ask the. Oh, I got one. What's up? I got one. It's gonna it's gonna throw so many people off guard. Okay. But I would like a new mainline dot hack game. Oh. Not sort of oh. oh. But dot hack. Ooh. Like like, no one no one remembers dot hack. But it was before Sword Art. Is it, good? it was Sword Art before Sword Art. Um, well, it, it clearly establishes the fact that everyone's playing like a virtual reality MMORPG. Um, and there were implications to the game where it's like, oh, you can, your mind can get erased while in the game uh, if you get like data drained or something like that. Uh, Interesting. But it it was it was Sword Art, and then Sword Art said, "Raise the stakes even more." As I was saying, "Oh, die in game, die in real life." Now I uh, have to ask the inverse. Question. I mean, getting your mind erased is kind of dying in real life, but guys, essentially, yeah. What's a game yeah? sequel you absolutely don't want? You don't want this game to ever get a sequel, <laughs> like. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Legend of Dragoon, Golden Sun, oh. Cave Story. Hey, yeah, you were sorry. You were ready. Story. I'm impressed. I didn't think anyone would have an answer. There are question. so many games that are that are perfectly wrapped up, and if they introduced a sequel, they would just destroy all of the work they've done. Frick, you're so There's right. No I was going to give you like a comical answer, like Shadow the Hedgehog. I hope that game never gets a sequel. I hope they go back to the <laughs> Sonic formula after that. But your answer is much better than mine. Undertale, like we can do things in the same universe. Delta Rune's not really a sequel. It's, it's not I even see. like a prequel. It's a separate universe. Yeah, that's fair. So it, it's it, it's situational. A direct sequel just does not work for a lot of games that are just they're they're closed stories. They're they're done. I hope they never do a sequel to Bomberman Act Zero. I hope they go they stick to this route of going back to the cartoony circular guy. Uh, let's see. Monster Hunter World. Dude. Monster Hunter World. <laughs> I do not want a Monster Hunter World 2. Okay. Uh, I'm, I, I would love it to have graphics as Monster Hunter World, but I I, I think we are done on World. People are like, I want Monster Hunter World 2. It's like, no, just get a Monster Hunter 6 or whatever. We don't need a World 2. I don't think they mean like a... Maybe some of them do. No, a lot of people who, who came into Monster Hunter through World... They say the right they want a world too. But they say they want like, world no. too, but they don't. Do they mean world too, or are they just like they, they mean world six, two. They mean but world they're two. calling it? They they mean world too. Why? I don't <laughs> exactly. know. That's why I'm like no. There are no. very few games Monster that are Earth actually six. like sequels. <laughs> just give us yeah, exactly. That's all. Like just give us Monster Hunter Six. So you don't need a world too. But I guess there are people who are just. So, like, and these are all the people, like, not, sorry, not all, but a majority of them are people who bandwagon when World came out. They're like, I want a World 2! And they've never played any of the original games or even delved more into the classic games or anything. Um, well, I'm glad I'm not one of those people because I'm playing want, Frontier. <laughs> they, they specifically want World 2. They want it to be titled Monster Hunter World 2. And I'm like, okay, no, that's, that's a really cool. bad title, though. Yeah, it Sorry, is. no offense to Monster horrible. Hunter, but a lot of the titles, you know, they're like, oh, Monster Hunter 2 Dos, Monster Hunter Try, <laughs> 3 Ultimate. It's like, uh, these names are getting kind of weird. World 2 is, I feel, it's just too, it's too far. Oh, yeah, that, it, it's absolutely stupid. So if they made a sequel to, sorry, if they made a new Monster Hunter game, they wouldn't use World. 
They wouldn't call it World 2. It doesn't need to be called World 2. They seem to be going with, be this, like, names. Have it be Monster Hunter whatever 6 is, you know? We already got World 2. It was whatever Ice World, pretty to. much. No, the, that's, uh, that's the... It's an expansion. Play. Oh. Well, so was Brood that's War for StarCraft. Play. No, uh, well, it's different in a sense that uh, Iceborne is the G-rank expansion to Monster Hunter World. Every Monster Hunter game got that. That's why you said 3 Ultimate. 3 Ultimate is actually the ultimate expansion, or the G-rank expansion, of yeah. Monster Hunter Tri. Uh, so that's essentially what Iceborne was. So what's a yeah, game but it, it's sequel? still... It's... Go ahead. Hold on. Okay. Video game sequel... What's, Answer? A video, what's a video game sequel that you'd be absolutely indifferent to? Like, it gets announced and you're just like, alright. Literally. Oh, I already got one. Okay. Every final Fantasy. Dragon Ball, Dra Dragon Ball Z, sorry, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Alright, I have, I, have I have the best answer for you. Are you ready? The, the, wait, let me explain my reasoning okay, before go, I get Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I wasn't a fan of the 3D Arena Fighters. Uh, I liked original Budokai more than Budokai Tenkaichi because Budokai Tenkaichi is just Xenoverse, so they're just getting another Xenoverse game. So it's like, what? What's even the point? Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. That's that's all valid. All right. I don't disagree with any of that. All right. The the game I would be absolutely <laughs> indifferent for a sequel for. Are you ready for this? Is Dance Dance Revolution? That's a bust too. <laughs> I would Fair. play that though, to be completely I'd honest. I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want, like, I, I want it, but I'm not gonna like lose my head over it, you know. I, I just want like, okay. to play it. All right, maybe, maybe, so maybe like funny. a better answer, like a genuinely better answer, is if we get like, <laughs> I, like another Yoshi game. Even though I love Yoshi, it's like if we get another Yoshi game, be like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, new story really ruined you, didn't it? Uh, new Island, yeah. Sorry, New Island, yeah, New Island. My bad. Woolly World was pretty fantastic, though. And Cra Crafter World was okay. Crafter World was okay. All right, guys. The final, final, final nine minutes. I think we are going to hit 5,000 miles or 500. Is that actually supposed to be 500 and not 5,000? Like the the white column is like a decimal place? I think it is. No, I think it might be 5,000. Well, in any case. Will nine minutes be enough time to make that hit 5,000? I don't know. But in any case, we got eight minutes left. What would you folks like to discuss for the final, final, final eight minutes? Great yeah, question. I don't know. Wario has no nipples thing. What's up with that? Yeah, I can't. Okay. I guess we can <laughs> recap everything that we talked about. So for all you folks. Recap? I don't like. No. Every, make the, every they'll have to series, watch it. Every good hey, recap episode has a recap episode, Charles. Uh, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's so that was only back then when streaming services weren't a thing, so you couldn't easily watch old episodes. Nowadays, recap episodes are a waste of time and not necessary. They are a waste of time, but every good series has one. All right, Unless here we go now. No. So, no. So we DuckTales doesn't have a recap series. Okay, we, what's up? DuckTales, the 2017 reboot, does not have a recap episode. Do they ever address what happened in a previous episode? Are they ever like, previously on DuckTales? No. No? They've never once... You watch it all the way to the end. They've never once referenced what happens in a previous episode? They don't. No. Damn, that must damn. not be one of the all-time greats, then. Alright, here we go, then. What? So... Oh, so, no, you don't. <laughs> they don't spend a whole episode recapping stuff, but they've like at least talked about things that have happened in the past. Well, yeah, they bring it up, but yeah. they don't say they don't say last time on this episode. Yeah, they don't come back to previous episodes. Uh... They they will they will mention it, but they don't say last time on this episode. Dewey got a 
a dollar. Dewey got a DUI. You got a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you got a DUI. Yeah, got we a don't DUI. do that. All right. Well, we started this off by talking about Wario's nipples. Uh, let's see. No, I, okay. We started things off by talking about your, <laughs> your favorite letter and your least favorite letter. And then we talked about Wario's nipples. And then we talked about how he can't be a mammal if he doesn't have nipples. And then we talked about the 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 game that you like that no one else likes and the game that you dislike that everyone else likes. And then we talked about uh, that time I got nominated for Prom King, right? And then yes. we talked about... Uh, oh, oh, Nico was here. And David was here. And Gamma was here, and I thought maybe one of them would make an appearance right here at the end, right before I'm about to finish, but I don't think... I thought gonna... Platt would come back. I don't, yeah, I don't know where Platt went. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, wasn't Platt fixing his Discord and now he's just gone? Didn't we say I could form the fusion dance with him and become your Schiller Black? I don't remember. Yeah, you can finally be Black. We, we talked about that. We talked right. about... Uh, we you could be black about... and Jewish, so you could be bluish. Bluish? Sonic the Hedgehog. We talked about uh, Steve Harvey getting mad at people for giving sexually explicit answers on Family Feud. We talked yeah, maybe about... gaslighting people on Family Feud, though. Yeah, yeah. We talked, <laughs> we talked about uh, Stu Pickles is the best character on the Rugrats. We talked about that. Next to the Jewish grandpa. Yeah, and the Jewish grandpa is like second place for sure. Uh, we talked about uh, how Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be $70 and how the Mario Amiibo got a oh, reprint uh, and that was $16. We talked about uh, games becoming more expensive as a result. That's kind of part of the same conversation. We talked about a game sequel you really want, a game sequel you don't want, a game sequel you'd be indifferent towards. We talked about... Uh, a game that people hated but now cherish. Yes, we did talk about that. We talked about how Charles and Nera are probably still going to be working after this whole drive is over and how I'm probably going to go pass out and how I haven't eaten, drinking, or gone to the restroom in eight hours since I started this whole thing. I... Uh, we talked about online gaming a little bit and how Kirby's going to be coming to the Game Boy Advance online. We talked about we talked about something else. What else did we talk about for six or seven hours? Our possible rerun for Four Stores if it gets, if GameCube gets on NSO. We talked about Avatar for a while. Oh yeah, there was that. We talked about uh, cartoon character cameos. We talk about how corn doesn't get. Yeah, corn doesn't uh, digest yes. properly. I t oh, I talked about how I want to shave my chest hair into the shape of a heart and look like a palafin, and then we talked. Well, I about thought you said you already had done so. Oh, I'm I'm almost I'm working on it. I gotta get the shape <laughs> first, and then I can and then like, once I, once I have the shape of a heart ready to go, then I then I can shave it more easily after that, right? We talked. Man, about, we talked about Pokemon Heights for a while and how I'm taller than like. Every Pokemon ever. And then you said every you wanted ever. a billboard, and then you said you wanted to ride a, a blip. Balloon. Yeah, yeah, I want to buy a billboard, and I want to ride a blimp. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to ride the billboard and buy a blimp? Buy a blimp? Hmm. I feel like that's not bad either. <laughs> Although I feel like if I ride a billboard, they might get arrested. You think you? I think you're uh, onto something there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, we gotta. I gotta. I gotta ride a blimp. I gotta do that. Uh, we talked about... <laughs> we did talk about that. We talked about... Uh, what the actual drive to and from Las Vegas is, and if I were, if something were to happen to me, nobody would know. And how so many people have their lights on and their LEDs, so they're really bright and they hurt my eyes. We talked about we the fast food restaurant tier list. Fast food cereal tier list. Cereal tier list. Breakfast tier list. Restaurant tier list. Restru yeah, fast casual. The habit is not fast food. 
But it is. It's okay. It's fast casual. And we talked about... I wouldn't call it a fast casual food place. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I talked about how grateful I am that you guys joined me on this whole trip. I'm really surprised that everyone in this call right now, I mean, I guess besides Emma, but everyone else here was with me for the whole late hours. I didn't think that was going to happen. So that, I didn't yeah. think it was going to happen either. I thought I was going to go to bed. That I was supposed to be my torture. bathroom and all that stuff. Yeah. I thought right. that was, this was going to be my torture now. It's been this last hour alone. Or maybe Nico would come back. So truly, <laughs> thank you for going on this journey with me. I guess I can honk my horn for good sure. luck. Great, I did it three times. Go so your yeah, shoulder. What's up? Honk, honk. What's are up? we there yet? We are not there quite yet. Now, there's a good chance, like, it's 3.30. There's a good chance I might actually have to get to, like, the 5,000 mile mark before this counts. But we should, we should be there, like, any minute now. I don't know if I'm going to, like, start seeing the city in the distance. Or if it's just going to, like, hard cut into me getting there. I don't know what happens when it ends. But I should be there any minute now. Point? Where do you see the point meter? Uh, well, because when I get one? there, no, when I get there, there's going to be a little screen that tells me, like, it's time to drive back. Your current point score is one. What if it says 69? <laughs> if it says 69, nice. I won't be complaining. Don't tell me I'm actually going to get to, like, 5,000 miles. That's going to take, like, another 10 minutes. I did this whole hype build-up recap thing for nothing. It's okay. The recap is never the last episode. Yeah, the recap as the last episode means the series failed. That's true. It's usually the penultimate episode, right? Something like that. Yeah, now it's 331. But I should be there any minute now. Are we there yet? And now... Now we're going to have the anticlimactic ending. Where I'm probably just gonna arrive mid sentence. Yay! Yeah, I probably do update the 500. That's not, that's actually when I'm starting to think it's gonna happen. We're, we're almost there. Well, I can only thank you guys so many times without it being awkward. So, thank you. It's okay. You can stop saying thank you. <gasps> oh, where yeah! we get it? You did it! I got a Woo! One point! Yeah, baby! I got a point. Oh. Hey, you got one minute. point. Okay, so I didn't have to get to 500 or 5,000 or whatever it was. Road time, eight hours and a minute. Eight hours and a minute for your shiller. All right. Congratulations on your speed run. I told you it would end anticlimactically in the middle of a sentence. Okay! <laughs> Thank you all for your participation. I do appreciate it. That's Thank you for hanging cool. out. That's so long for the ride. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you could you could tag. Whoa! Them, huh? They lied. What's Tucson to Vegas isn't an eight hour drive. It's a six hour drive. That's what I'm saying. Is it because I was a bus and I was going forty miles an hour? Yes. So that's gonna do it. I'm not. I'm not. I don't need overtime. We're gonna stop. Okay. So you sure you you can go another eight hours? I don't think I can. I think I need to <gasps> finish this energy drink. Is this the sleep. last screen? Do, is there anything else? If I if I hit the button, it, it's gonna go to nighttime. So oh, <gasps> hard mode. challenge mode. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. <laughs> and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos. Let me know if you liked this video. Like let this me, let eight me know. hour in a minute plus video yeah i hope to see you guys video. if you if you if you guys say that you like this video he can do this in vr and it can be even more entertaining because a, a handful of us in the the this discord group have vr so we could throw stuff at yoshiller while he's driving sure. all right <laughs> for now i must sleep we can distract his eyesight bye bye <laughs> humans Woosh. Bye. Woosh. Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Woosh.